going on America it's your boy Decker here and hey a couple days before mini meltdown I just wanted to show you kind of like what's it like over here when we are running full bore ready for one of the biggest derbies on the East Coast 270 cars pre-registered for this weekend 270 yeah it's gonna be pretty crazy so we got a lot going on right now and I just kind of wanted to show you what's going on on this beautiful Friday I got off today and if you guys remember this car right here, this was the original relic car that we built for San Filippo Smash. And actually, this girl had an old nail head in it, 252. I hated to junk it, I was ready to junk it. And uh, one of my friends are buying it in the state of Maine. They're gonna save it and it's gonna go into a rat rod. So all of you at home that get mad in the relic class and the muscle car class when we're smashing these cool things, they do end up going to help parts. This one's gonna go gonna live another day so all right these guys are gonna drag this up there I got a friend from Maine coming and I just wanted to show you all the cars we got up here today now I gotta tell you it's been beautiful here the weather's gonna be beautiful if you're not in New York on Father's Day weekend you're nuts every year this is one of the biggest derbies in the country I mean we, we have a ton of cars every kind of class it's gonna be pretty wild but one of the things I wanted to show you guys I wanted to talk about something right because I don't get a lot of time to yell at you guys but I'm gonna yell at you guys right now one of the things I see on, on social media all the time, right, is people saying, I'm getting burnt out. I'm, I'm exhausted, Decker. I, I have no more money. Uh, it's burning me out. I can't do it. My wife's mad at me. Man. You got to stop all that. I'm going to teach you how to do it, right? And a lot of you are going to say, Decker, whatever, right? But I want to just show you the layout of my house, right? And a lot of the country is going to laugh at me and say, like, well, you got all junk, right? Decker's got all junk. One thing is, though, we have a good time here. Our season's fun. We smile. Very rarely do you hear me saying I'm burnt out of demolition derby running the cars because I love running these harder cars, right? Some of these cars you gotta spend a lot of time on. I got a car over here I gotta spend a little bit of time on. You know, some of these V8s you're gonna spend a lot of time on. We got, oh, let me just show you this real quick here while we're, while we're talking. Charger, muscle car class, charger. A little Dukes of Hazard it's gonna be. Remember I'm saying this, because in a couple months, you guys are gonna watch this old girl on the track. Cody's building it. But that's gonna take a lot of time, right? And I got some other cars out here. You look around, I got Imperials. Imperials take a lot of time. These old Buicks, old GMs take a lot of time. You get burned out, you get tired. You gotta spend a lot of money on them. You gotta do a lot of work to them. You're spending time away from your families. Sometimes you gotta break that. And I, I talk to guys all the time and, and I say, hey, Trent and I, take a look at these vans. They're junk, they're junk. I'm buying them for three, 400 bucks. I'm getting more in cats. I got $800 on the cats on one of them the other day. I'm, I'm plus 500 on that van. Two days into stripping it and Trent and I, Cody, we go derby and have fun. We don't even care about them. I'm telling you, if you're getting burnout demolition derby, take a step back. It's okay to go to a bone stock class. It's okay to go an easier class. I try to chase that world of build, building hard cars too, and I realize like that ain't for me. I like kind of these soft girls. I like to build them, smash them, and go get another one. So some of these are skinnies, unfortunately. This pile right here is skinnies. I'm trying to get rid of it. Here's an Imperial that's gonna get rehashed and re-ran. Oh, guys, this one right here, let me just show you here. 2015, my mom died, and I built this car for months. I don't know if I left the garage for days and days, and. It's all my mom right there. One of the best nights of my life in Brookville, if you ever remember it. Go back and watch it on Crash Course Days. And I ran that old girl. But Okay, so I'm back to the vans, right? Look at these things. They're junk. I got no time in them. And we're going to go out there and smoke it. We can smoke each other. We can get three hits. Who cares? Sometimes you got to go back and have fun. Go back and have fun. And I hear guys say like they don't want to because it ain't cool, right, to step back a class. You're going to burn yourself out, man. Decker says you're gonna burn yourself out. I might be totally wrong. All right, let's keep screwing around here because I got I got a lot of good stuff over here. This this is kind of like a Mopar section for me mostly. Um, Imperial. Uh, I just can't get rid of them. We're gonna run this old girl again. We got a lot of runs in her, and she's still nasty, nasty. Imperial, a wagon. I know you're gonna say these are junk, but I love these old New Yorkers. 
uh, another New Yorker and another New Yorker and Imperial and all the goodies, right? But really, oh, I see these guys over here effing around already. Come on, let's go with me. Let's see what these guys are doing. Oh, America, America. If you don't know it, most now Derby guys are gonna say, Decker, everybody knows this. This is the most wanted bumper there is. You see this bumper right here? No, I, just real quick while you're listening to me. I see on, on the internet a lot of times people say like, well, I have a Ford pointy or I have a Pontiac pointy. There is no such thing. The only pointy is right here. We were just having this conversation. What did they come on? Trivia, come on everybody at home. What did these come on? 1974 to 1978 New Yorkers, like this one. This one actually originally came with it. We take them off and put a flat one on those. And I put it on this old girl over here, which we'll talk about another day. But but what else did they come on? America trivia question. Besides New Yorkers, what else did that bumper come on? And would it have these? No, it would not. 74 and 5. Imperials. 74 and 5 Imperials had these with no vent holes. If you find one of them, they're gold. They're gold. Okay, so let's get up to the crew because, oh, let me tell you, kids, sometimes when people say, like, be a boss when you get older, eh, listen to Decker, rethink that sometimes because I asked these guys to get here at 10, 11 o'clock. I don't even think they showed up, but now I asked them to do some work. Let's see, what are... Yeah, exactly. Nothing. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. Hey, now, excuse me for a second because I've been asking you guys to do something today, and I'm wondering, are you doing anything today? Dude, I'm Swap Meet Louie here. What are you talking about? I'm doing everything. Bobby, he's working. Bob, I see you got some new apparel. I love it. We got our new uh, apparel for our tour. Ooh, I like that. So you could either buy the size that fits you, or we have the new size that's one size fits all. And you can, your girlfriend can wear it, your child can wear it, or a big man like me can wear it. So if you guys want size is that? Down, this is a, this is definitely a, a medium, <laughs> and it's a little snug. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's working. What about you? What, what are you, size what are you, you talking like? about? It's snug. I'd say that's fit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a new trend. You are a younger, a younger man. Uh, that is the younger generation wearing like that. that. One. Oh, look, at, that one scares me. That one. If Bobby put that one on, that would actually stretch to the same size head. This is expand a head. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a bobblehead, but expand a head. Oh, uh, jeez. Baba head. Baba head. Baba head. So Remi come to the show, and you know, we're at Mini Meltdown. We're gonna have. The correct sizes or the one size fits all, right? <laughs> what, what size was that earlier you were telling me? I, this is, I was told to watch, but this is a Deca medium, sh medium. <laughs> so if you want your special tour shirt that is a Deca sh medium, come see, uh, what, what are you, some side boy Louis Slewy? Swap me Louis, trunk be me. <laughs> Where do they find you guys? Because I know they're not going to find you all over the country. You can find these guys. If we are traveling around, which you guys have seen our schedules up, right? Anywhere we go, we're going to have apparel. But if not, if they're not going to see you this weekend, they can still get some stuff. Where do you go? Oh, absolutely. TrackShotLive.com. Go to the shop page. Yep. Get it right there. You can get it. Get it shipped right to you. Otherwise, take a look at the rest of the shows that we got. We are going to have some of this fun apparel with us all the way through the rest of the season. We're always having fun. Minnesota Clearwater next weekend. Yeah. If you're not going to see us at Mini Meltdown this weekend. Yeah. We, uh, we definitely appreciate you guys buying this stuff because this gets us to each show. And uh, like us, share us. What else? What can you shit? Can you share us? Now hold on. One of the biggest sellers. I want to tell you right now. Just jump on and get them now. We've been selling hats like crazy. I'm talking like the numbers have been like every time I buy a bunch, we sell the whole box. Uh, we got hats. Some sick hats on there. They're sharp flex fits. Cody's been save for 100. <laughs> exactly. percent I, I just went blank. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Okay, so hey, we're we're chilling out here today. We're just about to take off to the track, and tonight we actually have a cornhole tournament going off, which hopefully these guys can sell some of those shirts if that's their selling technique. I'm a little nervous about it, but we'll see how tonight goes. Now, you know, when sour comes here, right, I have to have sour at everything I do, right? I just, everything I do, I need sour. Because check out this, right? My friend Mike Gilbert coming from Maine, he lost his son a few years back, and he's putting on a Memorial Derby, and I say sour. Hit this car up, put whatever you want on there so it looks, you know, for the Memorial Derby. I mean, bang, but, but uh, Bill, come over here on the other side. I say, hey, 
his number, his son's number was 5X. And do something that reminds you of Maine. I don't know. And check this out. Check this out. That's sick. Look at the air freshener. I mean, how cool. All sour, right? I love it. A little Derby Life magazine on the front. Shout out to our girl, Lexi. Big sponsor of everybody. We love her. Look at that. Oh, Mike, you're going to love this thing. He has not even seen this yet, America. You ain't going to see it till tonight. Uh, I don't know. We've been kind of, you know, he lives in Maine. I live down here. We kind of share vehicles, and we got this one together for him, painted it for him. He's going to be excited to see it. So we're going to wish him luck. Uh, I love Mike. He's a great guy. And, you know, he lost his son unexpectedly. So, yeah, we're throwing some love. Now check over here. Trent is going to be running on Sunday night, everybody. He put his girlfriend on here. He put his girlfriend on here. I ain't going to say nothing about it. But check this all out. Sour killing it again for us. Little roses all over the place and remembering my mom. And unfortunately, I lost my wife's dad named Don. And look at Sour killed it on the hood of this old girl here. He started making flames. And <laughs> when he was done, this is what we had. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this stuff because... Yeah, we're just remembering it, right? It's pretty cool. And Sour's back here now. So before my wife's father passed, he made us these cornhole boards. And our heart was always to get Sour to paint. You liked a painted car, so. Absolutely did. Yeah, I love painted cars. Mm -hmm. And one thing is, is anyone that comes to our shows, one of the cool things about Sour is if you win the raffle car, you tell them what you want on it. And in front of the entire crowd, you paint that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. yeah. So we have words of encouragement coming down from the crowd as we're painting it. And then they're like, hurry up and turn it around because, you know, they, they can't see the other side of the car. So and I, th problem. I think you, uh, like, motivate people, right? Because they watch you. And no offense, but people probably say, like, I think I can do that. I, I sure hope they can. Yeah. yeah I mean, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, I know I can't. I've tried. I know I can't. You definitely can. It's just encouraging. Um, there's hundreds of derby cars, so you just get to practice constantly, you know? True, true. You know I love that. Definitely, definitely. So, hey, America, too, we got a cornhole tournament. You guys, you don't know this, but spinning wheels the night before our derbies, we have tech, and we do cornhole tournament. And that all our whole group is going to be there doing a cornhole tournament, and we got Sauer going to play with us, but he's going to have these old girls set up for us. And it's pretty cool. We like to enjoy ourselves and have fun with all our drivers before we get crazy, because it's going to start getting crazy. 270 of them going to come to you this weekend, so... Hey, America, remember, get some apparel. It's how it keeps us going. We're free. Everything we do for you is free. If you're going to spend a dollar, if you want to send us a dollar, just buy a shirt, buy a hat. It goes a long way for us. TrackShopShop.com. Thanks, America. Enjoy the derby, man. We're going to smash a lot of cars. Remember, next week we're going to Minnesota. We're going to Utah after that. We're hitting Washington after that. We're all over the country. we got a lot of good ones coming to you. Stick with us. Sour's going to be all over the country, too. Tixie, Skinny, Bobby, Mike is going to even be out next week. It's going to be a good time. So, Track Shot Live, we'll check up with you guys later. Hey, I'm Jeremy Gully, owner of Spinning Wheels Productions. We're here at Morris, New York, Mini Meltdown 2022. Um, as you can see behind us, we got a cornhole tournament going on tonight. It's Friday night. We're doing some inspecting. We've got, oh, probably 30, 40 cars through inspection already. It'll help us get through the other 270 tomorrow and Sunday a little easier. This is Brian. He's our tech guy. Uh, has He's been with us basically since uh, the start. And uh, this has been growing for years. We've expanded meltdown from a one-day show and uh, now we're a two-day show with o with over forty thousand dollars in payouts so uh, um, a lot of locals coming we do have some guys from Maine we got some guys from Virginia Ohio New Hampshire Mass Vermont I don't I didn't get an actual number but um, Brian's been pretty much in the tech line for the for the for the day today. As uh, we cooked, uh, we we smoked a couple briskets and pig, and fed all the guys that came today for inspection, and uh, got some free beers for him going through the playing cornhole. And uh, the campers are piling in. We've uh, probably increased 
I don't even, probably 25, 30% of our campers as, as we normally have, which is kind of nice, great big show. But um, we're creating the atmosphere here that we want to create with a derby. It's a kind of a relaxed atmosphere, good through tech. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna, this, this big old track's gonna hold some cars and, and uh, we're gonna smash some cars and make some junk, I'll guarantee it. Um, we're standing behind this 96 Camry wagon. This is our raffle car. And uh, we got some, some help with this from Jeffy's Fab Farm and 859 Machine and uh, Motorsports and Machine. They gave us some parts and uh, Jake Hackett and George Hackett built it for us. And uh, somebody's gonna win it. Somebody's gonna drive this in the last heat tomorrow for a chance to win $4,000 with it. And um, that's kind of where we're at. I mean, we've, uh, you know, we always welcome outsiders. We like and in invite you to join us. Of course, we are bigger, our biggest derby of the year is San Filippo Smash, and that's in October. But uh, Mini Meltdown kind of kicks off our big season. So we go from Mini Meltdown in Morris to San Filippo Smash in Morris, and a um, few, few county fairs in between. We go to Lowville, New York for the Lewis County Fair. We go to Westport, New York for the Essex County Fair. We're back here at the Otsego County Fair. We do two shows in Pennsylvania at the Hones, actually three, four shows, um, Honesdale, Wayne County Fair, and then uh, the, the GDS Fair, which is in Newfoundland, Pennsylvania. I didn't miss any, did I? We did Bethel earlier this year. We knew Bethel. We did Bethel Speedway already. That was May 22nd. Yep. But I didn't think, uh, I don't think we missed anything. Got anything to add? Let's go drink some beer. Let's go. We got to finish tacking cars first. No, you do. I'm out. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> that is. No, that, yeah. no, tag, tag. <laughs> no, I already tagged you back. Oh, then. come on, man. <laughs> All right, we got to go drink some beer. I mean, inspect some cars. <laughs> Have a good day. Good afternoon, Track Shot World, all across the areas. We are at Mini Meltdown 2022 with Backseat Bobby. And Mr. Mike Tix. Yeah, totally stoked to be here, you guys. Uh, we got here late last night. Um, 
Not, not, not late last night, but we got here at a decent time last night. We uh, 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 Spinning Wheels had an amazing corn bag tournament playing cornhole. And uh, the winners were from a campsite down the road a little ways. They right. snuck on in. And uh, they walked away with $680 winner takes all in the in the in the cornhole tournament. It was absolutely awesome. So last night they had a barbecue. They had uh, uh, everything. Yeah, look at that. It's absolutely awesome. They had a um, uh, great turnout. They had barbecue. They had beer. They had cornhole. They, it was fun. We had just a blast with that. Kids getting to play cornhole too. Yeah, absolutely. It was uh, family fun and everything like that. So. I'm totally excited to be here at Mini Meltdown 2022. I've uh, been here a couple times. And I, it's, it's never boring. Um, just want to save you since your wife's watching. We've been here since Thursday. Oh, was it Thursday? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thursday. Dang it. Late, I, they, late, it all late, blended. Late, late, late. <laughs> late. It all blended together. It all blended together. We had bad weather over here on the uh, East Coast, and flights were getting canceled and everything yes. like that. Mine got pushed back. Spent a little bit of time in D.C. Uh, on a layover and stuff, but uh, it was it was well worth it. Uh, totally appreciate Spinning Wheels stepping up with Track Shot Live and to bring this to you free at home for free. I'm so glad. I love the derbies out here. Um, this track is huge. Yeah, it is. New York style, if you're broadside. You're going on your lid. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Um, we had a ton of fun. We were talking with Jake from State Farm that just, uh, if you guys missed really? it last year, you can go. go right back on and uh, look at it at uh, Track Shot on the YouTube page. Uh, follow it, join, and uh, see. And you can see this 15-year-old kid just serving, just serving Bobby Brockway up in a mini car. And uh, it was so fun watching those guys reunite last night and stuff like that. They, uh, his family is the one that built the raffle car here. Beautiful Camry wagon. Ah, uh, gonna be a uh, one hell of a nice car. So some lucky winner like me, I bought my hundred bucks worth of tickets. How about you, old Bobby? I bought three hundred and donated it back. Shut up, you God, you're he's such a suck up, man. He's always gonna make me look like just one step better than me. I get it. That's cool. Uh, Tix, you've been around me for a long time. Do I carry cash? <laughs> that good point. <laughs> Where do I get my cash? <laughs> and I need cash. <laughs> Did I come up to you today and like? So okay, so that's a lie, everybody. Yeah, so I'm yeah, doing yeah, better yeah. than he is. So that's... everywhere we went since <laughs> I've been out here, one place my debit card works. Then I, we go to have um, a business meeting at a facility, and we go to buy drinks for the whole bar. <laughs> and of course, my debit card for some reason didn't work, so Tix had to pick it up for me. That was a hell of a nice gesture for me to pay for. I really appreciate <laughs> yeah, yeah. that. that so good. the next morning we go to breakfast, and I'm like, I got breakfast since that <laughs> happened. Give him my debit card. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> Go to the gas station today. Get to buy all this stuff so everybody has drinks and stuff. Go to the ATM so I could outdo Mike on this raffle. Denied. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is. If God, the good grace of God is just watching me somehow spend money and just keep spending Billy Joe's money. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it, uh, babe. Uh, go put more money in the account. We're broke. Uh, Bobby assisted us to this position of life. Wiener water soup for the next month. Yeah, yeah. So we have a full two days here. Yeah, we do. It's uh, it's amazing. If you guys have never seen Mini Meltdown, uh, this is the second largest show that Spinning Wheels puts on. Uh, if you don't know about Sam Filippo, uh, you should have climbed out of that rock here underneath oh, a yes. long time ago. But uh, Spinning Wheels does an amazing thing over here in New York. They have a huge car count and everything. They got great following. They got good inspection. Uh, very, very well-rounded company that these guys are putting on here. Um, uh, Josh Buell, Gully, Decker, uh, Brian, these guys, a great team of families to, yes. to put this stuff on. I mean, it's it's good. Um, and it's a very family friendly orientated uh, thing. Uh, it was actually really cool as the as the cornhole tournament was going on last night. I grabbed some kids and I started a kids tournament over there and and uh, watching these kids uh, have fun and everything like that and teaching them. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it was a life lesson because I haven't learned many of them. But they were having fun. They won some shirts. We went into the went into the the, the stir and dirt. Or, Oh my God! I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I was just looking at looking at that. I love that, it. That, I love <laughs> it. Sorry, uh, looking at uh, but uh, uh, track shot live apparel and spinning wheels apparel, um, and we uh, we threw that stuff out there <laughs> and uh, gave some some free giveaways. So that was that was, it was fun last night with the kids. It was uh, the parents were there having a couple cold beers and and uh, the kids were throwing bags to win some goods. Oh, and the kids coming up to ticks today, like he made their day. Tix just might be a pretty face, but it's way <laughs> deeper than that. And, and it really is. On a serious note, um, you can f go to my Facebook, 
and I put it all up there, like all these kids coming up to ticks. He makes them smile. He puts it on a whole nother level for these kids, and it's a, it's a, and that's what it's all about for us. Well, that's my mentality level. Yeah. So that's well, I just blend in with those kids it's, real these easy. These kids are coming up and knuckling <laughs> them and this and that, and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm over here, I'm over here, and they're like, who's that, you know? And it's like, it's either they ask for ticks or skinny. <laughs> so I'll just keep the. I, Wearing my wigs, I guess I should have brought it. So then that's the only way I'm cool is if I wear a wig. You know, the funny thing is I get called skinny more than I get called ticks. So, I it's, love uh, it. yeah, we're missing our homie this weekend. Uh, he had some some obligations back at home that he had to take care of and stuff. So, uh, you know, missing your buddy. I uh, hope everything goes good at home. Get the get that stuff taken care of. And, get and uh, yeah, get the heck back out here, man. We miss you. Skin Dog's been busy this season. So we've kind of missed him a little bit. But, uh it's it's I know all you guys are at home watching us. Micah and I are going to be up at Clearwater next weekend, uh, up in Minnesota. So you guys don't uh, don't forget we got some other totally awesome derbies, and we have just begun this season. What it are you going like. to do? Like usually you're the best looking one in the group. Now when Micah's with you, what are you going to do? Oh my god, you're going to have to step up your game. No, I, I'm going to have to get him a two by four with a nail on <laughs> the end of it to beat the women off of him. You know, oh. he's got that smile and everything like that. Oh. He's got Micah's best meat in the market. Uh, he's got his jerky. He said he uh, ripped oh, I down love 30 Micah's pounds. Meat. Yeah, I he's, love he got the meat. best meat around. And, you know, um, talking about meat, I don't know if you guys, uh, if we got to see any of the stuff on Decker's stuff. We went, there was a McDonald's here, and they had tofu patties, <laughs> fat-free uh, fries yesterday. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But Yeah, uh, it's funny. It worked the same with me as it did uh, in Minnesota. You yeah. Know, 20, 20 minutes later, 20, it's uh, like it wants out. But yeah, it was no. bad. Yeah, we stopped and grabbed that yesterday on the way Never through. Never again. And, and uh, I told Bobby, I said, God, I don't eat McDonald's hardly ever. And, and uh, once we got to the track, I remembered why. So, um, no, it was fun. So we stopped there. We got that, got all of our drinks and everything, and we were good to go for, for the day yesterday. And, and then, like I said, spinning wheels threw out a huge 50, 60-gallon trough full of beer for everybody. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's a really neat thing. So we sit there and we talk about destination derbies. I mean, I always talk about destination derbies, Bobby. San Filippo for me. It, it, and it is, but I mean, it's it's this area is one yes, of those things. So yes. it's like this is like a bucket list thing. We checked it off, and it was good to go. And uh, you know, just like like going over to California this spring and hitting up a couple shows in California. I mean, that was another thing, you know, to get over there. So you know, you guys get to watch it at home and enjoy it for free and everything like that. But please don't forget to come out in person and see these things because these shows are absolutely amazing to be part of. Um, and uh, I I get it. You know, it's not the biggest national show in the country or anything like that, but that's why we want to bring you these shows so you can see them so that these can become the biggest shows in the nation. I mean, look at the backdrop. Yeah. So, like, when Decker first asked me to come out here with you guys, I'm like, New York? No, boring. New York. So I think New York State, like, I don't want to be bound up, nowhere yeah. to go. You come out here, and it's you're out in the middle of nowhere, mountains, trees. Yeah. Dixie and I were driving yesterday here, and it was like all of a sudden – you see a little piece of flat land, there's a house. Yeah. You drive a little bit further, there's a dairy farm. It's, it's beautiful out here, and the people are so inviting. Yeah, they're very, very welcoming, very homely. Um, you know, it's they, they, they're, they enjoy the company out here and everything. And like Bobby said, you just like they take advantage of every piece of flat ground out every. here. Um, there's nothing that goes to waste because it is nothing but trees everywhere else. But, um, you know, huge shout-out to all the great sponsors and everything like that, you guys. Although you watch them on the bottom left-hand side of the corner. And uh, Spinning Wheels out here has an amazing group of people that have stepped up to help this, to bring this uh, level of this show to where it is uh, for the payouts and everything like that. Uh, you know, this promotion company gives everything back to the drivers. Um, it's it's awesome. So it's uh, I just look across and I see the lineup of all the cars and everything like that. It just get it just amazing. Talking about that, so they're having the drivers meeting right now. Then tonight we have thirteen heats. Yeah, we got well, and actually, I got I got to go here in a few minutes because uh, I got I got uh, uh, invited to do the uh, opening and everything like that. And who's singing our national anthem? Who is singing our national Shell anthem? Is, so nice. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be awesome. So uh, you think she's nervous? She is nervous as can be. I I told her I and I made a stupid comment. I told her I said I tell you what. So she had done some karaoke and stood up, and she's got a beautiful voice. And uh, so they were. I told her I says I think you need to do the national anthem live. And I, I, as a smart ASSS, I said, I'll practice and I'll do it with you if you do it. And she, she, she came back and giving me crap about it. 
well, I sucked. I never practiced. I never nothing. The last thing you want to hear is me talk or sing. So um, so she's doing it. She's standing up, so I'm super excited for her. She's nervous and everything, but um, she she is she is a great personality of the Demolition Derby world over here on the East Coast. Can I ask you something, Mike Tix? Yeah. Is karaoke the same thing as karaoke? Because back, back in Midwest, you know, Northwest Indiana, it's karaoke. I, I, I think you guys just emphasize certain letters too much. <laughs> uh, like Vagus. Oh, Vagus. Vagus. Yeah. You guys, you guys always want to pick on me about the way I talk. I but, love how you talk, yeah. just like Mike, Mike Gilbert, Gilbert coming in. Yeah. And he's like Daka, Daka, Daka. Where you at, Daka? Yeah, boy. If you see on the screen right there, you see all the drivers down there. That's the drivers meeting. Gully is going through, telling them, um, you know, what's up and everything like that. They're very firm on hitting. They're very. It's cut and dry. He's showing you. I mean, he's like, this is what it is. This is how it's going to be. You guys are going to hit each other, and you're going to put on one hell of a show for the people in the grandstands and you right there at home on Track Shot Live. I bet he's telling them maybe to slow down a scotch because these guys are oh. – the, the skinny pedal, it's down. And you could add a, probably another 100 foot to this track, and they'd use every inch of that oh, track. absolutely. There's nothing slow about this show. You know the thing that I, it's like, Bobby, we've been here so many times, and you see that pile up in the corner, <laughs> and it is just a freight train, <laughs> one after another, after another, freight after train. another. And it's like, I swear to God, somebody in the pits gets excited and wants to come in and be part of it also. Um, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> you can ask Danny man. Ogden about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His airbag went off. Oh, it was uh, – oh. that was incredible when Danny Ogden was in that van. Oh. Well, I'll never forget the year that I ran that farm truck here, <laughs> right. and I got just licked by that minivan. And uh, uh, Junkie is the man that ran it. He's actually here running again tonight. Um, and he, all I wanted was that Mad Dog flag. That's all I wanted. And I did everything I could to get it. And they, they, Buell came over, and he goes, "Ticks, I'm so sorry, but Junkie just he earned it all the way." And it's like, damn it, did did. Did Junkie point at you before he laced you? Oh uh, no, not like Jake at State uh, Farm, like he did. That you kid served. <laughs> he you. served it up me up on a platter yeah. every time he'd point at me. Yep. No, it was it was great. It's it's great fun out here, you guys. So like I said, if you ever have the opportunity to get on out here to New York and uh, chase down a spinning wheel show, whether it be Mini Meltdown, Sam Filippo, or any one of their county fairs that they have going on. Take the advantage. Get on out here and see this place. Uh, the country is absolutely gorgeous, and and uh, we're uh, track shot live bringing us out here is is showing I love me it. so many different places of this country that uh, I, I don't think I would ever seen any other way. So thank you, Demolition Derby World, for giving us that, and please enjoy it yourself. Thanks to our sponsors for helping us get out here, and definitely thanks to Spinning Wheels. Yeah, and we couldn't do it without Uncle Bill. Yeah, oh god, Uncle yeah. Bill yeah. in the house. Uncle Bill's got this stuff figured out. He makes us look so good. Yeah, I got to show another thing as we're sitting here talking real quick about stuff. We've got this amazing thing. Um, he's right here with us uh, today. Crash burn, love of demolition derby right here. This is really cool. Um, Bill, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Bill La Lauenberg. Um, take a look at this crash burn love. He has been going around. It's a documentary that he's working on and, uh, it's, it's, it's really awesome. The stuff that's going on. And we are so pleased to have him here with us here at Sam or at, uh, um, mini meltdown here. And he is going to be at Sam Philippe also, but, uh, there is an awesome documentary that's going on with it. So go on there, take a look at that crash burn love demolition derby. Uh, it's some of the old history and everything. And, uh, this, this, I had a great opportunity to talk to him for a little while and what a, what a, uh, educated rounded person he is you talk to somebody <laughs> for like five minutes uh the, 10 maybe he listened 20. maybe he listened to me i don't know oh, i, I like gosh. talking tixie so. we have we if tixie stops to talk people love him we gotta like deca will you go get tix for us he's gotta go grab him and pull him away people love you i mean what do you think did you ever when you started derbying did you think uh, it would turn into something like this that uh, people would love you all over the country? I have no idea. I did. I never. All right, I got to step away, you guys. I got to go down. I love announcing our national anthem. I love giving honor to our colors. I love giving a moment of silence and and giving everybody the blessing of of uh, safety and everything. So I'm gonna step on down, and do that, Bobby. And I love giving it to Bobby so he can stay here by yeah, himself. Bob, Bobby's got Take it all. He's Take a professional. It. So hey, we're gonna. I'm gonna step away. I'll be right back up in a little bit. So hey, you guys, I'll be back in just a little bit. Be careful. That was good. That was good. So they uh, they just finished up the drivers' meeting. We have like thirteen uh, heats today. We got uh, the van and truck heat. We got six compact heats. Anybody that didn't pre-sign, they made a seventh and the eighth heat. 
put them last because they're all about pre, you know, s send in your money, sign up early so they know who's coming, how many people, how many cars. Um, so two heats of van and trucks. We got farm trucks, uh, bone stock V8. We got the e economy V8s. And it doesn't matter what you watch here. They put the skinny pedal down. So you guys will definitely enjoy this back home. Looks like we're getting, uh, they're definitely getting ready. And like I said, we're all about the kids. And so power wheels first, of course, with these kids. And, you know, when I go to, when I used to be able to derby, it was that nervous pee. Or people you see them puking. These kids are down there so excited they're eating cheeseburgers. All these parents, all the little okay, sisters. So the there's like four generations here. Right and okay. I know I say it all the time, but here there's four generations. A moment of silence. We're going to do our national anthem. I'm going to be um, quiet for a little bit. Here. He's going to do an opening for us because he kicks butt at it. I love his opening. Then we're going to go into power wheels. We're going to smash the power wheels with the kids for a few minutes. Then we're going to do best of paint, and then we're going to go straight into action. And I promise we're going to try to So they got, they're going to do national anthem, so power wheels, best of right paint, now, and then sure you guys will get to see some stuff get right junked. Here. Okay, so everybody, yeah, we're, we're ready to kick off. But before we kick off, actually, before we get to the fun stuff, we got to cover something that's uh important. See, Fatty, you should have been here so you could be helping me right now. We could be we're chatting chatting it up, you know? We're going to have an extended moment of science, right? Because we've all lost people the last few years. I don't care who we are. There's no way you didn't lose somebody in the last few years. Stuff's been tough. Uh, we lost Roger Barnes a few days ago. Old derby driver that was just killer killer for this area and we lost Aaron Terpstra which Aaron helped us with our derby all the time close to the gullies married the gullies daughter and we lost him just in his early 20s this year in an accident at work greatest kid greatest damn kid there was and let's just take a moment of silence not just for those two but I lost people you guys lost people we all lost people this year it sucks Let's remember all those people for a second. Life goes fast, right? Life goes fast. So today we're going to kick ass. We're going to have so much fun today. But sometimes we got to remember... There's other stuff that happens in life that's more important than today. And I, I like our moments of silence. I appreciate those. And I love our fans. Our fans are the best because uh, we always care about people. I think, you know, just real quick. San Filippo, if any of you ever been here, last year we raised $106,000 on this track right here. Right? hundred and six grand. We've raised over a quarter of a million dollars for children that need it. That need it, and it's you guys. I love you guys. We have the best. I again, I travel the whole country. Hopefully, you guys Our can hear. We got a mic out there, so right, you can so hear at home what's going on out Michael there. Michael Tick's here. He's from Track Shot Live. He travels all over the country. One of my best friends. I love this man so much. Now, one thing he won't tell you, he's one of the biggest cheaters in the country. Every car he builds. I love it. Every car he builds. We'll talk about that later. But go ahead, Mike. Why don't you do a cool opening for us, and then we're going to go to National Anthem. Hey, you know what? Josh Decker is 100% correct. You guys are an awesome crowd, and you make us feel at home. Every one of us that come here and enjoy your state in New York, we truly appreciate it. If it wasn't for great people like you, we wouldn't have Demolition Derby like we do. So thank you to you guys for spending your hard-earned money to come out here and enjoy this show with spinning wheels and all of these competitors. Let's get a big round of a hand for you guys. The other thing that I want to give credit to is that we got any veterans in this crowd. If you guys would stand up and allow us to honor you for what you guys have done for us, to give us this freedom, your sacrifices have given us the freedom today to do this, I love what it. we are doing. Look around. Give them the thanks. I love it. Tix is all about giving everything back to and our veterans. Love it. Everybody else stand up with all of our veterans. Because that's what we do for this flag. 
We're going to give honor to every one of our veterans, the past, the present, the future, and the never forgotten, the fallen. We don't kneel for this flag. We stand. That's our colors. That's our freedom. And that's what they gave to us. And we thank you for that. Absolutely. At Thanks to our time, people that have served. My friend Emily out there was sat in the airport while we were uh, waiting for uh, flights and stuff, and she's serving right now. And thank you so much, Emily, for what you do for our country. And everybody, all the veterans at home, thank you very much, like Tick said. Awesome. So we just finished up the national anthem, as you can see out there. Shell is our photographer. She takes pictures of all our drivers. She's been doing it for years. And last year, as so excited. Bush, she said, Decker, I think I'm ready to sing the national anthem next year. And this morning, I'm like, hey, remember last year when you said you were ready to sing the national anthem? And uh, she was ready in two hours. So good job, Shell. She forgot all about I that. I love it. They're watering the uh, track so right now, and but that water will not slow because. these guys down. For you guys that watched this before, you know how it is. It just brings you back. It brings you back into the memory. All right, Power Wheels My boy, kids. My boy Tix is back. I love it. We're going to do a few minutes of Power Wheels. All right. Now, on this end, parents, let's 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 slide out here. We're going to put all the Power Wheels kids in this area. Tix, you did kids awesome, young man. I absolutely love that. Gives you gives me chills listening to you. Oh, could you imagine uh, you and Mark Elliott opening up parents? derbies together? That would be oh. it. Would be an honor because he is one of the one of the best. Oh, that's a lot of stairs. I know the stairs are heavy on us skinny guys, aren't they? Yeah. You know we talk about that. You know it's like uh, the people that are out there in the derby world that don't know Mark Elliott. Um, Get online, take a look at that man, follow him. He does so much awesome stuff for our sport. All right, parents. Yes, love him to death. Uh, if you lose a leg, I don't feel bad or any work. I love it. Right, this stuff kids. for the kids. Kids are you I was telling them back home <laughs> that we get nervous and we're puking before we drive or we got that nervous pee. What was that a little boy doing down there? Oh, he's throwing down a double cheeseburger. <laughs> throwing it down like <laughs> Uh, it was absolutely great. I was like, we're looking at him, and, and he's, he's just rifling down that big double cheeseburger. It's bigger than his head, and, yeah, he was he was all ready for it. It's like, dang. Okay. So we got one they got a heck of a turnout of, of the power we'll wheels. We'll uh, off, we'll look at the cars time. over there. Right, yeah. How many cars do you think? Go oh, Hondo? Oh, there's, yeah, we're going to go through 100, 100 plus, 120, 130, I believe. You see the power wheels on the left-hand side there, Bill? Ah, I love it. Look at the amount of power wheels, Uncle Bill. Yep. There we go. Uncle Bill's got a great view over there of our standing camera. Cannonball Derby parts. Hope you guys are watching out there. My boy Bean from Iowa better be watching the scale hills. They better be watching us, Tixie. They are. Uh, Jake Scahill was reaching out, getting some information about uh, the Derby up there for October. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. They all want to come to the show, but they want to know where to get the rules. Oh, yeah. 
There we oh go. Gosh, it is live go right off the bat. nose. Now, you guys got to remember, this is the future of Demolition Derby right here. So, mom and dad, go buy a Power Wheels. Get your kid out there and let them have fun. What a wheel shot from the green car on the Escalade. Just pinpointed that thing. He's been, he's been watching derbies. Look at all the wheels he's going after. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Is yeah, you got a couple of those vehicles out there. They got passengers in there. It's like, come on, sis, let's go for a ride. I love this. <laughs> a gentleman in the cowboy hat just about took it in the back leg. Gray area, demo derby parts. Another one. Like I say, you know, don't forget to take a look at those sponsors and holler at them and let them know that you appreciate them sponsoring TrackShot Live. And, you know, buy some parts from them. Let them know you've seen them. Heard about them right here on TrackShotLive.com. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. One yeah, guy. happy Father's Day. We'll say it again tomorrow to yeah. all the great fathers out there. And that's the hard thing about this is we're away from our kids, and um, yeah. they put up with it. And we love our kids so much, and thank you for letting us do this. Yeah, oh, there we go. Alex Vasco, all for him racing the up live close camera angle right there. We are so fortunate to have Alex here at the show with us at Mini Meltdown 2022. What he does is incredible for yeah. the movie world. Yes. Yeah, we had a good chance to talk to him last night for a little bit before we went on into the hotel and got some good sleep for the night. You talked to somebody? <laughs> Once again. Once again. Once again. Tixie, Tixie, Tixie loves it. And it's it's great being around Tix because, like, if you're a little bit shy, you're not an outgoing person, he will change that, and he will bring you into the conversation, make you feel like you understand where he's going with his views, and I love it. Well, I just like listening to what other people have to say about what's going on across the country and different events and everything like that. Uh, we got uh, super, super fortunate that we've got uh, the man, the myth, the legend from Spring, uh, Spring Explosion over in California, Blaine Williams. Uh, he's been here with us. Uh, or, or Spring Extreme. Spring Extreme. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it was great getting up. to talk to him. And, uh, like, der derbies out there, or Cali, or way different than say new york and back where you and i are from yeah. so yeah it's incredible listening yeah and he's a he's a heck of a good guy he uh he got he got the old ticks welcome last night we shared a room he uh he figured out how bad i snore you know skin oh skin dog he knows how to be he, uh decker wears earplugs skin's okay with it and i'm okay and, with it because yeah. we both do <laughs> yeah bobby and i we're, we're barking growling yeah. so uh last time the last show i went to i uh, roomed with uncle bill and <clears throat> the next morning he's like you made noises i didn't know an individual could make <laughs> so i'm like oh my god it was bad <laughs> i stay with ticks it's okay last night Ben, I'm having a conversation with Ben. I look back over, and he's sleeping again. Like, you talk to him, and he's out snoring. So I'm like, okay. You know, I, I uh, got my sleepy tea, drank my sleepy tea, and I'm like, poor Ben, because I'm going to sleep. 5 o'clock, Ben don't sleep past 5 o'clock. And I he get up, and I'm like, hey, bud, did I snore? I and he just starts third. laughing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, oh, boy. They need to just put you and I together in a room. Yeah, exactly. It's like we we know the ones that we can be with, you know. <laughs> I know. But when I sleep with Skinny, he always sends me home with something, you know. It's You know. Well, is it, that's why Skin isn't here. I thought he... He had something and didn't want to get you sick again. Oh, he's, he's got something all right Some going on. There's no doubt about that. I like that, how the pit crew can go out there and work on the power <laughs> wheels, you know, while it's live. Your old boy in the green car is, uh, he hit so hard he knocked the headlights out of that other one. <laughs> So they put these guys, they put the children on a time limit because some of these batteries will go forever. So um, they've got uh, they got a time limit. So Decker just called out two more minutes and they're, they're going to be done. So um, it's it's not really uh, <laughs> the, the the one lady ding near got taken out. Decker's pushing <laughs> I know. the back. like, look out there. I know. One minute, one minute, and then we're going to count you down. I, I, like you were talking how this is so family orientated. I, I learned so much about the so certain much. families out here yesterday that I can't wait to come back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Are you going to run again? 
I or you drive, know, whatever you guys. Yeah, we're, I uh, I did buy I did buy a muscle car for Sam Filippo. Uh, I'd love to take the family across the country out here and and uh, make the road trip all and right. and bring it on out. I'm hoping all that that right, all works out. You better get Bugs learning how to drive truck and trailer so he, he can drive you out here. Yeah, no kidding. And your mom can have some adult beverages. <laughs> that would be great. Counting them down. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it, it right there. Look at the kids. They're all high-fiving. And it's our future right here. I like this one right here. The sportsmanship like right there. I like yes. it. That's good. Now, if I had a kid in there, though, and another kid hit my kid head on, I'd be grabbing the dad and beating him. <laughs> I'll tell you a story. I'm sure people have heard it before, but Bugs and Hunter Elzer were just young little kids, maybe four years old, five years old, and we were up at the Mall of America, and they're in the bumper cars. Those two kids went over, and they're teaming up, and they're just just pounding on this poor young little girl against the wall. And, and Hunter's holding them, and Bugs is just tracking it. And next thing you know, the father got upset. He went over the railing as the bumper cars are going. He goes and pulls his daughter out of the bumper car. <laughs> Skinny and I were just cheering the kids on like they were doing great things. And uh, our women looked at us with this level of unproudness, and it's like, Hey, you know, the kids did it. You know, <laughs> they were battling her down. I love it. So, yeah. Does Bugs have more wins than you already? Oh, he does. He does. He's, he's I the love best. It. It per, per, percentage wise, yes. I, I, I can't even <laughs> compete with that kid. So, now we're going to the best of the paint right here. This is uh, Alex has got this. So, so Rick Hansen is a local artist here. He's the one that made this trophy and everything like that. He's an airbrush guy. Um, I believe Rick is called Hippie, isn't it his nickname? I, I, I believe it's Hippie. I honestly don't know. But this stuff right here, and he has done some of these cars out here, and it's, it's airbrush, and it's just absolutely awesome. But they have... One car. I don't know where they're starting, but they have a pickup truck down there that has that's uh it's all stars and stripes and honoring our our service members, which is which is super cool. All right, so we're gonna go car to car. Y'all, if you think that are they are our best of paint for today, so who we got running here? Kyle Hunter, what kind of car you got? Kyle Hunter in the 7C driving a Camry. Who thinks Kyle's got the best of paint? Give him a cheer. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Starting tough. Yeah. Dude, look at the detail on the trees. Yeah, okay. I know. This is yours, right? Okay. Andrew Dorn, where are you from? Uh, and right Andrew Dorn, uh, Andrew the 793, Dorn. the zombie car. Zombie and the dragon. That sounded pretty good. All right, Griffin, always doing good paint jobs. Your name? Josh Griffin. Where are you from? Josh Josh Griffin driving the Mad Dog. That is a hip. Uh, that is one of the the hib and dibs. What? This is sick. It's got a Mad Dog on it. I liked it. Okay. Oh, that was weak. That didn't, he didn't get much for that one. Uh, by the way, I've lost a couple hundred dollars out of my pockets. If anyone sees hundred dollar bills floating around, they're mine. I've lost them twice today. Oh my goodness. Josh Decker's lost a couple hundred bucks out there, eh? Who thinks art from New World is your best? Art driving the 21H. Ooh. Actually, we talked to them last night. That was a husband-wife thing, I believe, that did that one. Okay, I thought so. Your name? Where you're from? John Green. John Green driving the Mickey Minnie Mouse car. Not at all. To be young, right? Who thinks this is your best of paint? I still get nervous. Your name, where you're from? Uh, Anton Smith, Anton Smith from PA. This is our best of paint. That is an autism car there, isn't that? Yeah, autism. that's autism, correct? Yes, sir. On the yep. Locals, locals. Autism awareness. Right. Love it. Ooh, a Your Jason name, Sauer sir, car. Terry Reno. That was a sour car last night. That thing is awesome. Look at the dragon. I mean, that's kind of, yeah, sour. That's super cool. All right, all right. 
MWFA, homeboy. Sir, your name, where you're from? Scott Bussing. Scott, Scott Bussing. Hey, wake up up there. Anybody awake? Decker's trying to get some excitement, get it going. The mouthiest guy in the Northeast, hands down. Hands down. I love him. Your name and where you're from? Josh Decker, Lyle, New York. Get out of here. Get out of here. Corey Fisher, East Meredith. Corey Fisher right there. Autism awareness, very good cause. Awesome. I do like Corey. I like busting his balls. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is another mouth of the south. All right, our man, your name? Dude, your this car sick, is it not? Chuck Creek, yeah, he's the Chuck Creek. family. Who thinks this is your best Look at that. that oh, one. yeah, he's getting it. That thing is sick, right? And he will hold that thing wide open, yep. too, Chuck. He, he runs that. hard. Absolutely gorgeous paint job on that. Okay, so you're up there for a winner. You're, you're, you're up there. Now, a lot of people think you're a bagger. Are you going to run it like that today? I shouldn't have asked them. I shouldn't have asked them. Where's Travis? No Travis? Travis, where'd you go? Okay, I'll do it for him. Travis Seward. He's from right down the road. Travis oh, Seward. Travis. Got a little NLR Derby parts on there. Look at that. One of our great sponsors of Track Shot Live. Thank you very much, NLR. Okay, yep, Johnny and Jeremy, you guys. Uh, really that like is truly the super like, store of demolition derby parts. I love parts. this. So is it Muse or Mavis? Mavis. Why not Muse? Derek West. That is, that is an honorable truck for the 13 members lost. That's tough to be, right? Dude, they just give me the chills. Yep, I, no, same here. Just, I, I just, you know, I want to see how, I want to make it tough for you. These are the pictures of each of the people. And who, who did this for you? You did it yourself. Very cool. Very cool. Wow. Okay. Those are the portraits of the fallen like soldiers in Afghanistan hey, there. Honest, kids, let me teach you something. Without these men and women right here, you wouldn't be hanging out today. We wouldn't be chilling today without it's people the honest that truth. like that. Yes. We always got to remember these people, right? Unreal. Okay, so I think we're down to two. My God, here is we're down to two. And so re regroup here. You can only pick for one. Okay, we're going to go Beersy here in the zombie car, and then we're going to go for our pole and shoulders. Soldiers. I'm sorry. Which one, Bobby? We're going after the zombie or the fallen soldiers? Fallen soldiers. <laughs> got it. That's, I'm there with you. Got the, it. the zombie is amazing. But it is amazing. They should give him another award. All right. Who loves the zombie of Beersies? Let's give it a big yeah. Who's this it is incredible. Sorry, Beersie. <laughs> All right. Who thinks this one's our best of paint? Oh, there look at it, it is. Yeah. Hands down. The Fallen Soldiers has taken that thing. Awesome. That is amazing. I, wish you a ton of luck out there. Thank you for doing that. I love that. That's so, so cool. You know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. I don't, I don't mean this in a derogatory statement by no means or anything like that. But you come out here and you see all these cars that got amazing color, amazing art on them, and everything like that. And you think back to the, the, the this derby that used to have a hundred round back wagons, and they're all black. You know, and you think about those shows like that. I love the artistic culture that people are bringing to this sport, the color and everything like that. As we give thanks to Jason Sauer, I mean, granted, we're a little biased because he's our homie, he's, he's that, but you know, what what they bring to the show is, is absolutely awesome. Just look at the color on these cars and everything like that. Look at the artistic. These people spent more time probably painting these things than they did building some of these, and it is so awesome. Thank you for bringing that color to our sport. Absolutely. He opened the door to get in that truck. It's not even welded. Oh, oh, really? He opened the door. And well, got that's in. that's that farm truck class. That is absolutely yeah. awesome. I, I love it. Smash us right there down in the bottom corner. Congratulations on Bash for Cash. You guys had a great show out there, great turnout, and one hell of a youth class. Loved it. My God. Congratulations, Clark family, on that. You guys did uh, did some amazing stuff out there. I got the list. We. Thanks, spinning wheels. We have computerized printouts of every driver, and everything's in order. I love it. Uh oh. Oh, it's getting We're in trouble. Now. Our, we, got, our, we, got, we got a boss. Our, we got a boss in the house. So, 
took him long enough. He was supposed to be up here so I could go do the national anthem and yeah. stuff like that. But then Bobby's all by himself, so all that's right. all right, Ben. We Don't mean it. to interrupt. M4 is Josh Diamond. <laughs> He's out of New York. Then we got 69C. Pierce. Chris Piercy, yep, out of New York. And you you should know most of these, so you know, we don't even need a list now that you're up here. Uh, my memory's too bad, no. You what not, What is your name for the people at home that don't know? Because uh, you're behind the scenes, literally behind the scenes. I am actually, yeah. I'm the, I'm the silent partner, per se. You're a partner? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, actually, surprisingly. Uh, for you guys at home that don't get to see Ben very much as he works like 80 hours uh, a day, I know that's a stretch. I'm just saying Ben is our one of our bosses that saves us because DECA fires us all the time. And you guys think it's funny. We're driving around out here, and people are like, how long will it take you to get fired? Like, they already they have money bets from last night on how long it's going to take me to get fired. Money that's bets. Funny. That's funny. Um, but Ben goes above and beyond to get us places, book our flights, and – we can't thank you enough, Ben, for what you thank do. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Do what I can do. Kind of biased because I always sleep in your room. But we were talking, Tix and I, since we snore so much, we're going to have to just stay in the room so you guys can sleep. <laughs> Who's this one? Who's this? Yoshi. Yoshi, whoever it is. And then what is that, number seven? Yep. What is that? Jeffro. Jeffro. 23X. 23X. We have Brett Hook. Hibbert, yep. out of New York. Bath, New York. The Down lucky Bath. number 13. Lucky number 13 is Eric Hall out of West Bridgewater, Maine. Got the 97B. 97D? B. 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 Is B like like D? Because I got a six or 69C. 97. How about a 55C of Fuller? Okay. 68, a tater. Oh, Chris Fuller is out of New York. 26. Lanny Hirsch. 26 is Leonard Hirsch out of Maine. 91H. 91H is Brad Hathaway out of New York. And last but not least, the number 52. That is Derek Widrick out of New York. We got a lot of New York people in this one, Ben. Oh, yeah. They're, it's pretty cool because he mixes the, like, mini SUVs with minivans so it makes it real interesting <laughs> I, I'll tell you what after the after the one minivan that I ran I think I'd take a minivan like, those things are dirty nasty yeah. Oh, yeah so so the 97 he has a B on his roof sign 97 on the door that is Brant Johnson out of Belfast New York okay so sorry back home that I messed up his but 68 of Tater. Did you get Tater? Tater. Tater. 68 is, says Cody. Cody Durham. He might be nicknamed Tater. That's be Tater you know, salad. So I can't use. So Tix, everywhere we've been going, if Ben's not with, I get to use his little call sign or like, let her rip, Tater dip. But now he's here, so I don't know if I get to use it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Go ahead. Hey, you know, one thing that we got to talk about is that, that little interview deal that you've seen at Decker earlier. These are those minivans. You go buy them for five, 600 bucks, sell the cats, and be into these things for next to nothing. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't have to be a professional driver. You can be a professional driver, whatever it is. Just, you know, look at these things, put it together, and go have fun with them. I mean, that is what's awesome right, about this right, class. Right. And you can't do anything to them. No. No, you can put a bumper on them. That's about it. Yep. And that's really, that's all you need for the minivans. Take the airbags out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Danny Ogden, take yeah. your airbag out. Uh -oh. The countdown, here we go. Old Bulldog jumped the he gun. He jumped the bit. gun. Uh, he was getting there. He wanted to get her after it. Oh, I bet Tixie had a pop in it. That's what Tix does. <laughs> he jumps the gun. Gets you in the backside. Here comes the rocket. Uh-oh. Oh! oh! Good shot. Uh oh, that the rocket is laying down mail. Look at that, the rocket, that big piece of dash came out and whacked him. He's trying to push it out yeah. of the way. 52 coming in, looking for a shot right there. You guys are getting some separation on the track. It'll be interesting here in a second. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, lucky 13 and oh, rocket. Oh, the back of the 97 didn't move. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that train was four, four vans deep. He didn't move too much yeah. on that. And that's awesome because Fix talked about that here. That's huge here. They do that all the time. They yeah. just pack them together.
Good shot by the 23X across the track from us there. That's Brett, 23X is Brett putting on a little bit of a show for us. Yeah. 68 coming in there, nobody's following the backside. There's definitely, uh, there's quite a few veteran uh, drivers and minivan drivers out here, compact drivers oh. also. Great shot on the 91 right in front of us. Got a red flag. Red flag. So we'll have two heats of these, Ben. This one and then midway through we'll have another heat of these. Yes. Yeah. It's these and then two or three, I think, of compacts and then van trucks maybe. Yeah, we got to look at this stuff. Look at It's all for us. Look at this. Look at that. That's like. Have you seen this before? Look at this. You guys yeah. smell that? That's not burning tire. <laughs> You're burning a tire, all right. You know what's great is I still can't smell. Everything just smells the same. So really, you just made. I just ate it. I can't smell it, but I just ate it. Skinny, where you're, are you? You're making, where you're are making, you to take care of this you're guy? You're making skinny? Uncle Bill's nose run, Tixie. Stop. <laughs> hey, just don't, just don't pick any peanuts off the floor or white towels. <laughs> Do you know how long this track is, Ben? Um, my, sh I would say, let's see. About 260, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's this track is so long, you guys. It is, uh, it, it's crazy, and it, I don't, I don't know if TV does it justice as to how long this thing looks. If I uh, there, 91 gave a great shot on the junkie Yoshi right in the middle. A good judgment is because uh, they tractor tractor pulling stuff on it. So I think from concrete wall, poured concrete wall to the other poured concrete wall, I think it's 300 feet. So they're using, I mean, they're using three quarters of oh, the track. Oh, hard driver oh, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. They could open it while well, they have the tapered barrier at, at each end. Otherwise, they could go another 20 feet. But this is this is big enough. You know. You just said you don't know if it does it justice, but from what I learned from the camera, it adds like 20, 20 pounds, maybe 20 feet. So it probably looks the track like everybody at home thinks we're bigger guys, but we're really not. Yeah, we're why? Like, we're Ben size. Yeah, why? I don't understand why I don't look taller than <laughs> my, my 20 feet went the wrong way. Mine went horizontal. <laughs> there we go. Good, good action right in the front from the meaty man. Oh, there's another hard hit. There it is. 91 came in on the rocket. Looking good. 91H. That was Brad Hathaway that put that shot on. Old Hibbert, uh, he's, his stock tank's laying on the ground. There's no How gas. about that? There's no gas in it, but it's stock tank. You sure hope. Oh, it's not. He's got a fuel cell. Unless he's got some water in it for ballast. Brian, he's got a fuel cell, buddy. So they're done already? They're pulling eight out of here, he just said. Now they're the fire department, they're figuring it out. Hold up. Golly, you're gonna straighten her out. Tix, my phone keeps on going off. Will you please get rules out for your derby so these people can start building? I I know. I am like, I am. <laughs> if if Decker's seen my phone going off right now, we'd be fired again. But yeah. luckily he's down there. But my phone was going off like, t with Tix, that Tix guy, that Tix guy. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, you guys, I do apologize that the rules aren't out. We're just shaping and rewording a couple things, you know. So we are we are trying to get that out. I apologize that it's not done yet. Next week, I promise you, I will have them out. They will be done. Yeah, because if not, David's going to have a breakdown that he don't know what he's inspecting. Yeah, I know, I know. Our boy David's at home. We love you. Yeah, we gotta we gotta lock Ben down for the throwdown also to make sure that he's there. So it's. Uh, I, I plan on it. I'm supposed to be. Uh, uh, Hauling some uh, beer back to New York State, I hear. Yeah. What, what is it that <laughs> there's Golden no, Light? Yeah, McGo there's no 
that they don't have that beer here. They can't what they buy say, it here. seven states have it or something? Not even. Minnesota, a little bit of South Dakota, Wisconsin, a little Here's bit of Iowa. Hazard fee. We have a hazard fee. It will be billed on the backside of your check. Okay, so you guys got to see this. When this skid loader pulls away, this has got a full gas tank underneath it, you guys. Uh, this is a safety, a safety thing. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually gas or you did the old school fill it full of water. Uh, water, sand. I guarantee that guy would eat the tofu fucking bur Jeez, oh, burger with us. Man. Ben, how can you protect that? Uh, there's beep. Bill's got a beep. Bill's got the five-second beeper. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese and rice. Oh, man. Oh. I just, I didn't know. It, I got excited. Tofu in New York. Out of, they made it for a burger. And fat-free fries that we had yesterday from I can't from believe I can't believe you got excited on that to blow out that comment. <laughs> My God. I didn't. Now what did I, what did I call it BS on what that. What did I call blow out? Yeah, no. You blew something, all right. So did you, and I ate it. Yeah. God. My God! All right, one more guy's got to go out, and then it's it's going down. There is still some strong running vans out there, so now you got to remember. I mean, these guys got to go back and fix this stuff, and I mean, yeah, and, and go for it. So now, Ben, do these guys get plates? Uh, yes, all the all of them get fix it plates, uh, four, and you have the opportunity to put them on before or put them on after. You cannot put them on, then oh the bent somewhere else, take them off, reweld them in a different spot. You can't add any more. So four is it. Four is the magic number. Four is the magic number, and it's interesting because there's guys that are used to running without fix-it plates. So you got the guys that put them on before they come out, and then you got the the guys that okay, I know where this is gonna bend. Because I'm used to running them without plates, so I'm going to go out and let it rip. And if it bends there, okay, I'll plate it there. If it don't bend there, then, you know, I'll, I'll do something different. So, ooh. They just let it rip, tater chip? Oh, you, oh. The Yoshi killer out there, he's got he's bad situation. He's yep. got some flats on the front. Nice big shot right there by the 52, putting on the Yoshi killer. They're drunken Yoshi. That That's might be it. That's it. We got her onto the feature. Man, this is going to be a rough one to pick who they pick for the feature. For the Mad Dog? Don't they pick for the take? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Dog? I'm almost 100% sure they're doing Mad Dogs out of each heat. Well, he was when he was younger. But don't quote me on that. All for him racing, Alex. He uh, does a, adds just an amazing extra extra piece to the show. It's uh, totally appreciate that on track. What you got shaking down there, Alex? Um, all for him racing videos. Please go on there, follow him. He is one of the most followed uh, demolition derby YouTube channels out there. Uh, Alex and his family do an amazing job with everything. So all for him racing videos .com and uh, grab his grab his YouTube page, follow him. And it's uh, it's he does it does like I said he does an amazing job with it. You just look at this stuff, this up close and everything like that. So it's it's great. This track, they'll, they'll probably put a little bit more water on it, probably a couple more heats in, and then they won't have to touch it for the rest of the night. It's going to get all mealed around, and it's going to be fast by the end of the night. Yeah. It's it's funny how this track really comes together. I oh, mean, yeah. it sucks up that water for, for you know, the first couple heats, and, and then all of a sudden it just gets to that point, oh, yeah. and it's just money. So a uh, huge shout-out to Terry Groff, uh, Auto oh, Repair and Towing. That Groff tower, is, uh, the, you know, he's got all these tow trucks here. The skid loaders kind of put them together and everything like that, and then the tow trucks grab them, and they take them out to their cars and everything. So a uh, huge shout-out to those guys. They bring a lot of trucks and everything. And then each and every one of these skid loader operators, uh, they, they're they uh, they're, they're just the, the best in the business. I mean, this is what clear this track, get this track done, so that everybody can get out there for the next heat and get more action for you guys. And it's always a bonus when they can drive them off. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. That, that gives everybody a sigh of relief, you know. Yeah. Right there. There we go. Alex giving us some awesome video right there. Good shot right down on the track. He's walking around. Muddy boots and all. He's doing it. Yeah, them things are going to weigh about 50 pounds, about two more heats. Yeah, almost definitely. Because that's some sticky clay down yeah. there. 
Tix, I have a problem. What's that, Houston? Our girl, Karen Thomas, that follows us, loves us, watches us everywhere, shares us, is watching at home, but she has a skinny shirt on. Oh, Not like skinny, goodness. skinny, like our boy skinny, free yeah. 99. Free 99. I have yeah. a problem right now. We love you, but yeah. you're going to have to change shirts and repost the picture. Congratulations on that marathon you ran there also, Karen. That's awesome to see what uh, – you and the dogs and the husband are doing uh, motor home living life are they yeah, not absolutely so oh i um, just went for a 20 mile run today i was kind of bored 20 miles my car won't even go that far <laughs> look at the replays right there so bill the one man band has got the replays going on and you don't understand how much work he has to do to get these oh. replays put together and everything so bill thank you so much for doing that and showing everybody the back-to-back -back shots again like that that was awesome Uncle Bill, I thought you were getting a little switchboard person for us. He's laughing over there. <laughs> Blushing Bill's got something in the works so he can have somebody help him. Yeah. Oh, Reno. All right, so we got compact heat number one, Ben. Yep. They still got a couple more to clear out, but Bill still got some great replay shots oh, coming on there. Just love it. These guys are anxious. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little giddy on the dirt. So um, Bill's yeah. telling us to give back. Oh. Yeah. Give back. Look, he's giving orders. This is yeah. a bad spot on the floor. Uh, that's, that's why you're there and not one of us. <laughs> that's why That's why you're there. So. Oh, this yeah. is real bad right there. Yeah, that's why I stepped over this way. Okay. You've got bigger feet and less weight. So that's. We'll, we'll he's got bigger feet. You both have like size sixes. Oh, easy. right, six and a half. Oh, sorry, six easy. and a half. Oh, easy, man. six and three so, quarter. I guess I guess Bill's saying that uh, we're better looking than the than the uh, <laughs> instant replays, but yeah, yeah. So. Look how he put me all the way to the one end, so you only got half of me, so I look skinnier. I love it. Thank you, you Uncle Bill. Oh seven Reno. Yes. Yeah, oh seven, and he's out of New York. And the twelve fourteen is. John Graham out of New York. 619. 619 is Doug Bandy out of Vermont. 13. 13 is Montana, yes, Ski out of oh, New York. Oh, Johnny Rotten. Johnny Rotten himself. He's out of Jersey. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Rotten out of New York, New Jersey. That's 11. That's 11. That is Gary George out of Vermont. 171. These are some of our Ontario guys. 171. So is that that long number? Is that yep. who that is? Number six. Chris Woodward. Chris yep. Woodward out of Maine. That's what I love. There's so many different states here. Oh, Ritten's here. Ritten. Uh, Cameron Ritten out of New York. He's backing in. He says, I'm giving oh, a front bumper. Yeah, I'm going to give her the wood. They, uh, who's the old T-Bone. Who's T-Bone? I don't know. Come on. We'll Tell find out. He's not Porterhouse. What's that one say, 24? Could you see what that said? No. 91H. 91H is Bradley Hathaway out of New York. Okay, the 11. Oh, That's Carl Shiner, Shimer. Shimer out of New York. Then six, oh, backing her in. 61. 61 is it? Is this 618 maybe? 618, yep. 618 is Jesse Largacy out of New York. Sorry yeah. if I mess up these names. You got some nosers. Yeah, another one backing him in. Got some nosers. They're, they're, they're confident. Yep. So they, I just heard they're going down to two plus a mad dog. Okay. Two plus the mad dog is what we're going down to. So awesome. they're going to make them work and earn their way to the dance. Oh, and this is going to be fast. Yeah. People that have never watched this, any of these shows here, especially at Morris. BJ Tix is working. <laughs> BJ Tix is working. This gets real crazy. Yeah. You uh, you think they'll skinny pedal straight down, Ben? I, I think you're going to have, basically what's going to happen is we're going to back up. It's going to be slow pace for about 30 seconds, and then it's, it's on. Would you ever wear an open face helmet? There's so no. many open face helmets here. 
Well, we got a bumper on the track already. already. That's John Graham's bumper. It's a pretty hey, color. Hey guys, hey guys, there we go. Old Graham, yeah, twelve fourteen Graham. He lost the bumper off the back, right off the stutter. I said Graham, Graham. Sorry, Graham. Oh boy, first front time bumper Durbin? gone. First time welding. Oh, first time welding. Okay, well there's a there's a learning experience right yep. there. And Jake from State Farm's got his truck, got his welder, and everything, so maybe he can take it over there if he wants to run tomorrow. Maybe. Three, two, oh boy, he's gonna lay it down. I love watching these guys. <laughs> and there comes the train. Yep, here we go. T-Bone coming across the track right there in the middle. What a shot. Oh, he got a good shot on T-Bone the 13. Oh, watch Graham. Oh. 171 coming in. Got a hold of Graham with no bumper up front. Which, uh, is that like the wow. south over there? Which way is that? South, north? Never eat soggy weedies? Uh, they uh -oh. shoved him, they uh -oh. shoved him right red out. Red flag, red flag. One, 12, 14 a gram just ate the steering wheel. They uh, shoved a couple cars straight out over there. That's why I was asking. He's bleeding from the nose. Yeah, he, uh, he ate the steering wheel. He had a full face helmet on though, didn't he? I don't think it was. It was one of those fold up helmets is what it looked like. Big round of applause there for Graham getting out of there. He he took that steering wheel hard. I see that thing. Uh, Man. I love it. Spinning wheels does not waste any time to shut that track down to get no. safety out of there. That's uh, they pay attention. The the flagmen here are are top quality. Because Ben's not all. Even so, if Ben true. was down there, he'd yeah, be. He, it wouldn't even. They'd still be derby. And if somebody was on fire, Ben's pulling them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've seen that. Even even when they're not even working, him and Decker, oh, yeah. when they're not there, they're jumping in, even without a flag. So yeah. we're back to green flag here, everybody. There we go. Good connection right in the middle of the track right there for you guys. Another red Debo flag. coming right in there. Thirteen. He's getting out. Something must majorly happen. That's Montana from New York. Okay. Oh yeah, That's factory that. steering wheel broke right through. Wow. Yeah, that's a safety thing. You got to get out of the car at that oh. point. Oh my oh. goodness. Six nineteen coming across. Oh, six nineteen decided to give her a little more. Johnny Rotten coming down. Oh yeah. They like piling them right in the ends. Oh, absolutely. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Swing and a miss. Oh, oh airbag. Airbag. Oh. The, the steering wheel one didn't. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the whole right side of my face, it was like all burnt up from really? that powder. That's, that powder's hotter than heck when it comes out of there. Ben, if you were to drive this class, what would you bring? 
and never have to worry about it. I'm never driving a compact car. Tixie, what would you drive? If, <laughs> like, what would be your choice of car? I'll tell you what, you know, I've watched those W bodies tear stuff up and everything like that, but the maneuverability and the, the whip, the, the snapshot of these little Camrys with these four cylinders are, mm -hmm. those Camrys are pretty impressive, but um, I'd still go to a Yugo. A Yugo. Yugo. A bug. <laughs> a far for Nugan. Yeah. I would yeah. get a W body and call Uncle Nick King, and I would come out here and eat your Yugo up. I don't know. Oh. I've, I've seen some nasty accords. They actually, the nasty only sound. Nasty cords, nasty Camrys. I mean, it, every, you've named every nasty car there is, basically. You know, it's like everybody says every car's got its up and down. Because if it was one car was the, the ultimate, then that's the only thing you'd see. But right. um, you know what? And then you always, see, you'll see a lucky a Hyundai come out here and tear stuff up. So it, you don't have to have just the one specific one. Wow, there they come right in the middle of the track. Good action again. Yeah, and these cars are very stock. There's nothing to them. You know, then you got a bumper, you got a cage, and that's about it. That's it. stock suspension and everything. So Johnny well, Rodden right can... there in the black and the orange. He's playing smart, but I think he's got steering problems. Yes, yeah, he does. does. The 91H right there in the middle of your track is just kind of staying in that mid-track, trying to keep himself clean. Doing a really good job. Oh, there he goes. Just follow 171 out of there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. He got out of it. That was going to be a kill. He, was, he had somebody lined up, and then it, it didn't look good. Uh-oh, here we go, 91H. 71 coming through. Reno's going to come down and put a shot on. Reno coming all the way, full track. Oh! oh. That's it. Man! Oh, here we go. No. Oh. oh. I think Reno should have that hard hitter automatically. He has been putting it on from start to finish. Here he comes. Yeah, he's got a CV going bad on it. Yeah, he does. Oh, just now got teamed now up Now he's on really right got there. a bad CV. That, that, that just done him in the 11 and 16. Came down and gave him a good one. Six nineteen, boy. He's putting. He's putting some shots on Ritten. No, oh, he's. he's Ritten, just. He's, a, he's just a swinging. Yeah, he's struggling. That motor is just a struggling out there. These guys are just utilizing the back. The back's getting packed into them gas tank protectors, and they're just getting. They want to save that front. Absolutely. We got five runners. Oh, here still. comes one. Good shot on the 91 by 619. Yeah. Oh. That 171, he's putting the lift yeah, down now. Yeah, he is. He's saying this is how we do it on the QEW. That he's out of Canada, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Ontario guy. Good yeah. shot right in the middle there. They said they, they tried coming down uh, last year or two years ago and their truck broke down at the border, so. Who's in that number 11 car, Bobby? Number 11 is Carl, is it Scheimer or Schimmer? No, nope, no, nope, the other 11. The other 11? Yep. The other 11 is Gary George out of Vermont. Yep. Gary George, yeah. 
Yeah, just lost his wheel over there, it looks like. Oh, oh he got it on. Got it. 619's doing some work now. That's he's smelling he's smelling Doug, that number two spot or number yeah, one Doug spot. Bandy. Out of Vermont. You know, it's like when you when you gotta pick a mad dog, it kinda stinks sometimes because all of a sudden you get to the end of the show or the end of the heat and some guys really step it up and they put on good action. Right. But you really have to honor those guys that start it. Oh yeah. You know, and yeah. it's like that's the way that I look at it. And you wanna give those guys the recognition right away because you know, somebody's keeping their nose clean till the end and then they give a couple good kill shots. But how about the guy that gave you action all the way through? That actually a lot of times a lot of times set the pace to the whole heat. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's You know, some of these guys are driving smart because they know they got to fix these things. Oh yeah. So that's the that's the other thing. Um, I did notice a lot of these compacts already had a lot of plates on their cars already. They put all four of them on right yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. As I was walking around looking at that then. Then there's uh, I want to say there's one or two in this group right here that, if I remember right, one of them doesn't have any on it, and uh, another one just put two on instead of four. Kind of that tough thing, you know. It's like I don't, I don't know the Camrys like a lot of people, but you know, you think if you put that plate in that wrong spot and let it bend in front of it, yeah. boy, it could go really ugly. Yeah. But he lets he lets him cut him back, so it takes a lot of leverage off letting him cut him back. They do get solid struts in the front, um, tires and a bumper, pretty much. Case. We are down, down uh -oh. to the bottom four here. Ritten what are they taking? Out. Three or two? Oh, no, he got her fired. Taking two and a mad dog. Six nineteen following down one seventy one. Oh, that was a good hit. Somebody's running the old fabric softener. Yep. Oh, I thought that was pigs again. Love, love that fuzzy little bear smell. <laughs> oh, sandwich shot. Right to the cage, though. <laughs> Everybody out there right now is like one good shot away from not being in that transfer spot. And this is the worst point in the demo derby right here because you're like, you want to try oh, to save here's something. Oh, what a shot. One hell of a shot there. Love it. There it comes. There you go. I was just going to say, it's like, you know, do you take a shot or do you try to save the car? Well, that answered yeah, my that question answered right there. Oh, look at it inverted the bumper on that. It's, yes. <laughs> Sweet. The drivers here don't save anything, Tix. They just bring the mail. Yeah. They let her rip, Tater Chip. starting to get quiet. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm sitting here, I'm watching. It's like I'm watching down here to see how they kind of split down the middle here all of a sudden. Britain's got to keep her running because it's hot now. Yeah. 11's having some hard, hard steering yeah, problems. That's the 11 of George. Out of yeah. Vermont. We got Vermont, Canada, another Vermont, oh. and New York. 
man. He's hitting with the front of the motor now. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> Literally, it's pushed straight to the motor. Oh! That's the Rick worst. did not see that one coming at all. That's no. the worst. The officials were right over there checking on him, making sure he was good. I think 171 George. is is. I think that was the kill oh, oh no, it's fired one. up. Rick, fired up. Oh, he's still got drive. I don't think he's got reverse. Nope. No. 171 does not have reverse. Oh man. Britain's loose. There you go. There you go. Now you just push that 171 right into a corner or something. Oh, look just at the nose on 171. I know. He's right in the front of the motor. Man. And you had to figure there's a good, like, 20-plus inches from the back of that motor, bumper to the motor. Well, they got more room to put something on the trailer to go back to Canada. Installed. Oh, no. Oh, man, this would be a bummer. Yeah, he's on the clock. The only New York guy who left in these. Not I know gonna what, make it. I know uh, you got what Vermont and no, not Vermont. Who's this? Yeah, Vermont and Canada. Oh, okay. I mean, that's how you 171. That's how you do it in Canadian. Right. Yeah, that's like. That's do you like, add everything up and it adds? Is that like maybe in binary? No, it's co yeah, code rating. Code. Yeah. <laughs> code rating. <laughs> nice. Good run, man. What a what a great heat that was. That was awesome. McCormick out of Canada, and then 619. That was uh, Doug Bandy out of Vermont. Yeah, man, what a run. That was a great heat. Bandy's got a turtle shell helmet on. Oh, Josh, don't jinx yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get yourself. <laughs> but it is true. Yeah, it, like you said earlier, Tixie, Groff is, is just, stolen. these guys get the, they'll chain two, three of them together and just and just yank them off the track. And anybody that's, that's gone and watched derbies and stuff like that, that, you know, there's a lot of negative Nancys out there that are like, Ugh, it took them 15 minutes to clear the track. It took them a half hour to clean the track, you know. Then they're like, oh, man, it only took like five minutes to clean the track, and it was nonstop action. Yeah. We're going back to that one, <laughs> you know. But, well, yeah, kudos, like you said, Tixie, to, to Groff. And he's, got, he's got Cody stuck in the Kubota down there. Um, and I don't know who's in the other one, but... Yeah, there's the replays again coming right yeah, at yeah. you there. There's the 171. Letting her rip, man. You know, huge shout out to the sponsors here. You know, you got Yoshi's yeah. uh, core and, and that, and he's up here taking care of everything. We got uh, 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 Murchies uh, Ford. Um, um, is it Merchville? How are you say that? Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville. Well, yeah, Mechanicsville Ford. Marchese Ford. Cheesy. I, I botched that thing so bad all, all right. the time. I might have botched it too. That's yeah. just the way I'm going to say it. <laughs> uh, Roland Redemption and Recycling. They come through and they clean this place up and they recycle everything. Cans. I mean, they're digging through garbage bags and everything to recycle everything they possibly can. So that's that's awesome. Gary's Fuel and Oil Company out of uh, Roxbury, New York. Uh, big E's. Big E's. Um, it's uh, the shed and siding uh, uh, sales. They built all these sheds and everything all the way around here. You should see the amazing work oh, they that these guys nice do. Ones, yeah. um, and, you know, believe it or not, I mean, the price of lumber and everything like that, I think they're very reasonably oh, yeah. marketed. So I heard last night it's a big thing out here for people to build those to go camping and stuff. 
they're getting three hundred dollars a night out of those mm-hmm. to rent them. Yeah. Well, three hundred dollars a night to rent. It's a small, but it's got a refrigerator. It's got you know yeah. a ti- TV. They're, they're making tiny houses out of yeah, the, yeah, out of yeah. Like the, the like the wood tech sheds. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, so that tractor is that like a retired pulling tractor? The guy's got it caged and everything. I think it's still a pulling tractor. Yeah, I, I I think it's still active. I think he yeah. still does it. So. Um, huge shout out to Lexi at uh, Demolition Derby Life, the magazine. Uh, if you guys have not seen her product, please go on to DemolitionDerbyLife.com. Take a look at that. She puts out an amazing product, uh, an amazing product. Uh, it's uh, it's, it's uh, uh, basically a magazine of all Demolition Derby stuff all across the country and stuff. They're doing a, she's doing a great job at it and everything. So that's uh, it's, it's awesome to be part of that. So Whitetail Properties, uh, Josh Buell. Mm-hmm. Uh, all across the country, you'll see Whitetail Properties. It's a real estate company that uh, it's a broker for land and stuff like that. He is having an amazing year out here, selling uh, beautiful pieces of property and stuff. So don't be uh, don't be shy if you're looking for any hunting land or a cabin or anything like that. Take a look at that at Whitetail Properties, uh, Leeward Construction. Uh, another another great company that uh, helps do the track and and supports it with money and everything here at uh, Spinning Wheels and and uh, mini meltdown 2022 yeah and uh winnie plumbing and heating chad winnie I, wa- yeah. I watched him for years run and run and run and you know and and always always brought the heat always always put a show on um had a lot of success and uh he stepped up to the plate in, in with spinning wheels and he's he's shelled out some bucks for the bad yeah. dogs and and really in uh because winnie winnie's a true supporter of this and um he's a true supporter of of demolition derby all the way around but he's you know it's kind of whether you say it's his roots or whatever but you know he's he's definitely stepped up to the plate and given back well, he's so proud to be part of it, too. You know, oh, you talk yeah. to him. He's a very humble person and everything like that, and he's super proud to be part of it. So just like Jeffy's Fab Farm, yep. um, I mean, he stepped up with spinning wheels years and years ago here and really brought it to the next level and stuff like that. So yep. Jeffy's Fab Farm, uh, these Camry headers are like big lighters. You know, oh, they are so yeah. disposable, <laughs> and Jeffy's got it figured out. He's making them and everything like that. So yep. uh, heat number two coming on in here. But so, yes, I mean, the great sponsors all the way around. Uh, Devil Dog Transmission threw out some loot all the way over here in the East Coast, uh, getting some stuff coming out there. So that was uh, that was awesome. But yeah, J and E Enterprise also. That's uh, that's another one that uh, has has been a good loyal loyal follower here. So heat two, we have Kyle Hunter out of New York. 793 is Andrew Daughtry out of New York. The 06 Bailey. 06, yeah, out of Massachusetts. That's an escort wagon. (laughs) And he loves them, he says. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's some of those guys. Nick, Nick Flynn out of New York is 66. Back in her end. Flying Flynn. 135 a gram. How about the 66M? 66M is Kyle Utter out of New York. 121? 121 is John Palmery out of New York. 44. 44. Must be his brother. That's Joey out of New York. Joey Palmery. I didn't. I couldn't catch that next one. <laughs> I, I missed that one. Yeah. Is that is this 06 or 06B? I just read the whole list. Read, read them off real quick, there, Bobby. Come on. Yep. Now. Andrew Daughtry out of New York, 793B. Anton Smith, 06B. Cameron Grass, 111. Kyle Hunter, 7C. Dave Graham out of New York. Uh, the number is too long on this page. Gary No out of New York. No number. Jason Sa- Savoy out of New York, 86L. Then we got Joey, 44 out of New York. His brother, John, 121 out of New York. Josh Diamond out of New York, M4. He's right here. Yeah, some of them, he read off the list. Some of them might not have made it out. 
Because we got... Uh, yeah, and if I botch the names, I'm super sorry. I oh, do my best. Oh, there goes Bailey. Oh, the wagon. Oh, the wagon. Dang. Dang. Right I just off come the out bat. there like a rocket. M4, yeah. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. Uh, one, one, one. Uh -oh. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Just a freight train coming in. Uh -oh. There we go. Sub 93 uh -oh. coming all the way down. Oh, goodness. What a shot. Man. Just put that car on the ground. God, the 1-1-1. One, one, one. Oh, he's right inside the trunk. Look at that. I think he just took his CVs out, the 111, driving inside the trunk I, of the other yes. one. Yes. Oh, swing oh! it up! Did you Woo! see that fireman have to run? That was Graham. Yep. Wow. Uh-oh, here, here, look at this. Oh, he had him loud. Oh! Man, there goes the tire. Look at how far that tire got shot. Woo! They all broke loose in the middle. Uh oh, look at the one way. Oh! Right out of the track, just like normal here in New York. Oh, oh my goodness, my look at that. God. Oh, here comes one way. Look out, guys. There you go. There's New York. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all that in, dude the in the wagon. That dude in the wagon's hurt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, look at the front of that car. I bet he was doing 25 miles an hour and he had oh, a head on. Oh, my God. That's what oh we talk about. Well, welcome to New York. How are you guys doing? Oh, they have man. nothing but skinny pedals in these cars. Yes. There is no such thing as brakes. That's 66M of Kyle. Oh, yeah, hey, that's Kyle Utter. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle Utter drives like that all the time. Wow. But that, right. seven, that 7C, that's Kyle Hunter is the one that hit the wagon nose to nose. That guy better get the mad dog, I think. Oh. Wow. That's my opinion. And the heat's not over yet. It just started. <laughs> it just started. Oh, my, my guess is after this heat, they're probably going to squirt it a little bit. Well, they're starting to find dry underneath it, so they are digging through. So yeah. I think they're going to have to juice this thing just a little bit. Give her a little. But the, the, these compact cars, it don't matter if it's if it's a little soupy or no. not. These guys, no. they get that traction because of the front wheel drive, and it's just they're gone. Yeah. Thank you, everybody that's watching back home and supporting <laughs> hey. us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobby, don't worry about it. Decker just swore over the live mic. Yes. <laughs> You said the H word like five times. What's the difference between the H word and freak? Hell's not bad. He, he, there was no freak in that. That was <laughs> that was a blown blown straight up. Ben stepped Give on my me. toe, and I, that's why I accidentally said it. Yeah, well, there you go. With I the get size it. six. I get it. I get it. I'll tell you what, a huge shout out to uh, Tony Godwin and the Derby Sharks out there. Yeah, got, got the swag, throwing it out, man. Love the sweatshirt, man. Supporting my Derby Shark brothers out there. So nice. uh, great to see you guys are watching. Totally appreciate it, bud. Let's see how this one finishes. Yeah. I want to thank our fire department. They're right on top of it. Yeah. Like some derbies you go to. Oh no, these it's like guys an hour. These guys are there. These guys, these guys, these guys love demolition derby. How about some of these places you go to where they don't even have first responders or firefighters, you know? Um, We're actually going to be down to four already. Uh-oh, here's the 06 wants to get a little. Wow. Man. He might have just ended his nut. Oh, no, he got oh, her. He got it. Boy, I'm not got sure, but it's other than in the track. I think a couple people are working together. The 793 oh. is trying to get the 44 on stuff. Got them all on stuff. That's just being a, a good cook. Yep. Person. Yeah. Uh oh, no, the no! Oh, oh my, God. my goodness! Oh my goodness! Zero six, seven ninety three just connected. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. Jeez. What? <laughs> what flavor steering wheels do you guys run out here? Everybody wants to eat steering wheels. His head hit the rollover bar. Oh my gosh! Sorry for yelling at home. This is just incredible. 
We got a bumper on the track. Bumper in the middle of the track over there on the left side. Uh oh, here we go. Here's coming the train. down there. Oh, his he was in the passenger seat. What is going on? Uh, yeah, right. By them shots that you don't see coming, and they're the worst there ever is because you're. You, it's just, oh. You, you, yeah, it's like you know, it's like it's like running through a pitch black room and not knowing what's in it. You know, and running through a full board. <laughs> I've never yeah. been to a derby where they've ran flavored steering wheels. <laughs> they're eating them like crazy out here. Oh. Dude, I'm here to tell you. Oh my now, gosh! The picture, if picture, if these cars did not have gas tank protectors, <laughs> they'd be they'd be they'd be hitting the back of the seats right now. Oh. Wow. Uh oh, here comes your train. Oh, Utter's hung up. Yeah, he's only he's doing the one wheel peel, huh? He's locked in there. Look at his bumper. It's nice and nosed up like a Chrysler ready to do some damage. Yeah, but they're they're doing the old Uh oh. They're doing the old circle and swing now. Yeah, look at that roll. The pulling it right. Oh, see his neck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he's still fully stretched out from that last shot down on the bottom side. I'm just glad Daughtry's okay. He keeps taking some hard hits. He just took another one. His face shield just shot out the window. <laughs> his face shield just went out the window. And he takes another hit. Here come, oh, here, oh, oh he's putting 66. the finger out. He put the finger out. Oh, he did. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he did. He did he's a Jake from it. State Farm. Oh, now he's he hung up hung in the 121. Uh-oh, look at this. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. 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 oh, my God, he broke, broke his axle. Oh. Utter's hung up down there. I don't think anybody's going to get him loose now. My back and my head hurt. Oh, my goodness. Unreal. Advil would be a good sponsor for this heat. What's that? Advil would be a good sponsor for this heat because yeah, they're going to need it. Advil, yeah. Either that or chiropractic. <laughs> right? I guarantee you half these guys are going to get out of this heat and they're going to be like two inches taller because they got stretched so much. Yeah. Otter's got to be up. Oh, man, I'd be upset. Oh. What See if Palmer, Palmer gets him on hook, maybe. No. Yeah, but Utter should probably get the mad dog out of that. Here we go. Palmer got him on hook. They shut him down. Oh, my goodness. That's one of them heats where... They can tell, Daughtry has no clue where he's at right now. Like, he's still backing up. He's rung his bell. Look at, see his face shield out there on the track right there? Yeah. yeah. Who's that from? That's that's Daughtry. Is that, that poor guy is taking so many nasty oh hits. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Going out there with a spray bottle and spritzing them a little bit uh. to wake him up. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So are we taking four or are we taking three and one's a mad dog? Two, oh. two and a mad dog. Two and a mad dog. We, we still have four running or are they? Uh, I think they counted out that one car. I think the 66 would be in third place right now. I think they counted out that other car. That was in, He's the, Gully's taking, taking them. them. Yeah. yeah, that's a good choice. They're taking oh, dude, all four. They, they earned it. They earned it. These guys. Oh, my gosh. That was, that's was that been the best heat so far. Yeah, no doubt about it. So they are taking all four of them ones. And that's so. the thing with Gully. Oh. That's the thing with Gully and the group. If if you got a heat of, if you yeah. got like four or five guys, like Gully just said six. You know, if they're putting on a show and laying it down, right? You know, you're you're golden. Yeah, there's there's uh, it's crazy. 
they were they were throwing it down. But congratulations on that. It's a it's a tough decision to make as a promoter, but I think they made the right decision. Oh, oh my! They, yeah. they the crowd went it. wild yeah. when they said that. Yep. Because those guys are going to come out in a feature and do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you, you know it. You absolutely know There's it. There's guys cringing so. right now going, oh, man, those guys are in the feature. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. My back hurts for them. Like I said, like I told Texty, you know, I'll, I'll repeat myself again. I bet, the, I bet half these guys are about two inches taller after this heat because their necks got stretched that yeah, far. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was re crazy. Yeah, there we go. Look at the replays again there from Bill. Amazing the replays. Cam, that is, uh, thanks so much for all your help out there, Alex. And Bill doing the work of five different people here now. Oh, yeah. We were super fortunate there in Nebraska. We had his son Ethan with, and Ethan is uh, hes a genius on all the computer stuff and everything and was able to help out. Look at that, almost going over. Oh, yeah. But Ethan was so so helpful to get stuff done and give you guys some of that great action and and uh, moving camera angles Here's and stuff. The, Look at that. They trained him up Look on there. Look at her. that. And I tell you what, though, that wagon, that escort wagon, it, it was holding its own. Yeah. And then they, they just, poof. Yeah. They freight trade him and bad things happen. Kids, who's ready for some candy? Does anybody want some candy? I have... This is the big thing for spinning wheels. They pass out candy to these kids. They're all about these kids, and I love it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's mid midday, three-quarter day. You know, we got to get them all sugared up. Yep. Get them all jacked up. Chip, <laughs> I've been drinking Mountain Dew all day. I'm going to jump on you like a spider monkey, Chip. <laughs> God, look at how that 06 car just got used up in that replay. Look at that. There was just nothing left of that rear end. Well, he's you gonna, know? There's, that looked like uh, skinny behind you and, 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 and a good date for you two. He just wrecked, <laughs> just wrecked you. Oh, yeah. They, wrecked them. Uh, God, skinny, we miss you. Yeah. Definitely sold another stack because that one's just bent right backwards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bill, yeah. Bill's, Bill's yelling, Bill's yelling again. at us. Yeah. Bill will fall through the floor one of these times. He's got all of his, his instant replays done and everything like that. So Bill's getting some other of the commercials done and everything like that to show up also. But, you know, we were able to go out and interview some people and have some fun, and uh, you'll, uh, you'll get some really good uh, views <laughs> tomorrow. Bill just oh. unfortunately wasn't able to cut everything for today. Oh, you he got cut them. Them. Are you Bill cut him, dude. Oh my God, why, Ben. Ben, why if you, you why you doubt him, I, I, You know why you doubt him? Yeah, he tells me one thing, and the next thing you know, he goes out and supersedes himself, and and uh, yeah, it's like what the heck, you know? Okay, and just make me look like the idiot. I get it. <laughs> ben, so if you don't shy. laugh at the family commercial one. There's a family out there that skinny went and or skinny. You always get called skinny. See, Ticks. <laughs> I'm out of here. I can't. Uh, I, I can't. Because. Tix, Tix went and did an interview for with a family, and it was the funniest thing. Yeah. It, it, it was just, it's it's kind of fun. like, I always like to tell, it's like, you know, as we sit there and we go across the country to these different shows and everything like that, and we have these, uh, uh, we meet these families, we meet these friends and everything like that, and it's just the welcoming position that everybody is. Like, I want the world to see that because it's truly, it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, you come on out here and everybody is so happy to have you here, and, and it's just, everybody makes you feel so welcome. Yes. I, I love it because, like I've always said in the past, that, you know, when you're part of tech, nobody wants to talk to you. Oh, you're you're yeah. You're, I'm the I'm the I'm the jackass basically, you know. But so. Bobby can't say freak, <laughs> but since I'm you fifty percent owner, I can say jack wad. Really, no. ass. Really, you can hey, use hey, the hey. word ass. Yeah. So what they word use can you can on the radio all the time? Uh, you okay, can, big old can, ass you, can you script? Can you script something so I can just start reading from a script with Skinny? We'll just oh script my it. God. Okay, my we. God. <laughs> We are at a derby. <laughs> next time, the next car time, hit hard. Next time, leave them fired. Just leave them fired next time. This is, I think it'd be easier because to put up with this, you know. How about, don't you have a knitting project or something you could go do? I finished it last night while you were sleeping. <laughs> God, golly. This is a baby. <laughs> it's getting cold enough, you're going to need a, like a scarf or something. Okay, so <laughs> Tix and I wear shorts everywhere we go. But when we got here, we're like, we probably should have grabbed our pants. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was into pants. I was totally into pants. It's Sour told me, it was last year when I derbied here, so Sour, I didn't have any pants. And Sour was like, I got a pair of pants for you, Tix. Oh, and yeah, he's like, I remember. He, 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 he goes, yeah, I wear like a 34. It's like, 
I'm a 38. We're missing four inches somewhere. <laughs> and he goes, oh, they stretch. I go, I sure hope they stretch a lot. I don't care. They're comfortable. I'll take them, you know. All right. Anybody that knows Ticks knows he's lying right now because every time we've seen you in jeans, they've been bedazzled. Dude, Come I on, don't, dude. You wear bedazzled jeans. Did you just hear that I told my wife that's what I wanted? She does the shopping for me. It's I don't go out and buy. Last thing I do is go buy those rhinestone. You cowboy. are rhinestone. I'm surprised you didn't have a big belt buckle on. Hey, I could have worn my Texas one. I got a belt buckle. I should. Oh, uh-huh. God dang it. It's always bigger in Texas, huh? Oh, it totally is. That's one you won in the Derby in Texas. Heck yeah. So I'll have to, I'll that have to was get on that the, thing. That was on the national side. <laughs> I'm only a qualifying side, and, I, and then I can't even get in. I'm, and I I'm think, begging to get on I the think qualifying he, I side. I think he knows Bobby Whitaker. I was going to say, you ever heard of Bobby Whitaker before? <laughs> Do you know who Toby Hiley is? Because I have him in my phone. And I thi- I, oh, my and I th- oh, so yeah, that, that, yeah, there yeah. we go. All right, and I th- it sounds good. And think, you know what? I don't know I what? I think Bill DeVic. I've only – <laughs> Hey, Toby, will you give me a call real quick yeah, so I can show yeah. Bobby that to- I know who Toby, Toby Kiley is also? Toby, half of you showed up yesterday. <laughs> ben Ben comes I did, I did rolling tribute, in. Tribute. Ben comes rolling in, seat back, music thumping in his new truck with a tennis cap on, a golf cap on. <laughs> a visor. A visor. A visor. I love it. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, and I'm like, they they kind of look alike, but he's half of them. I'm like, Toby's here, you know? And then it's Ben jumps out, you know? Yeah, you were all you were all depressed after that. <laughs> oh God, no! It's it's tons of fun. We love doing this stuff and everything. We just bust everybody down. But what yeah. do we bust? Go ahead. Go what? What do we bust? What do you bust on me? Bust just, balls. Just, just yeah, the there you go. <laughs> just not slip. Not slip. You know what? You guys can. You guys can. You guys can do. Yeah, don't have a hangnail in the, in the airport because um, there is a shortage on some things that will. Keep you from bleeding, What's it? and you. <laughs> thank <laughs> you God, need thank, them. thank God, it's not HIV positive. That's all I gotta say. You know, um, just just be gentle and tender parts of your body with a hangnail. That's all we gotta say. It could be bad. It could be bad. Thank God, thank God, I wasn't uh, alcohol. You know, because you know, Would it, we're on blood pressure. Are you on blood pressure medicine? No, oh God, no. I'm healthy that way. Then how know? how did it? You look like like they said it looked like a stuffed pig was shot. I, I, that's, it did pretty much. It did. I don't know what the heck all happened with it, but I was just happy that I didn't need an infusion or anything like that. Well, so it looks like they're putting a little water on it. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they got a little <laughs> bit going. So no, it's uh, it's it's actually really nice here with this track, you know, because you guys know the track so good. You've been here for yeah. so many years. It's like you, you, it's like this is what you're gonna do. And I mean, Ben called it right out. Gonna run this and put a little more water on, and then it'll be good to go for our, you know, for the rest of the day. And yep. um. Okay. And the really nice thing is, is this track doesn't get chattered up real bad. Um, you know, it doesn't have those big crater holes in it. It'll, so. it'll uh, usually, for years, it had like a ditch on this, this. It would be the inside wall, per se, for drainage. Now it's on the far side, eh? No. Uh, that well, far corner it, it over there a little bit, right? It got it sloped a little bit to drain off, but for the most part. And the second question. Does anyone care? Go ahead. I need a little kid. <laughs> who won Dent? Well, he wants to know who won Dent, but, I mean, there's multiple Dents. There's multiple well, Dents. Is, is he teasing uh, Is he teasing Fatty? Well, he, he was giving me crap. You know, he's like, yeah. So, but, I mean, Fatty does have that. Fatty won Dent. Yeah, yeah Fatty, Fatty did. Toby yeah. did. Yeah. Who's Toby? Your friend. Oh, yeah, I got his phone number. Yeah, so oh. I. Did he share the pictures from the extra phone? What? Who? Toby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got. The, I got those pictures. Yeah. He's, he had to get a new phone because the one phone was full of too many car pictures. <laughs> so there you go, Fatty. Josh Decker is here using you as <laughs> as the role model here. So you're you were the trivia question to see which track shot guy has won Dent, and and uh, it was Jeff. Fatty Clark. I can't yes. believe that he included you with the track shop family, yeah. Fatty. Yeah, so I like guess. one minute he doesn't want you here so he can have fun, the next minute he's using you for trivia. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, love it. Yep. 
that is the fun. It's like all of us guys are. It is a very diverse group and everything like that. We have fun, and it's just it's just what we're doing. And uh, uh, all the comments and everything like that. Also, you guys, we are once again. Um, Trackshot Live is normally in the middle of nowhere, America, when we do this stuff. So cell phone service kind of <laughs> stinks sometimes. So we can't get back on and, and uh, punch back to all the. Uh, all the the, the uh, responses and everything like that so we do apologize about that I know I know last night when we got back to the hotel and got to good cell service my phone was just blowing up all night long and and every once in a while I can get a little bit of service here I uh, the cell service got me in trouble Ben because my phone had service his didn't and he needed to call his wife and he went to dial the number it came up it came up on my fab 5 BJ and he's trying to figure it out still. But that's fitting for the Derby world. Oh, oh, I'm just going to yeah. say, I'm going to yeah. throw that out there right now. Sharon's Karen Sharon. in the Derby world. So, <laughs> BJ, I love you yeah. since it's out there now. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, dialing, he's dialing and he says, BJ that's ticks. Fine. <laughs> to get reception here, you got to, like, go down to the gas station. They carry extra aluminum foil. And you so you, you just make your aluminum foil rabbit ears, and you got to stand on one foot, like, off the balcony with your phone out on speakerphone. Uh, ben was ratchet – or Uncle Bill was ratchet-strapped right there so he could get service earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, he was blushing. He was making his phone call. Uh, you guys you guys remember that commercial back years ago about that lady that she put the antenna on? You had the little kid had braces and the tin foil. Mama's little antenna. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll step back and let little man sour. Sour's all. Oh, little oh, man sour, oh. and we'll let him introduce people. Yeah. There you go. And I'll be back when uh, somebody else gets bored. All right, sounds good. We got uh, Jason Sour has been out tagging cars all day today and all night last night. He was uh, keeping keeping things real, putting color to the world. I yeah. love it. Tons of fun. He's been emptying some paint cans today. Yes. Yeah. Woo. It's been fun. Oh yeah. I like the I like the smoking jacket. I always love the smoking there jacket. There you go. Oh, with you got the car club. Yeah. Represent. Yeah, there you go. Represent. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys. Nice. We got Jason Sauer up here now. We got to talk about something. Uh, if you guys don't know who Jason Sauer is, uh, that is, he is the the man, the myth, uh, most wanted fine art. Jason has got this awesome class that he started last year. Um, I want to talk about that because I was sitting there talking to Blaine Williams about it, talking about other stuff. We've got it up at the Minnesota Throwdown this year. We're going to have fun with it. We always talk about this transferring cars and getting people from all across the country to come bucket list and run somewhere else. Tell us about that class that you got, Jason. The uh, Thank you for asking. The most want to find our street stock challenge, as you can find it at the Iron City Promotions website, is a class that's 80s and up, anything goes, uh, no half-ton pickup trucks, so the Durango is the biggest thing you can run. But the idea is there's no welding, there's no headers, uh, it's the tires that it came with. It's as So I've been with you guys now for a few years, I've been got my ears to the pits. What I hear in the pits is we need a class like the old days where you just took out the windows. Yep. And I was telling uh, Mike Tix here that uh, 700 million vehicles have been sold in America since 1980. And a lot of them are midsize SUVs. So we're going to um, smash all of them. Right? Oh, yeah. So not, just you, one, not just one. We want all of them. All we want to ruck yep. every dang yeah. one of them. Nice. Uh, nice. So that's the idea. Is that, uh, so you can run your S10 versus your CRV versus a town car versus an Explorer versus an Astro van. Like, you know, where are you going to wreck that Suzuki SX4? Just other than on the expressway in a traffic <laughs> yeah. jam. You know, so you're bringing the expressway traffic jam to the track. So we're sitting there talking about it, and we always say about, you know, we want everybody to have destination derbies. We want you to have bucket lists. We want you to, you know, derby in different states. Like, I had the great opportunity to come run a, a truck here in New York. I ran a van last year here in New York, and it was like it was so cool. I had the opportunity at Dead Man where I could have ran a vehicle, but I was busy, and we were, we were busy, and I didn't get to go do it, you know. So um, it's one of those things where it's like I want to say, like, I derbied in all these different states. In this class that Jason Sauer has got, it is a welcoming class anywhere across the country because 
you have these cars everywhere. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything to them. And uh, so the fun thing is, like, you get a hold of your homies out on the West Coast, and you say, hey, I want to build you some cars, and I want you to come to Pittsburgh, to my town, in Derby. And then I wanted to bring two of my homies out to California, and I want a Derby out there. And it's like, yep. a, it's like a car trade is right. what it is. Right. It and it's really like is. that's one of those things where, like, we are, we are pimping this thing out because that is the ultimate goal is with track shot and friends and everything like that, we want to have – this unique car trade going on. I, we got well, heat number three coming out here. But that's exactly what I want to do. Make Derby easy and accessible, and you never have to retire. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, Economy Compact Heat 3. I'm going to start at the beginning. Alex Martin, Keysville, New York, in the 77 JR. Ben Brown, West Chasey, New York, 63. These are who signed up. Again, who are we going to see? Craig Bettle. Little Valley, New York, in the number 337, Dustin Veitch. And Batvia, New York, number 410, Dylan Archer. From Ilian, New York, number 852, Joey Kobaleski, Utica, New York. And the car number 420, Ha, Joshua Brown. North Goer, what is O-N? Ontario. Ontario, 27J. Colby Blaze. West Chasey, New York, and the red one, Richard Aldridge from Governor, New York, in the 888. Robert Savoy from Selden, New York, in the 913. Sean LaPointe, Utica, New York, 11A. Thomas Grant, New Berlin, New York, 81. Wally Vantries, Bath, New York, 74. Zach Cates, Anson, Maine, Z25. All right. There's some... This is going to be another uh, zinger, wild zinger, one. zinger of a heat. Wild right one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I got to give a big shout out to Jordan Duffney. We met him here last year. They came to Minnesota. They enjoyed uh, enjoyed the throwdown with us. So Jordan's out there watching. Uh, huge, huge shout out to you, buddy. Uh, young kid that's going to come up in the Derby world. Uh, that's uh, awesome. Thank you so much for your support, little buddy. I don't think you can. So, Alex Martin's in the uh, red car. That's the 77. The number 420 car is who backed in. That's Joey Kobaleski mm -hmm. opting for the back. And that's your move, Ben. Oh, I'm telling you, man. These guys aren't afraid to nose out in these compacts. No. <laughs> there's, there's no fear at all with that. Uh -huh. They're waiting. It might be waiting on another yeah. car. You know what? Thomas Grant backed in, too, in the number 81. Oh, he's down there trying to get her started. Mm. We have gone through three heats of cars, and there is still a pile oh. of cars waiting to come in here to get wrecked. You guys, if it's just insane looking at that pile of cars out there ready to get wrecked. Yeah, I didn't oh, think love so it. Cool. I didn't think it was ever going to end. Every really? time I got out from under a car, I looked, and the long line just kept going and going and going. I'm like, my God. And there's some nice, there's some nice iron here. Oh, oh yeah, I've painted some nice cars. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Kobe Blaze, the red one, is actually in a white car with pink writing. We've got nine out on the track, so I think we might be missing a few. We're missing a couple cars. Yeah. Oh, the 420, good front end shot there. Wow, C25, here, here comes 420. Oh, right in the back of whatever car that is. 63. That's Ben Brown from West Chasey. Got a pretty interesting car, Ben does. That's a Toyota, what, Celica wagon? Oh, it's a Celica wagon or a Subaru wagon because it's four wheel drive. I mean, it says Toyota on the back there, yeah, number 63. Be. She was a four wheel driver. You had to cut, you had to cut the well, it's down to three it. now. The axle's out of it. Cute little axle that was. Uh-huh. Greg Bettle in the 337 looking real good over there in his car. Nice and clean. Good shot by the red one, Colby Blaze. Wow, 11-8, excellent shot. That's Sean LaPointe out of Utica. Oh, oh, 
Oh, all right. Oh, there's Pillar parking duck right there on that Toyota. We got a red flag, red flag. Oh, got all sorts of bumpers. <laughs> all right. There's a bumper, there's a bumper everywhere, a bumper. All right, there's some good mad dog driving right there. Gully's going to check on an airbag went off, I think. Either that or there's a pillow. All right, 11A is Sean LaPointe was doing some excellent driving in that little session there. So was Red 1 of Colby Blaze. As I was saying before, the 337 of Craig Bettle looks pretty clean. That's this uh, off gray one here. Front end looks pretty sharp. He's got like a little point bumper on the front of that car. Oh, yeah. Cute little pointy. Got him right in the leg. Grant being a good driver, coming to check on him, making sure he's okay. Yeah, the homemades, they get a four, four inch point in, in 30, two, 30 or 32 inches, I think, yeah. spread out. So right the they, they're it's able, it's to, right they're able to, to form their wow. mini pointies. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Yeah, check I sit there and, you know, like right here is a prime example about pointy bumpers and stuff like that. You know, uh, 225 or Z25. Yeah, he took off. He took it right in there. I am a, I am a flat bumper huh? candidate. Uh, I, Bobby, grab that golf cart. Bring my golf cart over here. Mike, grab that, grab that right off of there. Mm. Thank you. So that Z25, that's Zach Cates from Maine. Maine. Yeah. Anson, Maine. Bob, can you grab him? He, we they're don't want to put pressure on his leg. they're Bob, taking him off the track. They're helping him out with that one. Got him in the leg. Mm. That's all right. Man. Oh, I appreciate safety you. first, always. Well, know. the guy. I mean, the guy went over yeah, in. You know, that's care of each other. definitely sportsmanship. He went and made sure he was all right. And shook his hand and. Uh, yeah, because you can get your bell rung out here. Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I've had my bell rung through the years. Yeah. This B-52 car is looking pretty solid. That's the one right ahead of us. Archer. Here. Archer, and Archer yeah. Archer, he, he's, he's a hard driver, man. He drives hard. You know, we, don't, we don't talk about it or think about it enough, but really the, the firemen... So you've derbied with all these drivers. Out of I didn't these have, are, I wouldn't say derbied. Buddies. I'm just, I'm familiar because of being involved in the show down here for so many years. You know, I, I've met them through inspection or talked to them or whatever, but there's definitely a, a grassroots group of drivers down in this area that just, they, they just like hauling the mail like we talked about all the oh, time. And the track is fast Yep. and it's long. Oh my gosh, you can't really get going down here. Right, we got near every car still in running. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, they're driving by Red One there to drive out of that door shot. Oh, Sean LaPointe. This is fun. They can get going really fast. Yeah. And then they miss at high rates. Well, it's almost like figure eight racing right now. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're, they're like trying to get full track. That old uh, red, red one there, he's, he's definitely trying for the mad dog. Definitely. Red flag, red, red flag. flag. Right behind the driver's door. Or we got a fire. 77's on fire. Or that's Alex Martin out of Keysville, New York in the 77. They're calling in the fire extinguisher? No. Skidster. Skidster. Gas leak. Gas line sheared maybe. Gas everywhere on that one. We can't really see where it's spreading from, but he got covered in it. I can understand jumping out. With pajama pants? 
winning. That is a New York thing. I have seen more <laughs> jammy pants over here. I was jammy pants, socks, and Crocs. I mean, that was I. I was like, hey man, you, you guys cool, man. You comfortable? That's good. Nice, <laughs> nice outfit. Yep. Alex. Nick King would fit in just fine over here with socks and Crocs. Safety first. Get that car off the track. Just in case. Yep, and this is where. Every show needs a half a fleet of those track skidsters. Oh, absolutely. And it, it's just makes life so much easier. I'll give a huge shout out to Aaron Bauer up in Hastings, Minnesota. He is uh, he is our man. Old Red One, he's he's just chomping at the bit down there. Yeah. Oh he yeah, totally. He wants ready. that mad dog. He's 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 out there for one thing, I think. That's Colby Blaze from West Chasey. Just has been going the full track. Oh, yeah. Like, and, like, <laughs> there's some near misses. <laughs> Everybody's real lucky they didn't. Oh, yeah. They didn't, <laughs> didn't get to quite the right angle, you know? 81 of Grant just jumped out. He's he's done. Look at that good aerial view from the, from the crow's nest up here. Just like that, we're down to four. I don't know if I'd be doing that, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Into the wall hard. Yeah. That was that was poor choices. Inverted that bumper. See what that did to that bumper? Wow, that bumper is inside out. 52 oh. Archer coming. Oh, Ooh. Archer. Archer. Wow, 420 still in it. We're back to five cars. He had to, he got out of the throttle last minute, but geez, you gotta, 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 gotta be careful on that driver's yeah. side, no doubt about it. <laughs> Another one that's got the bumper, that red one, bumpers right into the block of the motor just about. Oh yeah. That. There comes the point. Oh, gonna turn it around. That. That pointy bummer bumper of, of Craig's is doing pretty good in the three three seven. Archer gonna put a shot on. There it is. Right, pinpoint. Right into the wheel shot. Beautiful yes, shot. pinpoint. It broke his axle. Certainly did a good shot by Archer. <clears throat> oh, just packing it. That bumper's flat again. Yeah, he straightened it back out. Yep. <laughs> Let me give you a little assistance on that big full track shot coming oh, in. Oh, on Archer. The point. Good shot. 337 coming in hot. Oh, my gosh. All the way to the front seat. That's awesome. The point on the receiving end of that. Man, that's that wheel's about underneath this driver's seat. It yeah, really yeah. is. The sheet metal is up against the back seat. That was an excellent shot. Craig Bettel. Yeah, he's definitely using that pointy bumper to the advantage on that shot. Got a big whiff of transmission there. Yep. You know yeah, that? yeah. yeah I think hot. that's red one. Somebody's hot. I'm gonna think that's Colby. You know, you're looking at the smoke out of the cars, trying to figure out which one's got the tranny smoke, but I mean, it's a distinct yeah. smell, and you can't tell which one's got the different smoke. Yeah, because they're all moving so quickly. You know, nobody's really lumbering. Oh, wow. There we go. Found the radiator on that one. <laughs> that was a good shot. Uh-oh. Hold on, red one. Uh, I think old red one might finally be done. Yeah, I think that, that was, was it. That was a good run. 
Yeah, that was a good run. Yeah. Kobaleski's against the wall right now. <clears throat> Trying to refire. Got the clock getting counted down. And it's 337 still. That's the one. Oh, that's in good shape. Yeah, that's Craig. Archer pack in the back of that car. LaPointe's all the way in. Looks like we're down to the three now. Yeah, I think they've counted out the number 420 of Kobaleski. That's a little two-on-one right here at the end of the heat. Yeah. Brian's down there telling them to mix it up. He's getting on them right away. They don't allow that multiple team driving. I like it. I like just dropping it right in the drive. LaPointe just forward reverse. No stopping. Now you have a thing. Lift before you shift. Yeah, oh yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> oh, he's bending them now. Starting to roll them up a little bit. Red flag. That's a heat. Taking them three. They're calling it right there. All right, that's the three. Well done, well done. Nice, nice. We got a couple commercials here while they clear this track. Bill's going to throw up a couple commercials here for us, for you guys to watch there at home. We had some good interviews and and uh, give some thanks to some of our sponsors and stuff like that. So Bill's going to go ahead and load this stuff up and get it ready to go. We greatly appreciate it. That was a great heat. Yeah, it was. Oof. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Um. All right, Bill, how about it? You ready, sir? Hey, you know what, Bobby? We've been all over the country together, privileged to stand in inspection lines and uh, all across the country. And it's one of those things as we sit here and we look at this inspection line behind us and you see the way these guys are working and everything like that. It is just an amazing team and a, what, a, what a great group of friends and professionals doing this. I like it. It's uh, how fast it flows. They got a system and they stick to it. People like when most places you go, drivers want to argue. It's not here. They do what they're told, they move on. I love it. Definitely love it. It's like being backseat Bobby. <laughs> That's absolutely it. And you know what? The thing of it is that makes this inspection line as is, is fluent and efficient as it is, is the respect of these builders. These builders bring respect to this line, and these officials give them respect right back. It is, that is just a smooth, uh, well-oiled machine. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a smooth inspection. The cars are all the way out down the road. And they've already flown, they, they're pushing them through. Like the show's gonna start in a little bit. They're not worried, pushing it right through. I, I love it. Yeah, they're pushing them through. They're not missing anything. So huge hats off to spinning wheels and how they've affected this, uh, the inspection line and everything like that. So folks, if you're out there and you're trying to figure out what show you wanna go to, right here, clean, honest, fair, spinning wheels, take a look at them. Jump on one of their shows because it is, the officials will not beat you at this show. Mini Meltdown 2022, Tixie. You miss this one, Sam Filippo's coming right up. Plus, Spinning Wheels has many other shows to be part of. Take a look at them, y'all. All right, here at Spinning Wheels, it's not just Spinning Wheels that makes this happen. It's everybody on the side of this that makes it happen. These are the people that put the money out there to assist and make everything good, payful, enjoyable. But you know what? Let's not forget about all these great people spending their hard-earned money to support Spinning Wheels. Please, you guys, get out, support TrackShot Live and Spinning Wheels and every one of these sponsors. Stop by and tell them thank you for their support. Spinning Wheels 2022. All right, here we are, Track Shot Live, Mini Meltdown 2022. This is one of the reasons why you want to be here in person. I get it. Bill cuts the best videos, the best entertainment that you can see in your house, on your couch, wherever you want to be. But this is the fun of it. Right here, live, in person. Who we got? Alan Colby. Alan Colby, I tell you what, I've seen you here before. I might know this man just a little bit here in New York. You know, you tell the people at home why they need to be here. Uh, this is this is it. Best of the best of the compacts. See here. See if you got what it takes. 
That's exactly it. And I tell you what, everything is full send right here in New York at Mini Meltdown. It doesn't matter what part of the state you're in. That's how you guys drive. That's what I love coming here. And you know what? The best part that I love about New York is the family life, man. That's it. I mean, without my family, I wouldn't be here. My wife gives up a lot of time. So, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. What was your name? Alan. We're going to have to have a talk because we're talking about family. And your mom said you will not make babies so she can be a grandma. She gave me this crowbar to let you know this weekend is when it's time to make babies for grandma. Like, what do you think about that? Uh, maybe. Depends on if I get that check at the end of the weekend. If you get a that, check. That's weekend. all it takes is a check? Come on, Mom. We'll take care of this for you. We got it. We got a check and we have directions. <laughs> Not only to build a derby car, but to make babies. Yeah. Here we are, that's what we're talking about is family and fun, that's what Demolition Derby is all about. And you know what, that's what I absolutely enjoy about this. And uh, you guys, you bring family to Demolition Derby here in New York, we appreciate it. Everybody at home, please enjoy Mini Meltdown 2022 because it is one fungible about Demolition Derby, you know? Oh, absolutely, and, and it's it's just, it, it's, it is a huge crowd. It is a huge yeah. crowd. Yeah, that's uh, the stands actually are decent sized stands. There's, it's one of the very, one of the few actual facilities that have covered grandstands, and um, they're few and far between up here in New York. You yeah. Know? And uh, and it's a great it's a great asset because I I feel that more you know you go out and take a chance grandstand on both sides of the track and they used to sell out every year. And it's it, that's like thousands of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, but like you said, I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, but people will travel. Oh, yeah. And, you know, with like today's economy and price of fuel and everything like that, yeah, you know, it, it, it hit the pocketbook it a little bit. It, yeah. There's no doubt about it, but there's still a lot of travelers that still have look, the diehard drive. Look at the amount of cars that are here from from different states, from Ontario, yeah. from, you know, from Canada. It, it's People are uh, still have that that desire and the drive and, and their passion to, to do it and to wreck it and people that come to actually still have the passion to come and watch the derby, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's impressive. Yeah. Look at all the cars like over our shoulders. Just the field full of cars to be yeah. smashed today. And this is just today. Tomorrow yeah. is going. Tomorrow so is gonna, many cars. Yeah. Tomorrow is going to be. F it's f incredible. Yeah. So I got to say something. So the one commercial is talking about a little interview. We we're talking about the inspection. Ben, I mean, I've stood in the inspection line with you. You've been my boss in inspection lines. You've been up to some of my shows that I promote. Oh, yeah. And you were, you know, head inspectors up there. Um, you know, as you're inspecting these cars here in New York and you're with spinning wheels and everything like that, I mean, it's I, – I don't want to lead you into the question or anything like that, but – You better what, because <laughs> I'm bad at questions. <laughs> what, what, I'm, what I see is I, I, there's no favoritism. There's no nothing. I mean – uh, the rules are the rules. I mean, so yeah. somebody could travel from across the country, read the rules, ask a couple questions, and they would have a, a competitively built car. Correct. Yes, Jeremy is. Jeremy takes the lead on uh, for spinning wheels. Takes the lead on all the rules, uh, which I love. And um, but yes, 100%. It, it's it's very consistent. Um, just like every every set of rules, you know, you have you, you have a very diverse group that's here. You have the, the group, which you'll see in the bone stocks. Not as much the bone stocks. I shouldn't have said that. You'll see in the economy V8s coming up. Mm -hmm. There's guys would way underbuilt economy V8s. The only, you know, they welded the bumper on the front and put ag tires on it. That's what put them in the economy V8 class. But they go out and put on a show. Yeah, um, that's beautiful. It, I guess, yes, it, it's very straightforward, consistent. Uh, legit across the board there's absolutely no favoritism at all i mean it's i mean like josh josh built a car for mike gilbert to run in this class and i made him take made him take bolts out you yeah, know right. so it's it's it don't matter um who it is in uh that's in jeremy's group is spinning wheels group that's why I'm, I'm happy to be involved with them too because it's it's just there's no BS with us, nice. you know. I love it. There's there's so much politics when you go across the country in different areas, and, and it, when you take that out of it, it just makes it enjoyable for everybody. All right, eighteen. Eighteen. Jesse Lovejoy. Sixty-eight. Of Danny Snyder. Dan Snyder. You're right. Number sixty. Natasha or no? Dave Converse. Dave Converse. Uh, Conyers from Bath, New York. And the 66 is Natasha, Natasha Snyder. Yep. 
17 is Mike Trenchard from Bath, New York. 63 is Ben Brown. 2F is Derek Serra. 59 is Josh Brown. All right, then Mike Gilbert's coming in. Yep. He's a 5X. How about a number nine? And a number nine. Nine. What else? Nine, eight, 93 maybe? Uh, 94. Buck. Elliot? No. 94, El Crockett. Oh, there you go, Al Crockett. And got the old Alvarado down there. I missed his number. I did too. 93, 93 is Eli Bischoff from Plattsburgh, New York. Yeah, and, Derek, uh, I don't know who the El Dorado is. Derek Sarah down there in the, in the two off. He was coming through tech line and the guy who had to, had to snap on scanner hooked to it and he was going through and tuning it while he was going through there. <laughs> Sarah goes, all the years, Ben, we've been derby, and he goes, would you have ever thought that going through tech line, a guy would have a, a computer tuning his car when he goes through tech What a shot. Shuey coming in hot. Oh, yeah. Well, this is Josh Decker's favorite class. It is. It's a, it's a, it's a very popular class, really. You know, they're not afraid to wreck good cars out here either. That Oldsmobile is a beautiful, clean car. Yep. What's that? Is that, that B-Shaws? Is that 93? Is that what you're talking about? Ah, uh, the 59. 59, oh yeah. All right. Jeff Buckham still doing work down there. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. What? Mike Gilbert, Gilbert coming, coming in. in. Hot. Oh. oh, that Eldorado has. Huey coming Huey. in. Oh, just stacking it in there. That wow, is. Eli at the other end. He went too deep, though. Gilbert is in a bad spot right there. Mike Gilbert is turned sideways in the pile. That's bad, bad, bad. On this track, you do not want to get sideways. I think they're trying to get Lovejoy's attention there. Uh, Mike Gilbert needs to get out of there. Yes, he does. Come on, my man. Come on. Come on. You're almost free. Come on. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Get out of it. <laughs> oh. He's going to get shoved down the track one way or another. Yes. This is such a great eat. Look at that great aerial view up here from Phil. Oh, that wagon is looking tough. Coming all the way in. Good shot. That's Mike Trencher from Bath, New York, in the wagon. Oh, the, uh, the Cadillac out there is still doing work. Whoa, whoa, Decker, look out. There's still derbying going on. Get off the track. <laughs> they, they got the spirit down there. <laughs> Certainly. Well, they oh, they're talking. Must be they shot Tasha off. <laughs> that El Dorado is so smashed. Oh, yeah. It is so smashed. It looks like a compact car. Well, it's got the back seat. Long completely can, touching the front seat. As long as you can keep the front wheels on it, he'll, he'll shorten her six feet. <laughs> oh my wow. God. That one wheel is packed underneath the back seat. It's locked, wedged up <laughs> That's like a I mean. compact. <laughs> like it's totally wow. deep in there. Oh, it's pretty cool. Chewy's looking good down there. Oh, yeah. Chewy, little, little Danny Snyder, he's, he's looking good. Dave, looking good. Number 60 right in the front, giving yeah. her. 
Yeah, got right over the bumper with that shot. Oh, oh. Mike Gilbert got the Malachi. Hey, do you want to love Joy? He's got a steering wheel in his lap. He's got steering problems there. Oh my gosh, look at that thing just flopping around. But he is going to use every bit of that car. What a, what a show. Three eighteen of Larry Buckham still out there doing some good work. Mike Gilbert. Woo! Number sixty, Dave. Dave Conyer. Calders and Bears. There we go. Mike putting in a hit. He's been on the receiving end most of the most of this hit. Most of this heat. Here comes Shuey, head of steam. Oh, good shot. Just threading the needle through that hole right there. Yeah, he's right. He's just pinballing it. Oh, wow. he went right oh, over wow. the top he's of the bumper. Wow. Drove right into the mortar compartment. Wow. Oh, my God. Shuey is all the way in past the carburetor. Oh, he got unhooked. There he got Some head friends from Buckham. Oh, he's oh, fire. 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 He's fire. 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 Whoa! Holy cow! Get out of the car! Shut! <laughs> Look at him climbing out the back window! That's incredible! Oh, my heart's in my sleeve. That is a huge fire, fellas! Uh, you got to shut the key off. Fuel pump's got to go off. There you go, dude! That is an enormous fire! Oh my gosh! Oh, my heart's in my chest! Thank uh, God for the fire department. Chewy got deep into the into yes. the engine compartment, must have fractured a line. Definitely, that's what I mean. The carburetor is all the way into the front seat. Well, I think with that group, they're they're running the EFI system on it. They're running the, the stock motors right in them. Yep. So then you got that high pressure fuel pump that yeah. just keeps pumping that fuel and pumping that fuel. But I'll tell you what, you sit there and you watch on the internet where these fires go up like that, where you're at a show where they don't have the first responders like that, right. and they dang near burn to the ground before they can get them under control. These guys were here in seconds with that hose taking care of it. Yes, they were. Huge, huge shout out to our first responders here in Spinning Wheels, making a and safe, clean place to have a demo derby. Same thing with the, with, his, with the track guys. I mean, yeah, I'm up here doing this now, but I probably would have been, I would have been right out there getting the key shut off, you know, because in the heat of the moment, you, people aren't thinking, you know. No. Oh, yeah, you want to be safe. You want it, you So that was uh, 609 of Jack Buckham. Yep. That, but look uh, at how car, look at how far that car is cleared. Yep. I mean, that hood is three quarters to the firewall. Yes. Yeah, he went, he, he went deep. <laughs> he went right. Yeah. So that's a beautiful piece of artwork being carried off the track. <laughs> so Shuey, Shuey looking, he got out of that mess. He's looking pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's like he wasn't under or on top of that fire. The Eldo's <laughs> running. Gilbert's running. Dave's running. That Eldorado still has stick up. The oh, 81 yeah. of Lovejoy is looking really good, but he has the steering wheel laying in his lap. He's broke loose, so. And then little, da little Danny, he's against the wall, but I think he's still running. The 60 of Dave making a lot of smoke down here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's. I want to say that's one of the. That might have the factory big block in it. Left, Man, the, left yeah. the big block right in it. 440. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, Dave pinballing, just staying on the gas. The Eldorado is almost completely flat. Oh, Dan, Danny, 68, Danny Snyder, Trencher, they're, uh, they kind of switch roles a little bit. Usually Danny's in the wagon and Trencher's in the Cordova. <laughs> How about when uh, Decker builds you something, it doesn't last five seconds, but Mike Gilbert's out there still in it, my man. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You know what? That is a uh, memorial car for his son, Michael yeah. Jr., that uh, unfortunately left in a motorcycle accident. So, you know, I sure hope he's looking down on his dad. You know, he was... Mike had said he was going to be done derbying, but he knew his son didn't want him to do that last year, so he got back in behind the wheel and kept it going. And so that's, uh, they have a great memorial derby up there in Maine for his son. You know, get online, take a look at that, and try to find some information and go up and support. And a pound on the back of that Mopar wagon. Oh, just took a door shot. 59 gets out, repays the favor. Fifty-nine. That's Josh Brown. Refired, looking good. Back of that car is still solid. Oh, Shuey just got shut off at the other end. He got timed out. Ah. Still got plenty of front end left on that car. Oh yeah, that was. There's a lot left in that Nova. Fifty-nine just blowing sparks everywhere from underneath it. That wagon and Mike Trushard, number 17, it's looking real good. The front end's barely turning up. Well, he's just out here doing donuts in the wagon. What fun. Oh, he's having a good time. Right? No doubt about he's it. at both ends on the wheel. Woo! Ooh. There's. That lifted. There we go. That might have just took his drive shaft though. Nope. Nope. But stuck on somebody. Whoa. Picking on that front corner. 59 to Josh Brown. His car is starting to lay down on the ground. Oh my oh. gosh. There's that Malachi Crunch you talk about down here. Just missed one corner. He could have had all four corners yeah, had a bumper on him. My goodness, did. man. He got three people on him taking them all in one round. Well, he's over top of his rear tire now. Now he's Oh, he got it out of the 68 of Snyder with some help with the 318 of Buckham. Oh, the problem I, of it is that 17, that bumper's up in his A pillar. 63's that that dippy's doing work, boy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, smell the training fluid. Woo. Yep. Oh, dipping mat stuck. Spin, spinning, but not. Oh, there we go. Got a little traction. A 318 and Buckham still out here. That car's been folded up since the very beginning, but still doing good. good there work. you go. Oh, I can see why Decker loves this heat. This is good smash metal. Oh yeah, this is a good. This is another good heat. There's not going to be a bad heat tonight. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But the most best part about like heats like this is I love seeing cars just bent up. Oh. You know, I, I love my weld cars, but there is nothing better for the general population than to watch it. That 59 is like almost 90 from the AR floors. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and still moving. Diplomat's still in it. Are you gonna go down? Look at that, look at that wagon. That wagon's bent like almost like a corkscrew. Red flag. No, 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 no. What you doing, Bill? Next to Buckham and yes, well, Mike Gilbert's out of the car. Lovejoy got pounded in the rear of him, and he just could not get out of there. And Gilbert was trying. I think he just—I don't know if he warmed up and just lost it or what, but. It was kind of a bad situation when Lovejoy came into the rear of, of Mike Gilbert and they just kind of sat there. Yeah. That's a big block in that Doble. 
in this brown or black the one. Nine, down here. Yeah. Was that 93? No, we never get. She's bent three ways from Sunday right there. Y'all, <laughs> you watch that constant velocity in the back just, just <laughs> buckling around. Like the, the headers are so far gone, you can't even see the see them. Oh. That diplomat's a very short car. Yeah, it is. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no link. Oh, they got a new oh, steering. Oh, no, I steering. didn't see the steering got broke yeah. on the dippy. I don't know. I'd almost help that guy out in that Nova. Ah, they caught the ball. Yep. Crockett's done. Just broke his stick. Diplomat's getting counted out. Both. <laughs> Both tires are towed in. Well, who knows? Here we go. Maybe we'll find some traction. Basically, it's two on two right now. Buckham's against uh, Trencher. Oh, here we right. go. The diplomat's up. He made a hit. He there got a go. hit. Ben Brown's competition hit. Buckham got right on he's the 17 in, wheel. He gets a driver's side flat. He's in trouble on the rear because he's, he's just. I don't think he has reverse. I think something's stuck. He's only forward only. 17 of Mike Trichard. Oh, here we go. Now we can go forward again in the Diplomat. Come on. Come on, fire it up. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. Blow the black smoke out of it. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh-oh. There's Doug. Yeah, he's down there digging in between the seats. That's never good. Oh, he found a gear. He's got forward. He's he got forward. He lost, he lost his shifter. Yeah, his shifter's gone. The whole stick's gone. Well, they run the rod still, the old school rod. Yeah, it must be underneath the car because <laughs> that's how far he's reaching. Uh, 318 of Buckham is stuck underneath that car. Diplomat's about to get counted out because stuck. 17 is not finding the gear. Well, he's going to get hit here in a minute. So, Jeff Buckham in the 1X2. First, first <laughs> drive run. <laughs> Chantry's like, I don't have reverse. I'm just sitting there now. That's it. So, the first driver into the, uh, the heat might tonight get... might be our winner. Danny might get her fired up. He got black smoke. Oh, that was hey, that's a tough break. There it is. Bucknam one one X two. Uh, Jeff Bucknam. Yep. That was fantastic. That was an excellent battle. The trencher had either lost the old reverser if for the Mopar tranny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, you know, tough break. Danny just couldn't get it fired back up. Of course, he, uh, uh, what was it Larry or Jeff? Jeff would, uh, just wouldn't give him the chance to reach over and change battery terminals. He was just getting blistered. <laughs> Tasha, 66, Tasha Snyder, she, uh, she had some issues. He couldn't get it running or whatever. Couldn't get it fired up, but boy, that was great heat. That was that was great. I, I love bent iron. Yeah, you know, there's nothing better than bent iron. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, it's going to take a little. bit. These aren't going to drive off track, all of them. No, no. no. Well, they're going to they're going to take a little uh, take a little time to clear the track off here. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Ben, uh, you want to uh, yeah, let me off. talk to Blaine here quick? We got yeah, uh, we're super fortunate to have Blaine here. Blaine Williams from. Uh, out in California, we'll get him on in here, and uh, we'll see we'll see how how good he does up here. <laughs> hey, what do we got here? Who do we got, Blaine? Blaine Williams, uh, Williams Enterprises, out of California, Northern California. We promote uh, demolition derbies as well as mud truck and tough truck events. So, 
Yeah. Yes, welcome. Thank you guys for having me. This is a blast. Holy crap. Yeah, so it was really fun. So, Blaine, we were out there at the Spring Extreme, and uh, we got to meet Blaine firsthand out there with Track Shot Live. And if you guys missed it, you can go onto the YouTube channel and follow it, and you can see the entire show that Blaine had out there. And uh, I tell you, you know, there's a lot of great heats out here, a lot of huge hitting, but I'll tell you what, the West Coast, they ain't afraid to hit out there either, are they, brother? No, sir. Uh, no, but uh, I'll tell you what, these guys in New York, they're putting on a great show. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> yeah, no, incredible. Especially those compacts. Those guys are, they are something else. Man. They are wild. <laughs> right. they, they, they are full send. So uh, I had the privilege to meet Blaine out in California at the Spring Extreme and everything like that. And we were kind of seeing, I seen behind the scenes, I seen everything that Blaine was doing. And, and uh, well organized, well uh, well run show that you guys had out there. It was an absolute blast to be there. And, and uh, one thing that I seen was like, uh, you know, just like here. You don't have to have a group of guys that come on out there because you don't allow team driving. You don't allow the holding. You don't, you know, and it's a like good, clean, fair, honest thing. And, I mean, that really seems to be what has taken the show to the next level. That, and that's that's uh, exactly what we're working for. We want everybody to know that they come out and run with us, that they're getting the same shake as everybody else. Uh, we've got a lot of friends and a lot of buddies and all that, but, but Derby Day comes and, and uh, we turn all business and, Everybody, uh, I don't care if I was at your house last night eating dinner or not. You, you know, everybody gets the same fair shake, and that's what we're uh, we're, we're proud to uh, to, sh to think that we uh, we did a good job of showing the rest of the country that this year. So, especially uh, with our with our spring extreme event, and, and looking forward to next year, we're we're hoping we can get, we can get filled up quicker and and have more folks out there, more cars, more people. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, it's one of those things. You know, we're sitting there talking about next year. I mean, you know, this is the first time you brought a national standalone show out there like that and the pay the pay sure that's and we so we paid ten thousand this year we paid out over a uh, little over twenty five thousand dollars on on derby day alone so we had a two-day event one day was derby the next day was tough trucks and mud bogs uh, so we paid out a little, little over forty thousand for the weekend um but just on derby day alone we paid out just over twenty five thousand which was which was a great start for this year uh, 2022 in, in Derby in California. I mean, we've had a number of shows uh, that have really stepped up this year. There are some guys that are putting up some serious money, just like we have, and uh, I think it's great. I think that we've really been able to jumpstart some of the, the better-paying shows in California, and I'm, I'm glad to be part of it, and I'm glad that the... Uh, ...of the quality that California had yeah. was out of this world. And that's... Uh, <laughs> I, you know, I, I haven't done a lot of traveling with it with it in within the Derby world, but holy cow! I mean, these guys are dealing with some rust issues out here. <laughs> yes, like I mean, just the, the daily drivers too. There's no bedsides out here. <laughs> I, you know, just driving. You know, I've done quite a bit of driving since I've been out here, and uh, some of the some of the vehicles I see driving down the road are they are they are in rough shape, missing half a bedside. I saw one. Uh, Right above the tire, it was rusted all the way up to the to the bed rail. I was like, wow. Uh -huh. the ba that back quarter of the panel of the truck was just flapping in the wind. And oh, yeah. It still has resale value. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good truck. What are you talking it's, about? It's, 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 it's 16. That's it. That's, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them were, were pretty new vehicles, too. But no. And, and uh, you know, we have got we were blessed with, with some very clean cars out there. Uh, and, and and our drivers build them well, and, and they, they're willing to drive them. And, uh so yeah, no, this is a whole new perspective for me. Gives me a, a great appreciation for the for what I didn't even know I was uh, how how blessed we are out there. Holy cow! But we are. So are you going home worried if your tetanus shot is still good or what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's been great. We, I was able to, uh, I guess you know, uh, you guys allowed me to, to hop in on the tech stuff yesterday or last night and then again this morning and. And like I said, working through some of these cars, seeing seeing the build style, uh, you know, great cars, great builders, r really great kind people out here, nice people for sure. So, uh, yeah, no, I definitely need to make sure I'm up on my tetanus stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so we were talking earlier about Jason Sauer, and he's got the most wanted fine art, you know, uh, street stock class. And, uh, you know, I mean, is that something like, you know, like we were talking about sharing cars, you know, like 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 car sharing and, and going across the country. I mean, is that something that, like, maybe we could fit into California? And, I mean, like, I got this dream, and, and Jason Sauer is like, I'm trying to I'm trying to prep this. Like, I want this going across the country. I'm stealing Jason's idea, but I'm just trying to be the salesman for it. I mean, what do you think, Blaine? Is that something that we could be out in California and, and doing some, some car sharing, or you think a class like that would well, work out there? I, I think it would. I, I You know, I've seen Jason stuff for, for – number of years now following track shot and following his stuff online and and i've finally been able to meet him and hang out with him a little bit you know the last couple of days and, and i'm i'm uh i'm gonna figure out what it's gonna take 
to get him and and possibly this uh, this uh, most wanted fine art class out to, to, to next year's spring at stream and, and see some see if we can get some of these East Coast drivers to fly out and, and see if we can work some deals. So I that's, think it, I that's think wonderful. That's that's what I'm trying to do is just reach out like that so we can travel without needing like so basically just ship your helmet or something. And that's a, you know, <laughs> I just filled up. I have a I have a Duramax. I just filled up the other day with diesel, and it was it was <laughs> just over seven dollars a gallon for diesel. So, jeez, oh, <laughs> Louise, I we we we've definitely got to start uh, looking looking. <laughs> people, I mean, it's it's too expensive to to, to, to haul this far. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, and so if we, we've got to come up with some ideas that we can get. We can still be making the connection, still get the East Coast guys out west, or even central you know central United States guys to, to be moving around. And so we're we're willing to, to figure out what it takes to, to make it happen for sure. And I, I appreciate the, you know, you guys kind of helping us see what's going on and, and being able, and being willing to share with us what you guys are doing. So, yeah, that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing here in July. We're, we're going with our friends the Delaras out there. They're building us some cars to run out in California, and we're building some cars for them to run in Pennsylvania. Wow. So we've started the car share already, and uh, it's pretty exciting. The you know. That the people who want to uh, be a part of this car share, um, it's exciting. Uh, Mike Tix is helping me out with us. This, it's, I don't know, it's a really simple build. Well, and the whole thing of it is what we're after with the whole situation is, like, new and unique things. It's like, and, and that's what I love about you, Blaine, with what you've got going on out there is you're not married into the old-fashioned, this is how it's going to be, this is all we're going to do. It's you're trying to do things bigger and better and, and bring something new to your state. I mean, everybody's proud of their state and their area, and it just proves that with, with what direction you're going and, and taking the little bit of risk and, and being, the, being the new bridge. That's it, and we're, uh, we're like I said, we're we're willing to do the work, uh, not only for ourselves but for the drivers. You know, for for West Coast drivers, uh, we want to see something different, and I think that a lot of folks out there, from from what we what we're seeing and, and the turnouts to uh, to our event, is is other folks want to see it too. So we're willing to put out the the time, the money, the effort to to learn, to grow, to make to make what we're doing stand above everybody, and or at least try to, right? And uh, and you know we want to be the best. That's obviously that's what everybody wants, right? We want all want to be on the top. So, um, yeah, no, we're, that, we're we're willing to work for sure. Is that something that's unique to your promotions company, where you're doing derby and tough trucks? Yeah, there's a few others that do, you know, similar stuff. But but I would say that's I mean that's just unique unique for our area. Uh, there's only a few a few events. Um, we, we, actually, next weekend we have at the Yuba City Fair, uh, Yuba Sutter Fair, I'm sorry, um, in Yuba City where we had the Spring Extreme. We have a two-day event, uh, mud trucks and uh, UTVs on Friday night, and then we have um, tough trucks, and we're going to do an RV derby on Saturday night. So it's going to be fun. But, but yeah, there's not a lot of that. Uh, you know. Yeah, it sounds interesting just uh, for, the, for the fan, for the viewer, Absolutely. for your weekend. And that is a weekend pass or people can come each day or is it they, a camping type of event? So this is a, the the actual during the fair. Uh, the Yuba Center Fair is going on uh, next week. And so the, these will be two two nights of that event. So, yeah, people are, people can check it out. They can visit us on Facebook um, and, and purchase tickets through us. They can also go to the fair website and purchase tickets there. So, yeah, we're... Uh, so that's the thing, you know, the, you guys have got all kinds of different stuff going on. It's not just Demolition Derby. It's the Tough Trucks, Mud Bogs, and everything like that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's an event. And that, the other thing is, is, like, I was talking with Blaine, and we were talking about family-orientated. You know, it's like you sit there and you bust your tail building this car and everything like that. And when it comes to the fun part, it, the family didn't get to be there. That's so, so that is, that is, I mean, that's your model. You're bringing family back to your area. That's, that's huge for us, and, and I better before I get in trouble. So my son, Scotty, is always with me, uh, and he, so he's, he was a little pee that I, that I left him. <laughs> so I better say hi to him today, and, and you know, we're thinking about you, bud. And, uh, yeah, so he's going to be mad that uh, he, he's, he's not out here. But. Hey, Scotty, unfortunately, you know, this is like a super cool area. There's all <laughs> kinds of great things, and, uh, you know, the weather's a little cooler here, so you don't want to be here anyways, bud. You know, it's nicer back in California, so your dad's freezing here and everything like that, but, uh, no, I'm giving you crap, buddy. Hopefully you can make your trip on out here and see what it's all about, and, and uh, you know, I seen you sneaking in every time your dad's interviewed on track shot. I see you sneaking in on the backside, so that's good, you know. Get your face out there. Let them know who the real backbone of the sport is. 
sport is. You know, it's not your dad up front talking. It's you in the background, bud. That's uh-huh. it. And that's, you know, like we were talking about, Tix and I were talking about this, uh, I think it was on the drive over this morning, that, you know, we, we put all this time and effort and money into these cars and, and vehicles, you right, to come out and compete and have fun and enjoy. And our families, they, they miss out on us, and, and then they're out there working with us. And all the all the all the hard work goes into it, and then we have to leave them at the gate. And so that's one of the things that we're proud of. Uh, we, we've put a lot of effort into making sure that our pit areas are, are you know, up to standard for, so we can have kids in the back. The family can, unit can stay together when they come to our shows. The kids can be involved. We do Power Wheels events. We've even started Power Wheels for our, our, our tough truck and mud bog Power Wheels, we call them, right? But, you know, you throw a three-, four-, five-year-old kid in the Power Wheels and let them drive through a little wet spot in the dirt, man, are they, they, they're they mud bogging and it's serious business. That's and cool. so, you know, just like the power wheels for the kids uh, with the derby stuff, we do those as well. And, and it's, you know, that's, that's, that's serious business, man. They're not, they're not messing around. So that's really great of bringing the kids in. Cause that's something in Pennsylvania that's difficult is having the kids in the pits. That's you know it. what I mean? And it's, it's, I mean, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of extra money, a lot of extra time. And we've we've really got to pay attention to what's going on, how we're how we're setting up our events, um, and I, I think it's something that we're we're still working through. To you know, but not perfect yet, right? But we're working. Um, we've <laughs> we've got a lot of snow fence that we we set up. We got a lot yeah. of security, um, but you know, hey, that's if that's what it takes to to involve the family in these sports and these events and and keep it growing and help this next generation to really kick off. You know, then that's what we're we're willing to put it out there and, and do it. So. That's fantastic. Yeah. So do you got any big sponsors or anything like that you want to give a big shout out to? I mean, I know it's, it's uh, you know, as a promoter myself, there's there's a lot of people that join in and make it all happen. And I mean, um, I know I know you and I talked earlier about that. I mean, is there you want to so, want to throw out? Um, you know, we've got we've got some people that have really done great for us. Uh, Thomas Framing, Vince Thomas has helped us out for a few years. We've picked up uh, Paramount Construction out of Yuba City. Both frame, Thomas Framing and Paramount Construction are there. Um, and we've got RCI uh, out of Oroville, California. They do a lot of the fire cleanup work. But those those are some folks that have really, really kind of stuck. You know, they've they've become very good sponsors. This is what TrackShot Live is a marketing company. We want to get exposure. That's what we want to try to do is, uh, is, you know, a new promoter like you coming up. I mean, you're not a new promoter, but, I mean, stepping up to that national level in a standalone, that's new for you. It is. So, you know, that's what we want to do for you guys is give you the exposure and to be part of it. So for you to be able to make this trip across the country to come to the East Coast and see how things are done and to be part of this right here again, it's, uh, you know, please use TrackShot Live as that marketing tool to get your product out there so the world can see it. Yeah, and it's, you know, it, it really has helped. We, we, uh, we're, we're putting a lot of effort into our marketing right now, especially on social media and stuff like that. And, and having TrackShot uh, be associated with TrackShot has been a huge advantage for us. And, and we're, we're grateful for the opportunity uh, to be able to work with you guys. And hopefully we can we can work with Sour some more here in the future and, and get, <laughs> get tied into some of that. And, yeah, let's you do know. it. So, you know, we want to be on the West Coast too. You know? That's it. Yes, sir. Well, the thing of it is, is, you know, it's uh, we keep talking about destination derbies. I always pound that in the destination derbies. And, I mean, to get on out there to your guys' neck of the woods and see that beautiful piece of country and see all the nut trees and see all the rice paddies and see, I mean, it's like it's a different piece of country that, you know, me from the Midwest, you know, I don't get to see that kind of stuff. And then you guys bring it on out there and open it up. And, you know, we want we want to work with you to make that, that small town USA show in California the biggest and baddest in the nation. And uh, who knows? Maybe the largest n- next national show will be right there in your backyard. Yeah, you never know. That's, that's, what, and that's what we're working towards. That's it. That's it. Heck, yeah. That sounds great. So, Blaine, where, uh, tell everybody where they can find you on the Internet. What is your web page? What is your, your Facebook? How, how can they find you out there, buddy? Uh, Williams Enterprises, LLC.com. Search and it will take you right to our Facebook. Uh, we're also on Instagram, same, Williams ENT LLC. Um, so, yeah, please check us out. We, uh, we're we trying, man, and we, we can use all the support we can get. So Yeah. And like I say, you know, as you see these sponsors and everything like that, like I say, click on their links, like them, follow them, let them know you've seen it on TrackShot Live, let them, you've seen them at Spring Extreme, whatever the case may be, people like to hear that because they like the publicity, they like the, the exposure, and that's what it's all about, and that's what we're trying to do. So, um, you know, as Blaine's out here with his promotion company, watching how Spinning Wheels is doing things, asking questions and stuff like that, trying to figure out how to bring some different things to California to, you know, 
we're not saying to make it better or to clean up edges or anything like that. It's just to bring something unique to California, and that's awesome. The Blaine is stepping out, taking time out of his his you know a Father's Day weekend, even <laughs> you know, and uh, to come on out here and to see what it's all about. To you know, take a little bit of insight back to California. That's it, and, and you know, it's we're we're all guilty of falling into the same old same old after a while, right? Where everybody wants you know it. It becomes easy, and we come be, become complacent, and so after a while, hey, you know, it's we're just trying to shake it up a little bit, right? We just want to. I, I would like to learn and grow, and and you know, maybe maybe some of the stuff we'll take back, maybe some of it we won't. You know, some of these guys are for this wild show. They don't. They don't a little sparse on the safety side of the the cage, right? I mean, <laughs> some of these guys, I you know, again, nothing against the the local the local folks here, but man, oh man, some of these guys, I'll tell you what, <laughs> guys and gals, yeah, yep. So that's uh, it. But it's you know, like I said, it's something that we're uh, we're we're wanting to learn and grow and become uh, you know just better ourselves. Period. So. Well, the, the fun thing is, is, like, you see something out here that, like, you never would have thought of on the West Coast. Like, like wow, that's a great idea. Or, or like, wow, that's a great idea, and we are not going to do that. You know? So, I mean, but that's the fun thing is as soon as you think you've got it mastered and you're the best at it, that's your first step to failure. Sure. And, and you know, I've there's been a number of things that I've, that I, uh, again, I thank you very much to Spinning Wheels for letting, for letting me come out and really – Ask the questions that are, you know, ask the personal questions. How, why are you doing this? How are you doing this? Is this financially beneficial or is this not, you know? Uh, and, and there's been a number of things that, that uh, I've been able to really learn learn out here, uh, you know, just how they're doing it. It's just a, a different way of doing it. It's something, that, you know, obviously they've been doing for, for years here on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. No big deal, right? For me, it's a whole new thing. So, right. so uh, I'm uh, I'm definitely uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity in there. There are a number of things that we've, that I've been taking pictures of and making notes on my phone. So, well, you got to make sure you make your way up to Mike Tix's house in October. He has a wonderful, welcoming event for Demolition Derby, and you'll see what is called the Minnesota Net. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what. So, everybody out there across the uh, Track Shot Live world out there, you start hitting Blaine up. You start blowing up his internet and letting him know that you want to see the most wanted fine art class out there for next season for the spring explosion. And uh, I guarantee you, you can find some of those locals that would love to build cars. I mean, they're disposable cars, they're nothing, they don't cost anything. So, everybody out there, you start blowing him up and get this thing rolling because we want MWFA street stock class out there. I want to run a car out there. So, yes. I'm telling you so everybody I'm, get I'm, out there i'm digging this that's that's what i mean i want to bring my friends i want to be able to fly out six people we go on facebook marketplace we buy them all we drive them to the track and uh, we sell them at the track at the end of the night <laughs> yeah just leave them there whatever it is you know that's that's kind of the huge thing so hey i'm gonna let you guys have this thing here i gotta go on down i'm gonna relieve josh decker down there on the live mic um i'm not gonna swear on it like he did today already <laughs> right. you know bobby brockway same thing you know Got to keep them potty mouths out of here. But, no, hey, you guys totally enjoy it. Like I said, you get on there. You start blowing Blaine up because we are going to be there at the Most Wanted Fine Art. You know, he is excited with what happened last year or this year yeah. with Spring Extreme. It's only going to get bigger and better, and I am so excited that we can be part of it at whatever level that we can. And uh, all I got to say is, man, congratulations Thank on you. it. Thank and, you. And uh, it's been a blast to meet you. It's been a blast to work with you. Oh, and, uh, yeah. You know, you enjoy this up here with Sour right yeah, now. Right. I'm going to go. I, you know, Decker needs a break. I mean, right. I've been going nonstop. Well, but yeah, Decker yeah. needs a break. Sure hey, I should be coming down next to spray paint the raffle car. Okay. So I might be down there with you in a minute. All right. Sounds good. I will send Ben back up here. Blaine, it's been fun. Kind of enjoy it. this. Have some fun on here. You know, oh, yeah. maybe maybe you're the next talent because I'm not <laughs> any good at anything. So you're going right, to take it right. over. You got the smile. You got it. So, make all right, sure, you guys. Make sure you ask Decker how his ankle's doing. I think he... <laughs> He's getting up there in his age, and he hopped that that barrier kind of quick. So yeah, check well, on him. Well, he's younger than I am. So <laughs> nice. Well, Sour, I'll try to uh, I'll try to do my best here not to mess this up. Uh, so. I think we're okay. As long as, as, as I have, hill, as long as I have the correct 97. That was Danny Gill that just pulled in. Uh, well, this is a junkie. This is the second. Second heat of minivans, if I'm correct. If I yeah, yeah, compact it, right? trucks, minivans. Yep. And these boys in late. A15 at Gary Cooper. I see that Jamie Enterprise and JYD. So that's Adam Buchow for in the junkie, Adrian Gilbert in a 28, 
Arthur Hamm in 21H, Dan Carter in 01, Danny Gill in the 97, Dylan Campo in the 23. Let's derby. Here they go. All right, we're taking eight. Oh, I love these minivans. They are so fun. And I see a Honda Pilot out there. That's pretty cool. 21H. Oh, Here comes the Mad Dog. All the way across. All right, we got a bumper on the track already. 391. That is Josh Griffin. Justin Button in the 44J. Colby Blaze in the redone. Red 1. Logan May, 17 hyphen 38F. Nick Marchese in the Doomsday. Randy Caulfield in the 1022. Tom Robinson in the T13. Tommy Woodbury, the third and 37. Harold Humphrey in the Hammer. Here comes 44J of Justin Button. Got a nice burn out there. Turn it around. Oh. I oh, like them reverse light I still in the uh, pilot. That's pretty cool. The T13 to Tom Ooh. Robinson looking real strong right there. Look at these full tracks. <laughs> oh my God. My insides hurt just knowing how hard they are hitting. You got a nice set of SS wheels on the uh, Compo van here. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> That's also a Honda. How'd they get those to fit a Honda? <laughs> They must have the oblong. Yeah, I like the paint job of the uh, on the 21H. Nightmare Before Christmas, Arthur Ham from New Berlin, New York. So yeah, what I like about these minivans is uh, you don't have to move the gas tanks. <laughs> if you want to leave them in uh, underneath the car, you're just wow. moving the battery. Oh, we saw that one fall out earlier. Oh, oh there, there you go. Wheel that shot. front wheel shot is done. Out. Wow, completely gone. Breaking off. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Car is done. That was a good shot. It was. Wow. Got yeah, that was Nick Marchese right there in the doomsday. Got some fans in the crowd too here <laughs> cheering for them. Cheering sections over there. Yeah. They're louder than Josh Decker. <laughs> oh, hold up, hold up. We got a uh, Bobcat on the track. Something, something is happening. There's a lot of room to get some good speed going in here. There is. This is a. This has been a wild track. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> So I've, I've watched uh, this derby, you know, a cup for a couple years uh, on track shot, and I've always thought that this, this track was, you know, just odd shape. It's a very rectangle, skinny, long track, and, and to be here, it's it's just as skinny and just... <laughs> uh, you don't want to be <laughs> sideways here. That's absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, we're getting the uh, Bobcats putting the tires back out here so we can get back into action. Flag guys all looking at one another. Josh Decker's in the middle of telling a story. <laughs> all right, here we go. The crowd's ready for Derby. Yeah, we're done with the story, Decker. <laughs> That's it. Here we go. <laughs> we got mini minivans to smash. <laughs> Quite a few of them still left. There are. Uh, they're taking I think eight, they're, right? I think they're setting up for some big shots. Yeah. I think everyone's kind of getting settled in here. Oh. Whoa, completely in. 
Nope, Behind the, the driver's door, the whole <laughs> passenger door, or ba the back door is completely gone. Wow. It's impressive. Yeah, I think this Durango here is the, oh, barely moving, something's happening. Is that an Envoy? What, the 815? GMT? What, the 815? No, this other one here, this white one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's an Explorer. It looks like a Durango, maybe. Tom, that's Tom Robinson in the Team 13. They just dragging the rear wheels. They're completely <laughs> laying on the ground. Oh, here comes the pilot. No. Just looking for a new spot to start from. That's it. Yeah, I haven't seen too many Honda pilots in action. I normally see the Odyssey. So a lot of these drivers are opting to leave the uh, back door on. I know many people take the whole back door right off these cars. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, that's one less piece of glass to clean up. That's it. So let's say we've got 10 left, something like that. We're, down, we're going down to eight. We've got 10 right now. Yeah. 37 of Tom Woodbury to third. Still looking pretty strong. Got plenty of traction still going in hot. Here we go. Oh, that Honda Pilot <laughs> ready to party. That 97, that is Danny Gill from North Berwick, Maine. Yeah, that sure is nice of Mike try to sell the most wanted class to you. That's nice of him. Hey, I, I think it's a great idea. And, and like I said, we were talking about it on the way down. I think it's going to be killer. Uh, it's just anything goes. It's just that's what makes it fun. That way you can wreck your Suzuki, you know, where you would you would save a good car. Sure. But now you can just get rid of a piece of junk. Oh, here it comes. There we nice. go. Nice. <laughs> that's a good shot. Wow. Danny Gill. Oh, we got a red flag, red flag. Red flag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're still oh, like 10. Track. Yeah, definitely a couple left here. Oh. That 22 car, that's the, the one that they, they tried to slide, get the slider open on it. Mm -hmm. James Dickup from Casterland, New York. Wow, yeah, really made it all the way in. Good wheel shot there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's almost pretty dangerous there at 22. Like, his, he's, he's the entire the, back is exposed. Yeah, well, he's he's one of the ones that has a cage in his, though, so that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, T13 broke his stick off. Oh, already. Two... Uh, Tom Robinson, Four, that's, six, he's seven. done the 337, is still oh. looking pretty strong. We've got three on this end. Nine. One more. Yeah, we're down to what's the last one. Oh! <laughs> Lost radiator cap there in the kill dozer, number 44. That's Justin Button making a little little smoke for the crowd. They like seeing that. This pilot's becoming a CRV. Hey, his rear his reverse lights are still on too, so that's good. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we got a red flag. Oh. Hold up, everybody. Are we gonna nope, we got more junk on the track. Yep. Junk on the track. I said that, Josh. <laughs> Don't take my line. Mm-hmm. So you enjoying all this green stuff you're driving through? Oh yeah, this is you know I was <laughs> I mentioned it the other day is you know California we're a little short. 
JYD wagon still looking strong. I think we just need one more. Mm -hmm. They're all they're all working. Playing it a little cautious down on this end. Uh huh. Junkie's still in it. Junkie's got a pretty strong there looking van. Go. <laughs> As I say that, parts come <laughs> flying off. That's what I'm known for. That's if, it. if I'm like counting you out, you're about to win. <laughs> Pilot, here you go. Oh, finally. Oh, oh. Ooh, oh good right shot, in right in the tire. Pilot's had enough. That's Danny we've, Gill. We've got a couple on the clock. Oh, Danny Gill just received the Malachi, the Malachi Crunch, as they call it here, where you get blasted by two cars at the <laughs> same time. Oh, well, they got out. Junkie setting up for a full shot, going all the way to the corner. Oh, about to. Oh, good shot by the pilot. To, yeah, oh. And 77, who is that? 97 is the pilot. Oh, 97, I'm sorry. Danny Gill. Danny Gill, huh? Hey, hey. <laughs> nice. Oh, red flag. Red flag. This could be it. This could be the it. Is this it? Is this it, Bobby Brockway? What up, Sour? Hey, hey. Welcome back to the booth, buddy. Thanks for welcoming me back. How was it down on the track side? It was incredible, except I got so much mud down my crack. <laughs> front or back? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Why would I have a crack in my front? <laughs> what? Whoa, mean. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> my pronoun is he. <laughs> well, I was talking about that belly button. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> it's so big, you it's know, got a crack. No, for as, small, <laughs> for as big as my belly is, I seriously got a small belly button. You're an alien. <laughs> I'm different. You know, you weren't born uh, the re the re the original uh, guy. I wasn't born a big big guy. I I had to take lots and lots of um, like BCAs and whole and, milk and whole milk and uh, lots of cheeseburgers and mm. yeah yeah. That's good. So what do you think about the action like so far? Yeah, this is incredible. Is it not? It's fantastic. What's Blaine think about the the action out here? Oh, this is wild. Anything <laughs> like this back home? <laughs> well, they, they, they did run a minivan class. I, I wasn't able to watch it, but uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure that it went like this. These these guys are getting after it. Between them and the compacts, holy cow. Right. Well, that, that stock class was great, too, though. Holy. I mean, they were they were bending some cars. Right. Oh. So your winners are so in, Adam Bedeau, Junkie. In uh, California, like you're still wrecking 70s cars? Yeah. Yeah, we see a lot of a lot of clean, real clean GMs. Um, so you guys daddy. haven't even started in on the 98 to 02? Oh, yeah. No, there's a group. I, I actually run a few. I run 03 and newer myself. Uh, there's a few groups that run run the newer uh, Vic cars. There's actually a, a derby later on this year that's an 03 and newer. Or I'm sorry, an 02, 2008. 80s and newer. That's what it is. 80s and newer. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot of Vicks that, that run that class. So they, they're, they're able to build them pretty well. Similar, I think, similar to what, what we've seen out here in the the uh, economy class, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. so. Wow. Well, can you tell me, was it an old iron or new iron that won the economy class? Was I up here for that? I don't know. Yeah, it was a new iron. I was just I just <laughs> want to let DECA know that. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations to the new iron. Yeah, it was. It was a Lincoln. It was, yeah. It was a Lincoln. Uncle Bill, like, he's on top of he's it. Directing. <laughs> he's directing. He's a director. Guy. He does. Back up, move forward. We went and got him some food because he was getting hangry. <laughs> oh, good. He was. Yep. We got to get some food in his belly. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I'm the same way. Next right? up is the Economy Compact for Heat 4. Look at all the cars that are still in the field. <laughs> I know. That Look how smash. fast they clean them off here. They do really well here. Spinning Wheels has an incredible crew here. Even with the typed paperwork, 
Uh, that's something that's, you know, nice. the professionalism Different. that spinning wheels brings is, uh, is wonderful. And uh, they have consistency here, spinning wheels does. You know what I mean? They, yep. You know the, the, the people on the track, you've seen them for years. You know, the people inspecting cars, same people for years. They got good quality crew here that it's just uh, not a lot of turnover. You know? Right, yep. And inspection that goes, flows like really smooth. We were talking about that earlier. It is nice. Blaine, back in California, do they clean the tracks this fast? We try. I, we do you try. see how I, they do I, it? I, they're pulling three out at a time. I, I, yeah, I, saw, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> they, they got a pulling yeah, tractor, so they can just pull three <laughs> out at a time. They they just chain them together yep. and drop them off as they drive by their pit. That's the guy's pretty, like, that's pretty no, slick. I, I don't have nice. steering. I need a tow truck. And the tractor guy says, no, nah, I can pull you wherever you want to go. It. Nice. That's it. Now, the, uh, what kind of dirt is, like, on your track? Is it, like? clay like this or is it sandy where it evaporates quickly no we're like, much we're much more of a clay base we have a, a, a much more clay based soil um than than a lot of you know the the western you know say southern california northern california is about the same and you know farther up um but we have a we have a pretty good a pretty good clay based soil so it it holds water it does well uh usually a little a little wet at the beginning and then and then by the main it's it's nice and tacky and the yeah. skid steers really bite into it well and, and hold up so that's awesome it's uh it's something that we try to try not to get it too wet to start with but you get you get the right water on it and, and man the tracks the tracks really do help they help out and, yeah. yeah i mean so why, why i was asking that is like you know managing your tires you know like as we at track shot live we see different tracks across America where, you know, managing your tire size is important for what kind of track. See, like when I drive in Florida, I'm stuck because I drive with my foot on the gas. <laughs> I don't know how to drive slow. I was born and raised on this dirt and mud right here where you could just drive as fast as you want. I never seen you drive fast. We got passed by a darn fire truck today. I no, only drive fast lunch. on the track. I don't drive I said, fast on the road. Sour, you got a new truck, and these will carbon up if you don't at least do the speed limit. Nope. And a fire truck. Just just driving down the road past us. Not going to a call. Just past us down the interstate. I'm not in a hurry. Not in a hurry, but he's going to tell me he keeps his foot on the gas in a derby. Just run the derby. I want to see this. I do, too. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Come let's on, do get, it. Let's get in a car. So the room, talking about tracks, the rumor is... They're bringing in more clay to redo this track for San Filippo. That's what I heard. That's the rumor going around. That's <laughs> going to get any faster. <laughs> this track's incredible. These drivers are amazing. Oh, well, New York is so much fun. The, they just really love Demotion Derby here. You know what I mean? It's just it's in the water. It's just, you know. That's something that, that uh, I guess – you know, you used to. I used to see a lot in California, and it's just. I think maybe you know times and you know new era, whatever. But but you know, driving between Decker's house and here, uh, you know, we passed at least three or four different houses where you saw a derby car that was sitting, you know, back behind the, the garage or mm -hmm. you know back in the weeds, and and so they may not be they may not be here today, but but it's still that you know this area still has that derby culture, which is great. I remember as a kid driving around, and you'd see a you know. Somebody's car from last year at the at the fair sitting out back in the field or whatnot, and, mm -hmm. and you still see that here. So I think it's really cool. You That's know, nice. But Decker's actually got the crowd going today. I think that's Tixie down there. Oh, it's got to be Tixie. <laughs> okay, it's Tixie. It is Tix. <laughs> Tix is down there. He's got the crowd fired up. Just they're screaming from one end to another. Tixie's our vertically challenged brother. Like he, there's no way he's getting in your truck. <laughs> There is he fell no out of way. it. He fell out of it, but getting up in it, there's no way. That's all right. I we gotta, had to help him. It's nice to help Tix. I like helping Tix. <laughs> Bless his heart. So one time we were here, and uh, they surprised Tix with uh, a truck, the Derby, and he only packed shorts. <laughs> so it was like one of our first times getting to know each other, and I was like, I have an extra pair of pants. So for the rest of our life, I have a pair of pants that uh, Mike Tix Tix was in them. In them and derbied in them. <laughs> I, he, was like, I just left him at his he house. He told the entire world how comfortable it was in the package area. The well, package tray, you know what I mean? The package tray like a car. 
He said it was extremely comfortable. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to go again. Heat three, is it? I think Uncle Bill's going to have to let us four? get up here. I thought this was the raffle card. Nope, not yet. Is the raffle card down there? Yes, it is. All right, so after this heat, I'm going to have to go down and spray paint the raffle car. So I'll need you to hold it for me there, buddy. All right, the WFO. All right, hang on a second. I got one, only one left. With 33. Do I have the right thing? Joe Warren, yes, this is it. Joe Warren is a 13. 16 is Ryan Phillips. Aaron Kissai in the 611. Alan Colby in the 33 double X. Daniel Labrini in the 156. Devin Foyer in the 4X. James Phillips in the 440. Jesse Cressy in the 12-12, Joe Warren the 13, John Kleckner in the 33, Mike Gilbert in the 5X. Mike Gilbert's out here again. And he you is. see on the side of his car it says Decca. Mike Decca. <laughs> Mike Decca. <laughs> and his and it's his nameplate says Big Sexy. Oh, uh, Richard Hurlbert, 110. Robert Burdick in a 121R. Ryan Phillips in a 16. Sheldon Woodard in 58, and Todd Marlowe in 09. The 440 is James Phillips in that American red, white, and blue car. The 611 is a wagon. That's Aaron Kisaya. Kis yep. That's a cool little wagon, too. I was looking at that when he came through tech. He's very interesting in the back. I'm, I'm excited to see how it does. That's pretty cool. 110 with the... Uh, I personally feel they should cut it up a little more so you know it's going to go up in the back. <laughs> Reminds me of a gremlin. Full send. Ooh. Oh, that bumper right over the other bumper. Buried all the way into the radiator. That's going to make it tough. Oh, they finally spread open. 33 sandbaggers stuck. To the 440. That's right, America's trying to get them separated. Thirteen to Joe Warden. Kind of stuck. Oh, that three. Oh, Buddha. Send it, Buddha. Ooh, a good shot. Wow, 33, a John Fleckner, excellent full track shot there. Not sandbagging today. 12-12, well, well, he's been getting after it. Oh, wow, door shot. He got shot. in the door bad. Door oh shot. my God, that door is all the way in. Wow, is he all right? That's our man Gilbert. Wow. That's all right. He returns the favor. A little redemption shot there. Get it restarted, Mike. There you go. Good. Back in the game. Oh, Mike Gilbert coming in hot. Oh! Oh, my God. A little swing and a miss. Buddha lucked out on that one. Oh, Mike, what happened? Oh, well, we got a little bit. He found eight gear. Not a forward gear. Oh, it might find forward gear. Oh, big sexy went in hard. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, he almost made it into the stands. He almost <laughs> ruined the raffle car. I think he broke the K-rail. Yeah, I can't. The 440. The 110 of Richard Hurlbert from Marathon, New York. Still looking pretty good out there. Front end good still nice and clean. Buddha putting on a good shot down there. Yeah, Buddha's coming in. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, sandbagger. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, oh, here there. we go right there. Oh, Ooh, nice shot. Buried. That's Joe Warren in the 13 that we're talking to Buddha. Wow. Nice. Full track shots. Full sends are happening right now. Oh, so beautiful. Back of the 6'11", rolling up really nice there. Uh-huh. So 6'11", that's Aaron Kasaya. Four forty. Uh oh, watch the sandbagger. Oh. Wow, that was, must have been fun. How much fun was that? <laughs> Aaron Colby, thirty-three. The one ten with a wheel shot. That was a good wheel John shot. John Fletcher, the one that's been sending it. The fueled by haters. The sandbagger car. Just on the gas, oh, here we go. Bagger. All the way in. That's pretty good. Yeah, the over nine, Tom Marlowe has been really sending it. Ooh, Sandbagger with another one. Yeah, definitely going for Mad Dog. See what Buddha's got. Yeah, Buddha. Uh, wow. That's Joe Warren in the 13. I think I think there's at least three Mad Dogs in this heat. <laughs> at least three Mad Dogs. Four Mad Dogs, maybe. We're running it down to two. All right, track. Track it. Oh, red flag, yes, yeah, bumper. 33 finally lost that bumper. John Kleckner, good driving. It's funny to grab those bumpers with one hand and <laughs> grab yeah, them and run off. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Mike Gilbert, in and out, makes it look easy. You big guys getting in and out of cars, I can't do it. I have to go through the windshield. Just pinballing off of people, just staying on the gas, I love it. I love it. Just trying to catch up to people to hit. Look at the hose just wiggling out in front of that one in 12-12. That's pretty funny. That's Jeff Cressy. Still in it. Got plenty of front tires left in that car. It's anybody's ball game here. Anybody can get this. Right, Bob? Right, baby. I'm entertained by watching the Derby and listening to you. Like I, the one ten of Richard Hurlbird still has a good front end. That's his black and white car right here. That bumper's still looking still looking strong on the front of that car. Not packing the same punch that Warren is. I don't think he's running the same gear as the rest of them because he's not going quite as fast. No, these other cars are just flying. I don't know how they're keeping the tires underneath them. Still down in the last six. What do they take here? Do you know how many they take? Top two, I believe. Top two. Well, we got some work to do. 16 is plenty strong. That's Ryan Phillip from Queens, New York. I once dropped a two-ton safe on a car in Queens, New York. It was great. <laughs> we did it 10 times over the course of a weekend. Wow. I love smashing cars <laughs> any which way we can. Twelve, twelve, still in it. That's Jeff Cressy with that radiator overflow hose just wiggling in the wind. Kind of makes it interesting to look at. Right. We apologize at home if you guys are uh, everything's buffering on the YouTube and stuff. It's we're in the middle of nowhere, so the signal here is not the best, I guess. 
It happens. It happens. It's a good thing that it's three ninety nine, right? That's why we just try to describe it for you. Oh, oh. oh. such good shot. Oh, oh. wow. It, it, here in New York, you're not safe unless you're the last guy into the pile. <laughs> Remember when Danny Ogden just blasted somebody here? So we were telling them in the airbag. Remember his airbag went off? Oh, yeah, so great. That sandbagger from Utah. Salute my man Jake at home watching. Uncle Nick King. Stone bro, love you guys. Salute the most wanted car club watching from Dormont right there in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Love you guys. Joe Warden putting on a clinic out here. That Buddha car. And uh, his bumper is just sitting on there with nine wire right now, I think. I think it broke off the just, frame rails. Just packed in real tight. But the 09 and Todd Marlowe still in it. Just been full send from the very beginning. See how his bumper's just hanging on there? Yeah, just it's like. And he don't care. Let's hit, let's hit nose to nose. 110 on the clock. 12-12 on the clock. Already pulled off the goggles though. That's 12-12 at a great run, Jesse Cressy. 110 also with an excellent run of Richard Hurlbert. I think we're down to four now, buddy. Uh oh, here we go. Full send with no front oh, bumper. Nice. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> hey, don't worry, he's got an engine block back there to, to put yeah. it with. Right? Thank goodness for good headers. <laughs> <laughs> Will he get it started? Trying to start it in neutral now. Uh oh. Never good. We could be down to two real quick soon. Three. I think 33 is counted out now. Oh, nine. <laughs> that 33 is sandbagger. He's trying to move. No, all right. Still moving. Really quiet now. I think that's well, a mutual hit there, I think. You know? I think they. I think the clock extends longer for these drivers. These guys have been driving hard the whole time. Oh, third. Come on, Joe. Get it fired up, Buddha. Now, is his name Buddha because he's got a big belly because he looks skinny? No, because I was, was going to paint him. Oh, he broke off. I was going to paint Buddha, yeah. but he wanted just text. Good driving. 33, John Kleckner, and 16, Ryan Phillips All right, we got the number 16 from Queens, New York. That's pretty good. Congratulations. Nice run there, guys. Hey, you guys All right. Hey, guys. I got to go down and paint the raffle car. Uh, so I'm going to go down the track with Michael Tix. I'm going to get our main man, Ben, up here. Hey, thanks for having me up here. I'll I'm be so back glad. Are you coming back? If you invite me. Uh, I'm riding with you, so if you invite me. I <laughs> know. Uh, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm just going down and paint. This is one of my favorite things that Decker does is when you win the raffle car, then I get to spray paint what you want on the raffle car for the crowd. I like it when you guys include me. I love you. All right. Here's Ben. Uncle Ben. Oh, sour. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's, this is the... This is the, uh, I don't know how to say it. This is like the invited slow part of the day for me, so. It doesn't have to be slow. You can stay up here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why has it got to be slow? Well, I, well, if you hang around me, I'm the slow one, so you'll, uh, you won't be so slow. Yeah, I won't be so slow, no. That was a good heat from down below. It seemed like it was a good heat. Oh, that sandbagger, that 33 was just spinning oh. it. Yeah, he's a winger. Um, He's a what? Winger. That's a new, what's new a winger? name. Like a ladle head. Uh, what's know. a ladle? What do you guys do out here? <laughs> we got wieners and ladle heads. No, and winger. Wing, oh, yeah, winger. W-I-N-G. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, you guys use G's out here? Because you don't use ERs out here. DECA. DECA. We don't use ERs. We just skip them. The 6 11 there, he, uh, <coughs> Aaron Kasaya out of, out of Bath. Long time, known him for a very, very long time. Uh, worked with him in, uh, with uh, Total Destruction for a little bit. And then hey, it's the first time he's ever ran a small car. Oh, wow. He's like, I don't know about this. I don't know <laughs> if I really want to do it. He was doing real good. And then they got a good wheel shot on him yeah. and took him out. But uh, yeah, that was, that, that was a good run for the first time. Yeah, was, we were talking about the back of that thing. I was looking at it when it came through tech. It was pretty interesting how he, yeah. he kind of pulled it together like that. Yeah. So. Well, he owns, uh, owns and runs Goodrich Auto. Okay. So down in Bath, so he's a long time body man and gotcha. everything gotcha. else. So so he's uh he knows the inside outs. But they're they're GM guys, GM guys and uh him and Mike Rice and that whole bunch down there is it's uh uh, that's Uncle memory lane. That goes. That's like going back 15, 20 years. You know? Not to change the subject, but Uncle, you you are in charge. I'm in charge of us. You that's help out with uh, spinning wheels. Yep. Tomorrow, can you make sure we have the Canadian national anthem too? For since we got Canadians running here and Canadians watching. But didn't they run one today? No. Well, they. Have. Can you can you do your best to get that out there for our yeah. fans watching? Yeah, I thought I thought one went down today. I was like I said, I was over still. still I, didn't, in, uh, I didn't mean to change the retech. subject, but. I know. Hey, you got. You know, we got people at home from Canada inside. watching, and yeah, hundred percent. And. Hundred uh, percent. Yep. So we apologize back home, for the people that are watching. We will get that taken care of. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Ben will, so yeah. give, him, give him a shout out. <laughs> he don't have social media. No, I don't. But uh, uh, No. You try to reach me on Facebook, you're going to retire. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not on Facebook. Is that because you don't know how to type or just because? Uh, I'm just not, I don't, I'm not. Stacy keeps a tight, tight leash on you. No, no, it's not that. It's just I'm not a fan of it. What do, what do you think about the tractor, the pulling tractor that pulls the cars out I mean, of here? It's an appropriate tractor to have out there, you know, if he's going to go for a full pull or what. But. Uh, there was a guy down there. He didn't have no steering, and so the guy on the tractor's like, I'll pull you off. He's, the guy's like, no, I don't have any steering. That guy goes, I'll pull, pull you, you wherever I want. Yeah, you know, I'll worry about it. You just it. tell me where you got to go, bud. <laughs> I tell you. Oh, oh, they're picking it. They're picking it. Well, my tickets didn't win. Five one three nine four two. Five one three nine four two. Five. Five one three nine four two. Yep. Crickets. 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 Somebody's gonna drive a little. Was that a Camry wagon? Yeah. Wow. I we Jake from State Farm build it. Yep. <laughs> and I'm telling you what, Jake for his age, he's beyond his years in building and everything else, and the kid can drive the wheels off a car. Oh, here we go again. So you're gonna come up here and throw it in my face too? <laughs> I didn't say nothing about you. You don't he, have to. Everybody knows he's, at home. He's, that was the only derby he drove in. It was his first derby. No, no, it wasn't his first. It was your oh, first derby oh, in a compact car. <laughs> And Decca set me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yesterday that got uh -oh. under his skin. Who do we got? We got a win. Oh, that would be awesome. Right. If it, Have you ever derby before? Are you excited to derby? Man, he's like you never seem excited. <laughs> No, he's not. Jason. Oh, <laughs> when he goes into a paint store, he's just not picking cans up. He's basically just going in and doing an arm sweep off the shelf. And it's not it's not Walmart ninety nine cent cans. No. You know, oh. they're the they're the what's he put these the artsy fartsy stores or he's, something he's like that. There. The arches. It's raining and the guy's car he's painting. The guy's like, hey, it's raining. Jason's like, this Don't paint matter. sticks to anything. He wants to paint the car in front of the stands, in front yeah. of the grandstands, and all the fans. Yeah. And Did you know? I know you did. You probably don't know this. That Mike Tix got into a pair of his pants. Yeah. <laughs> you knew that? Last year. Why didn't you tell why didn't you tell me this? We're, I, no, we're I want the, pictures of We're this. on the air talking about we it. We want I want pictures. I don't pictures. think I, I if Josh was talking I wasn't listening. I can't take pictures. Oh, you don't have one of those smartphones. You got a flip phone, right? No, I ain't got a flip phone. Oh, I just thought you got a flip phone since you have I a can't new truck no every picture. time I see I can't, you. I can't take no pictures with my phones in the truck all the time. I'm going to move to New York. I want a job because <laughs> Ben's got a new truck every time I see him. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's it's not it's new. It's used. It's used. Okay. Not new. It's 19. Okay. Yep. 
I'm still driving a 1962 Chevette. Yeah, all right, you brand new 20, what, 2021? Uh, Chevy uh, Trail Boss, jacked up. It is a nice trail boss. it out with a lifter. I borrow it from my dad. It, no. <laughs> I don't just. Your dad's got the, the 350 or something. Uh, yeah, he's got duty. the diesel. That sits oh, in yeah. the garage, and he goes oh. to drive it. Oh, sorry, here this, we go. This four, no, this ain't four. This is five. This whiskey, whiskey Compact throttle. Compact heat number five. Oh, Adrian Gilbert's in this. Woo! 28 if he's. Yep. 28, Adrian Gilbert out of Mansville, New York. Alan Fountain out of West Chazzy, New York in the 14F. Brandon Hoffman, Middleburg, New York, 526. Brandon Lemire, Plattsburgh, New York, 133. He's a, he's a driver. Brett Hibbard in Bath, New York in the 23X. Brett's out here again. He wasn't a minivan earlier. Uh, Dane Dittman out of Frankfurt, New York, 69D. Dylan Campo out of Carthage, New York, number 23. Josh Griffin out of Walt, New York, 391. Justin LaSalle out of Mohawk, New York, 315X. Clayne Russell out of Lowville, New York, in the 5KKO Kid. Corey Fisher, East Meredith, New York, 6KF. Nick Harden out of Caddyville, New York, 125. Scott Bussing, Troy, New York, in the 57. Sean Cummings, Mount Umpton, New York, in the 51. And then there's a Todd Curtin, but I don't know if Todd made it out here because it looks like we're a little short on cars. Looking for a couple more cars. How is it out there in the How's compact? Going? Mr. Gilbert, how was that <laughs> run, buddy? Well, I, I was trying to get out of the way. My throttle stock wide open. I said, here we go. we got to go uh, somewhere. Let her up, so. yeah. Let her rip, Tater Chip. It happens. Right to Seemed the wall. Seemed like you had a good time out there. You, yeah. may, you got some good shots in, some good licks yeah. in. But, man, what what these heats. These, these heats, heats are crazy. Woo. Man. I, still, I still say heat three, though, was. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that was brutal. Wow. What broke when you hit the wall? Um, it'll be all right. We're going to fix it. Uh, I think the strut just bolt went right over. Okay. Yep. So. It, is that the same as over? Over. Like, over? <laughs> over. So, kind of like DACA. So A's, A's, are like, A's are like very strong in your vocabulary, yeah. correct? They, they, they give me a heck about roofs, too. You know, everybody <laughs> says they're roof, rough. What the heck is a roof, rough, you know? A roof, it's a roof. Roof. It's roof. A roof. It's a oh, roof. roof. <laughs> so that's like back home that would be what a dog does. Roof, yeah. roof. <laughs> I call them a roof. It's a Roof. It's a roof. Yeah. It's roof. I, well, I I don't I don't pronounce stuff. They make okay. People make fun. I okay. say stupid. Uh, I say stupid. It's a house. There's no top p room. in the end. I, I don't forget the d. <laughs> okay, we got right, more out go. there. We, we go. got big fish out there. This is gonna be a this, this is gonna be, be a good, good one. Beat. Yeah, there's some heavy hitters out in this one too. So why didn't you nose out, Mike? Like they're nosing out. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow nose yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, the big fish. Oh, Gilbert out there in the JYD. Sour painted cut out. Nice. Adrian runs everything. He runs compacts. He runs full size. Oh! I am. Was that uh, 315X? You got to watch him go. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Adrian. Oh, pile up in the corner. Oh. Boy, them are some phone jarring shots. Hellraiser's beating on that guy down there in the end there. Oh, oh, he, yeah. He's not letting him off the wall. Pick up 315X. I knew, I knew he was 315X bringing it. Sending him through. Right through the tires. Uh-oh, here we go. Adrian got a shot. Uh-oh, uh -oh, here we go. Right out. The, right out. Bye. Thank you. Looking a little... I think Hellraiser's lining up. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Uh, he's going for the mad dog, Adrian is. Oh, oh wow. my good. He laid it over. <laughs> he laid it over. Do you see it? Yeah, laid it over. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, hey, that's bad for the Hellraiser now. He's got to tie his lead. Great oh, over. here we go. Oh. oh. I think that's gonna do him in there. No? Wow. Is that what they call side traction? We call it dog tracking. Dog tracking? Dog tracking. 
Roof, roof. <laughs> oh, that was a good shot. Man, Adrian put a good wheel shot on him. 69. Uh-oh. Yeah, Gil Gilbert's got to carry a good name anyway. Yeah, you know oh, I mean? yeah. Gilbert, you know. I'm a Gilbert. <laughs> Anybody can carry a name called Dak. <laughs> Dak. <laughs> oh, Whiskey Throttle with a shot on 133. Ooh, that was close. Hibbert's still looking good down there. Gilbert's looking real good. Man. I'm just like they didn't give you one of those New York flavored steering wheels like that were in Heat 3. They were passing out. Oh, Everybody was man. eating the steering wheels like they were flavored. How uh, how are they doing that? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, man. That one kid's face was busted all up. Yeah, I, yeah. Another kid's his shield went flying off the window. Oh, oh right out the end of the track. I li well, I guess the kid, the kid with the nose here, he gets a little fella, you know. So that's bigger guys. It takes a little bit to shove us that way. Right. So I'm <laughs> yeah. pretty good with that. I call us industrial athletes. Industrial. Hey, you don't get a body like this by running on a treadmill and all no. It's just I, built I, in airbags <laughs> is all. I run on a treadmill and it doesn't do nothing but make me fatter. I like being fun size. It's like I, I won a hundred bucks earlier. The guy said, hey, you want to run around the block? I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'll take that bet. The guy says, really? I said, yeah, I'll run around the block. All right. They went over there. There was a concrete block. They said it on the floor, and I run around on it. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, Full man, spin. this might uh -oh. be a good one. Full sin in the parking lot. Oh, we rock. got Hibbert. Hibbert didn't see him coming. Uh-oh. What happened? What did we lose? Oh, bumper. Yep. Man, this is sick. I'll tell you, these guys out here just Ooh. send it. I tell you. Are you going to do a couple full sins tomorrow? I'm going to, you know what? Are you going to let her eat or are you going to try to let it eat? You know, if they fix me up right, I would. I got to thank, you know, uh, Sheldon Wooded, Chris Wooded. They they helped put that thing together. Sheldon did most of the work. Yeah. Chris, he kind of comes over and helps and stuff. But they helped a lot. Hopefully, Zach, hey, Mullet, hope you're all right, buddy. You know, he took that big hit and drive his door on his hip. Oh, he was the one with the hip. Uh, the hip. Did they take him to the hospital? I don't know. I took him to the ambulance. Yeah. He couldn't feel his leg. Whoa. Yeah, man. You're just watching him just bounce around inside of cars like yeah, all ball over. Ball. And I got to yeah. tell you, in that V8 class, so much better than this here because you don't feel nothing. This here, you feel every hit. Oh. These are like running. Oh. These are like weld full running full weld cars, you know, with with real fast paced derby. It's like you just we ran them up. We ran the minivans, the man vans in Minnesota. I only took like four hits. I couldn't move for four days. It was the worst the, thing the, ever. The minivans hurt. The vans are terrible. Oh, JYD, he's looking real good. That nose is still straight as oh, an arrow, straight, and he's dropping yeah. bombs. I'll tell you, it's a game changer, too. They allowed them fix a play right off the bat. Yeah. Game changer. <laughs> I love it. I'm just going to start calling you A. Hey. 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 It's not Mike no more. It's A. Oh. Hey, it's a game changer. <laughs> and we're not making fun of you. We're having fun with you, just so you know, Mike. We love you. Uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Wait, we love ya? Yeah. Is that how it is? Yeah? yeah. We love ya. Love ya. Guys all, these guys are all like trying to catch their breath now, I think. Yeah. yeah. They're all shaking the cobwebs out of their eyeballs. Hibbit, the back the back of his car is real good. Yeah. It ain't going any further. No. Well, he's got his nose out there now. That can be dangerous. Old Spanky out there. He's, his front end's rolled right up. He's... One thirty-three. He's still looking real good out of Plattsburgh. He's uh, Brandon Lemire. 
black and green 133 there. You get a little hot. Yeah, he's out there with some uh, pretty, pretty stout competition. Boy. At 125, I mean, he's getting a little warm too, but he's still looking yeah, pretty good. He, Nick, yeah, it's Nick perfect Hart. right now. Yeah. As long as it don't cut down and break down on him, his back, his back's great. Yeah. You guys at home can't see Mike, but everybody here is in long johns, parkas, and everything because it's oh, cold. Oh, Tix is in shorts. And yeah, Tix and I are in shorts, but Mike's in this Mike is in shorts and a freaking t-shirt. Oh, it's hot, dude. It's hot. Oh my it's gosh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I thought these guys in New York were tough or something, but I don't know, man. I'm a yeah, I'm a skinny <laughs> kid. I like the heat. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm used to work. I'm used to working in a in a fab shop in a weld shop all summer. So. Oh, I hate the heat. Uh, uh oh. Oh, he caught him. He's going after uh -oh. Adrian. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, now they're on him now. Yeah. 133 is not looking so good now. He's, hey, you gotta go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's trying to turn right and left at the same time. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think the 69 just blew a tire. Somebody told me they put a wall there earlier. I kind of went up over that. Yeah, no. No. I thought the flaggers were supposed to stop you from hitting the wall. What's that? I said I thought the flaggers were supposed to stop you when you hit the wall. I went right up over. Well, they definitely didn't stop you. <laughs> You, you literally, your car came off the ground probably three foot. Your head went all the way back and then. Big uh, sexy bobblehead coming out. It was out. sexy, the sexy man. <laughs> big sexy look good. Got a new product coming out, big sexy bobblehead. <laughs> big sexy. <laughs> that would be a top seller. <laughs> well. Gil Gilbert's looking real good. Yeah, Hibbert, Hibbert and Adrian bit. are. Yeah, Hibbert's back is perfect. Yeah, and he's not steaming yet. So. No. Yeah. He's playing it smart. I think 133 decided he couldn't go anywhere. Oh. Had a good run, though. Yeah, Gilbert's getting hot. It's amazing how long these motors are. Oh, it's crazy. You know, back up our way, they, uh, People say, oh, I blew a motor in a Camry. I don't know, how did, how'd you do it? How? Right. And they just don't check the oil or something? Yeah. Ran it with new oil for like 5,000 miles and finally blew all the <laughs> you know? I never thought I'd see the day that Camrys go for $1,000 a piece. <laughs> I know it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Adrian. Uh -oh. Here we Adrian's go. bringing oh, it. Oh, oh. oh, he moved just in time. Yeah. His tire's laid over pretty good in the 69 though. Uh oh. I think I think he's gonna call yeah, it. Yeah, he's four. gonna call it, yeah. Something on the track? Yeah. Oh, C V uh, joint. C V joint. <sighs> Is that do you call that a left hander? What's that? The joint that was just on, on the track? <laughs> a left hander? A left hander. That's a left hander. Oh boy. He's down to a single screw now instead of a twin screw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, These Gilbert's guys looking good. Yeah, he just I think it, we a little, don't little warm, but yeah. it's. Needs to come out around and go in. Air him out a little bit. I could see flags coming out here pretty quick. Is yeah, we'll put them in back and forth here. I'll tell you. Oh, the whole group. I mean, oh, you know, the whole group is just, you, you know, it's they definitely raised the bar. Oh. Are you saying that because you're part of the group? What's that? <laughs> you just saying that because you're part of the group? No, I'm not. I'm not really part you of the group. You are too. I'm, you're no, a great I'm, inspector. I'm an outsider brought in. 
So spinning wheels is, is Josh and Josh and Josh and, and Brian and, and Gully. When this heat's over. And then of course the, the oh, girls. Fuel, yeah. yeah. When this yeah, heat's over. The there wouldn't be no, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Gully's not gonna do all the paperwork. No, without no, the no, lady, no, no, no. without oh, the yeah. lady. Oh, it's good, it's good. Oh boy. It's good. I would say it's getting, getting to be very, I'm pretty sure Gilbert's gonna probably be caught too. Well, he's, I want to oh, say I he's in, know. he's getting say he's in, yeah. Oh, I think it's coming down to it. Hillard, Hillard's in there. Oh no, I think Gilbert just hit. Can't believe, was it? Dittman? Is that Hitman or Dittman? Hibbard. Oh, Kipper. Hibbard, yep. So. I want to say Hibbard lost reverse. Oh, 69 over there. I think he, he's on the clock. Oh, Smithman? Dane Dittman. Pittman, okay. They got to thank John Flecker, too. He got me a roof sign with, made up with a 5X with my boy's number, and it had a picture of me and my boy having a Miller Light on there. Awesome. Wow. Dang, I miss it. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think Adrian's in trouble. I think he's training. Oh no, he got her going. I think he's just so hot now. Adrian's hot. Wow. There's kids like. Well, Watch yeah. how you talk about I think, I the man we, in I the think, car. I think we What's that? Well, you're it. talking about Adrian being hot. Yeah, his car's hot. Oh, his car's hot. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. you said Adrian was I think hot. That's it. That's uh, there it. There we go. Hibbit and. Sorry, I pick up on the wrong things. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say something, but I'm going to. Oh, so you were. You yeah. caught what I. Yeah. You, you got the same vibe? Deca. Deca told me to be good. I'm being good. Ben's the one talking about how hot Adrian is. I do got to say a little something about that. Deca did a great job building that car, but I caught him cheating on a few things. So. Uh. Uh, he was cheating on the car? Uh, he. I put a hose on it. It had a big hole in it. So we, we caught that. It blew, blew water at me out here on the track and stuff. Was, before was he trying to hurt you? or I don't know. See, he's good at setting people up. Yeah. He set me up. Yeah. Make sure, hey, when you when you see him, say thanks for putting a hole and setting me up out there. Yeah, so I, I, know, I, already, show. I already told him. Oh, that will yeah. eat him up like said, no tomorrow. I he loves you, it. I heard you wanted to drive the other New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I got one dream, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I drove a V8 car for a long time. Right. And I, that's what I started out with. But uh, I got a dream doing a two-man. Yeah. So I, I picked up a car so me and Decca can mm -hmm. go, go for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Hibbard transferred the 125 of Nick Harden transferred. And I want to say... Adrian Gilbert transferred, but I, I'm, that's not a hundred percent. They did top two though, right? Top two in in Mad, Mad Dogs. Dogs right? Oh, who's the Mad Dogs? We, I, it's gonna. But I would not want to be the no. one picking Mad Dogs because it's like you can't just pick one really. But so he's, far, he's taken more than two, or like yeah. a couple of the other heats where people were just putting on a show. Yeah. yeah. So Mike. Ben Ben's one of those uh, don't judge a book by his cov by the cover, you know. Inspector like no tomorrow, one of the best. I would say oh, one of the no, best in the good, nation, yeah. world, whatever you want to say. <laughs> so he like he's been to Blizzard Bash as a, a guest inspector, caught stuff that's been getting through forever. So we see this we see this uh, car come pulling in. He's like, oh, there's a Suey. We go over here, and the people come to the hotel. <laughs> and this guy, and this guy knows Ben. And I'm like, nobody, like, how do you know Ben? Like, nobody likes Ben. He catches everybody cheating. <laughs> this guy's all, you know, talking, and, ben, and Ben's like, this dude doesn't like me. Like, I can't believe he's talking to me. I caught him cheating, and he cut in a derby a long time ago. So he explains what they did. Right. I don't think nothing about it. So go out this morning. Waiting for them to come to the truck, and this guy's out there standing, and he's like, "I've never made so many phone calls to a promoter." And I'm like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "I didn't want to do nothing wrong because I knew Ben was going to be here." <laughs> he listen, he calls it straight across. So what they were doing, tell me if I'm right or wrong, is Y framers cutting them off and putting shocker front ends on them. They were stubbing them AR forward with oh. the Y frames with shocker front frames, uh. and then putting them in shockers. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, but back then there was twenty against nine. None of us yeah. went. 
He's like, we just, what we were going up against, he's like, he's like, it was so bad after the derby, they got in fist fights. Wow. And, and it, they were very, very, the first year, long story short, uh, promoter I used to work for went up there and took the derby over. Yeah. Up there, it, it, it's it's yeah, the fair. They shut re- there, yeah. they shut and registration so off at a hundred cars and they fill both nights. Wow. So basically, they're a very diverse group. You got there's out of them hundred drivers, there was a, a percentage that knocked the windows out in in run percentage of that wanted to build you know put gas tanks in them and tires and that and then there was another percentage that liked to read into the rules look into the rules and this and then you had the business as usual that they've done forever and they i go up there and it's like okay here's this the rule set well, they wanted to hang me from a freaking pole yeah. by the end of the night. And it's like, guys, I'm just, you know, I'm not, don't shoot the messenger. Right, you know, right. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. But, you know, after that, you know, that year, the following year, it just, you know, it, it just. It Adrian did get it. Yeah, and it, it, it you know, we laugh and, joke, you know, laugh and joke about it a little bit. But it's like, you know, everybody has them hometown fairs where you do what you do. And it's the norm, you know, right, and then right, you right. have somebody come in different, and it's like, no, no, you can't do that. Well, you know, you can't – that's a hard one to swallow, you right, know. And it's, right. and um, I just loved it because it's a, the remote part group, you know. So it's like that's kind of my niche is, is, is all the I, I can I can vouch for that today. <laughs> I can vouch for that. It, it, it's, yeah, DECA got me in trouble. <laughs> I had no do? idea. I said, you know, I mean, so that guy got me in trouble. <laughs> Did he pay somebody to come after you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did something on the car, and then uh, Ben got mad at you. Oh, Ben got mad. He said, look, I don't care. You ain't going to run it. You don't, you don't either fix it or you don't run it. So that's what you meant by the text message? I didn't know it was him. No. What's when you were talking. Wow. I'll show you the text yeah, message. Yeah. So, wow. No, I, ain't no text message for me today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, I didn't know it was him that you were talking about. No, no. Wow. No, I, I, I get it. I, you know, and, and that's a great, great thing. I mean, I, you know, it's super that he stays and he's firm. Firm. Yeah. He you is know. firm. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. He is firm. He goes to the gym. <laughs> or have you heard that song, yeah. I Work Out? He's trying to say it's a rose between two thorns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh. I love this. I freaking love this. <laughs> yeah, he, he Bobby he they, they right makes in. his day he makes his day when when he comes out and does a show with me cuz he just uh, I'm not beating you up. I said I know you're, you're firm. not be, I know you're not beat me up. <laughs> I you build just, you up. <laughs> I build you. I said you're firm. You work out. Yeah. He's just there. He's like <laughs> I'm too sexy for my shirt. Or, I'm too <laughs> sexy for my pants. So, so somebody says it was going to be a challenge later on about getting into a small t-shirt. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I got into a medium. <laughs> did you? You haven't seen the commercial, have you? No. Oh my gosh! I got into. I did the commercial yesterday in a medium shirt. Oh boy! And then when I sat down, it was a tube top. <laughs> so we're just even getting firm. small. It wasn't, it wasn't firm. firm. <laughs> <laughs> I, it made me firm because it shoved a whole pile of stuff up. <laughs> I literally got into a medium. Oh, so man. So Mike and I are going to have a challenge. You can get yeah. into a small. I, I wear a petite already. So do I. <laughs> so do I. Just want to take a quick note, if you guys don't mind, about yeah. my uh, derby up in Maine this year. Yeah, my, tell my us boys. About that. Wait, can you give me 10 bucks first? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let me think about it. No. <laughs> so this so Mike, year, can I, I have $5? Uh, no. So, so do you want to talk about your derby? Oh, uh, yes. Then you're going to have to ask Uncle Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bill's I'm sorry. gone. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. No, so, go ahead. Yeah, you got a great thing going on up there. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I hope to see a lot of people up there. I, and one thing that DECA didn't post on there, I, everything that I do, I, I donated four vans this year. So it's, I'm going to have a team derby plus the memorial derby. Mm-hmm. So it's four-man teams. Bring, bring up anything, a van. Rear wheel drive, whatever. No Imperials, guys. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's a bone, bone stock class. You got to have loose suspension and stuff. You can run any tire that holds air. You can do an OEM bumper. That's not a problem. Mm-hmm. You can run your shifters, no problem. 
But uh, everything that I put together and I sell raffle tickets for. Okay. Okay. I got a one for the memorial. Let's say I got a 72 holes Delta 88 we're putting oh. together in memory of my son. Mm -hmm. So I sell the raffle tickets. So, and the fix of it is they go right to the feature. Okay. Yes. All right. And all the money that I raise out of this, I don't take a dime. Mm -hmm. I, I, I give it to uh, kids that go to school. Okay. It's a scholarship fund. Yep. So anybody that goes to a trade school, not right. just okay. a regular school, or just a, somebody in the trades. Cause yep. Me and my boy work on cars. We do stuff. You know, I've done it for a long time. And yep. So, so everything is going to be donated mm -hmm. to a scholarship. Well, that's awesome. 100 bucks to get in. Mm -hmm. It's 5000 to win, 3000 for second, and 1000 for third. Um, the team, the team aspects of things we're going to work on, depending on how many teams, and I'm going to talk to the guys. You know, I could not do what I need to do if it weren't for the demolition guys. Oh, right. You know, I right, mean, right. these guys are the show. And if anybody has any questions, please, please call me, you know, uh -huh. and we'll take care of it immediately. You know, I, I'm not perfect. Oh, they, you know, yeah, there's, you know, um, but this year I got a little twist. I, I'm actually talking with somebody. I won't say anything right now. Uh, we're going to have a whole different crew of inspectors. Oh, nice. So, nice. so there isn't any of this. Hey, he cheated. Yeah, he cheated, yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah, 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 yeah. So, yep. And it's going to be a, somebody neutral. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Here we go, guys. Yeah, I'm going to run down real quick, real fast. You got Andy Wolf out of Horseheads, New York. Hold on. Angus Hines out of Newark Valley, New York, in the 888. Austin Kowalski out of Utica, in the 914. Brian Chris out of Redford, New York, in the 98. Chad Sargent, Ken Degwa, New York, 162X. Derek Bollinger out of Kunkeltown, PA, 299. Dustin Bolk, Sydney, New York, 116B. Jacob Brown, Franklin, New Hampshire. 35. Ken Owen out of Rockway, New Jersey, 316. Matt Larisi out of Wantage, New, New Jersey, 666. Ryan Rowe out of Davenport Center, New York, 615. Sam Bozart out of Blairstown, New Jersey, 9 and 3 quarter. Sydney Patterson, Naples, New York, 51D. And Tommy Woodburger out of Vermont in the 37. I got to kind of go. It, I don't think. Oh, yeah, he is down there. Yeah, down on down the there. left. Yep, yeah. down on the left. I tell you what, this, this is going to be this will be good heat. Ken, I got to go with you, buddy. That's that's been my original number for 36 years. Nice. 16. Nice. Um, but I run my boy's number now. Okay. Bye oh, guys. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, you guys. All right. Hot rod. Let's see what you got. Oh, yeah. Looking for Dolly to give us the big and we're once again I think we're short a car. One, two. Look at Tixie out there announcing the Derby. I love yeah, we're, it. Yeah. We're short like four cars actually. What, what happened to Decca? You taking a nap? So everybody, yeah, everybody I was ready. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. oh already, reading it back. Sixteen B is just taking it. Oh man. That was a freight train right there. Wow. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. And, uh, I bet he bent that over. Over? He bent that over when he hit the wheel. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, no, I don't know. He's coming out of there. Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah. No. He's oh, coming he's out. up on the tire. There's going to be a little, little payback going on now. Yeah, I think he's on to something. Oh, right here. Oh, I thought he had a perfect shot on 666. Uh oh, here, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh. Wow. Wolf pulled right out in front of that. Oh. I don't uh, wonder. I was sitting uh, down here, and yeah. I I didn't see it coming at all. No. And I'll tell you, I got hurt. Yeah. yeah that I, was That would have been a... I ought to gonna say, oh. man, these guys had a quality. Oh, here we go, oh. here we go. Oh. oh, I think he's going for Mad Dog. Yeah. Oh, he's up, he's lifted into the trunk pretty bad. Oh, there he goes.
gotta honestly say, I think this beach is gonna be some used up stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, Chris is done. Yeah, he got hit right on the wheel, even though he's kind of the wheel on the door. I tell you, Tommy Woodbury, he can drive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think he's done it before. He's, uh... That blue car down there must have watched you drive because he's been driving up on the K rails. <laughs> he's like, I look up to that guy. I'm going to see if it works. He's using his banking for a corner turn. <laughs> yeah, he's got on yeah, the bank uh, corner yeah. turn. He's like, that guy from Maine did it. It must be a good thing. I went to, uh, I, I went up to Tommy Woodbury's show up in Vermont. Did a real good job. They, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, I was coming across the track, and uh, oh man, I can't. Yeah. Oh, he's up on the wall again. He definitely, he definitely idolizes you, bud. Oh, Wolf just took a bad shot. Wheel shot. Oh, that bent that wheel right over. Over. I. Over. Oh, Ken's over. looking pretty good there in the 316. Oh yeah, kind of is. He's looking pretty solid yet in the front. At nine and three quarters still, he's fresh up front yet. Yes. What a and bumper. He's, and he's, he's picking his shots. Whoa. Oh, it's, it's oh, that was a good shot. He yeah. Was, oh, oh, Tommy. Wow. Woo. Hope all the little kids at home that are watching this are having tons of fun today. That's kind of a questionable shot there. I don't know. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough because they're both moving, you know. Oh, he's got a uh, he's got a good car. Uh, oh, aluminum. Oh, aluminum. W aluminum. Well, the, yeah, it's aluminum. The baby on board there. He ain't even, his front ain't even move. That's, that's a Solara, ain't it? The baby on board. Uh, yeah, it's not even, it didn't budge when it hit. He's got a like little point, point on it, too. Was. Oh, I guess it's a Camry. No, after they get bent up a little bit, it's hard to tell. Oh, it, sh it looked like it made sh maybe shifted a little, but man, that was a nasty shot. All these compact guys are laying down some blistering shots. Gee. Knocked the motor loose, though. I know that. Sometimes it knocks your helmet loose a little. Yeah. Slow. I got hit one time and you could hear it. It was just like uh, dropping rocks in a bucket. Right. Ding, 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 ding. right. <laughs> Do you wear a seatbelt when you run? Yeah, I try. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna. We gotta talk to the manufacturers on these cars. But, uh, they don't. They don't always fit. No. <laughs> Andy Wolf, I mean, he's got a bend and laid over tire, but he's still making good. But I'm telling you, that's this baby on board. Luke, wow. Well. He must, he must have been a late entry, because I don't, I don't have him listed. Oh, baby on board. Oh, he just hit the wall. Those, those will hold yeah. you up. He needed to tweak his front a little. They'll either fold you up or throw you up, right? Yeah. I hope somebody's got that on film, man. <laughs> yeah. That'd be a good day in the shop to get some pizza, drink a beer and or a water, and watch that show. Oh, back in the 80s, I, I think it was the 80s. I don't know. My buddy Tally Cummins would tell me probably. He's got a memory like an elephant. He remembers everything. Um, I had a 
73 Chevy round back wagon at Cowigan Fairgrounds. I come across the track, and it was a couple of Lincolns. They, they were on me. I said, well, I got to get out of here in a hurry. Poor kid comes out in a Pontiac Sunfire in that heat, you know, and it's oh, like oh. first derby he's ever done. I legit, you could walk underneath that wagon. That's how high it was in the air. It was, I got a picture of it. I'll show you later. Legit. I wanted to keep going, but my buddy Tally says, hey, you got a hole in the oil pan, dude. You're done. Yeah, you never want to quit. No. You get another motor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys all of a sudden said, okay, we're not, we're, let's tone her down a little bit. You'd make a lot of money if you're a car practitioner in this town. Oh, yeah. Well, they're self the derbies. I don't know. They're self adjusting themselves, I think. <laughs> you hear Deck is a doctor. Yeah. He is. Doctor, Doctor Doolittle. Doctor Doolittle. Oh. Sorry, Deck. Uh. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> Cody, get this. Cody, get that. Trent, where's Trent? Where's Trent? I can't wait to watch Trent run tomorrow. <laughs> you know, he's, a, he's one of the he's one of the the ones that you could say he's a nat he's a natural driver. Yeah, I he's a natural. My son, Becca was right. My son could drive. He could. And I'll tell you, it's awesome now that I see more father son combinations. Yeah, it's it gets me pretty hard. He's the hot duck out right now. Oh, uh, he went Andy. for a 615 star from the driver's door. Boy, I tell you, that maybe on board car is going to be hard one to. Oh, yeah, that thing's. I'm sure it's buckled somewhere, but it's... from up here, it looks real straight. Ah, yeah. uh, he's doing well. Unless they take a tire out, he's. Oh boy. Oh, he's hung on to him. Uh oh. Ken, uh, you Ken, you gotta get going. Yeah, Kenny stalled out too. Oh, he just helped him out. Oh no. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to come out. I think Ken's done. Yeah, I think so. Did a good job, Ken. You run my number. I, you, did, you did a great job. Kenny's done, and I think uh, Andy Wolf. I think he's got to be getting close. Oh, Wolfgang Puck's out here. I didn't even see that. Oh. Uh oh. It's almost sounding like we're gonna have a call here. I would say. Yeah, Andy's. I would say Andy's out of time. Oh, yeah, oh. Both of them are out. So, okay, we're okay. down to nine and three quarter. The. So, Andy was with the hold on, huh? Yeah. Andy, hold on to your stick. You broke it. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> I met them. I would never break ago. my stick. I'd make them stop the race yeah. and come out and break the stick. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. So Ryan Rowe out of Davenport, a 6.15. And I want to say that's Luke Hobart and the baby on board. And then the nine and three quarter is Sam Bozart. And we don't, like I said, he's not, he's not on this. Something's going on there. Oh, there he goes. Oh man, guess what? What? After this heat. We have the farm trucks and then the economy V8s, and we're done. Really? Already? Yeah. That means you can cook out for us. Wow. Are you cooking out for us? I'm looking out for you. Cooking. Cooking. <laughs> cooking out. I got to look out for you to stay off the wall. 
I don't want you out there trying to get one and one with that wall for tomorrow. I marked my spot. You did mark it, bud. Kind of like an old dog, you know what I mean? An old dog. <laughs> that leg up. <laughs> I'm impressed you got your leg that high. <laughs> And them farm trucks are going to be crazy. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, and a highlight on mine you know, one more time. It's at Gitter Dunn Raceway in Skowhegan, Maine. So on the Dudley Corner Road. If anybody needs to get a hold of me at all, I, I think there's a few flyers I pass out too. But what's the what's the closest airport to that? Is it Portland? We got Bangor. We got Portland. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody yeah, because that's like a that's like an eight eight hour drive. Well, I know Bill will be flying Bill in in uh, Skinny. Skinny said he's walking from Kansas. Yeah. Walking. Yeah. Yeah. He's walking. I told him I meet him halfway, but okay. then I thought about it. Bobby's gonna have to. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny, we love you, brother. I'm really missing Missed you. Him. Oh, yeah, if Skinny was here, the everybody would be fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a, I, I, Skinny. And that's, great. that's the thing. This this uh, <laughs> this group has so much fun, it's just ridiculous, you know. And I don't understand, too. Skinny's quiet. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's quiet, he's quiet like uh, a freaking tornado whistle. Oh, boy, you hit your head harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can confuse a, a, a three-letter name and a, and a you know a Ben and Skinny. That that's it, there's a yeah, big confusion definitely. there. <laughs> yeah, this year I come down without my buddy. Uh, usually Stan Wood comes down with me, but he had to stay home this time. So, yeah. Two old men. Oh, well, these guys had it all painted up. Oh, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. We got more looks and stuff, but that was worth more than a million bucks. Uh-oh. Tranny going in it. Put her in park, buddy. Let her cool down. Who's left here? Baby on Ryan board. Rowe, the 615, and then it looks like, I, I think it's Luke Hobart. Oh, that's it. That's it. I tell you, that car's going to be a tough one. Oh, that thing is the cleanest car you have to go out of the heat. So as of right now. Well, I think it's a cigarette. It's not even hot. I don't think he was yeah. smoking a cigarette. No, no. He finally got hot a little. Yeah. Ryan Rowe on the 615. Give a big round of applause for Ryan, Ryan Rowe. Rowe. Wheel that thing all the way down to the feature. Congratulations, Ryan. Wow. Good job, Ryan. Man, right, kind of looks like a Yugo. <laughs> there you go, Ryan. It's a small back end, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't pay. He, it took him a very small amount of money to actually get his customized car done like that. Wow. So I hear they was going to put a Chevy Chevette together for me and Bobby to run out here. And I oh, really? Be awesome. <laughs> they got to cut the roof, it, though, so I can get out fast enough if something happens. <laughs> Need a sunroof. <laughs> we're going to have to put, a, we're going to put body harnesses uh, on us. <laughs> it better be, if, it, if we're in there, there better be a six by six back seat bar holding yeah. our seat up. <laughs> uh, they, uh, so what we got next? We got two heats left in for tonight. We got the farm trucks next heat, and then after that, economy V8s. Economy V8s, a little bit heavier build. They get a little bit oh, more stuff to them. Yeah, but these guys, the cars that are here, are, are, it's it's going to be a, just an exciting heat, as you're, these guys have been all day long. But the farm trucks might bring it to the next level. These, this might be the heat that's going to top heat three. You think so? I think we've got, okay, I'm going to run down through now. And then uh, it's not going to take very long for him to clean the track. From up my neck of the woods, there's a, it's a whole family. Brothers, father, and everything else. I didn't know you lived in the farm trucks. 
in the farm trucks. We got the Amon family. We got Brad Amon from Lodi, New York in the 541. We got Brian Amon, Interlake in New York to 823. Clayton Kessler out of Athol, Massachusetts, 71. Connor Austin out of Trumansburg, New York in the 07X. Dan Marchese out of Clifton Park, New York, 629. Dustin Snyder out of Carthage, New York in the 21. Eric Amon out of the Interlake of New York, 59. Jacob Goodspeed out of Mount Vision, New York, 55. Jared West out of Lowellville, New York, the 1776. Jeffrey, I'm sorry, Jeffrey, of of Ovekia, Ovekia out of Ovekia. Fort, out Fort Drum, New York, and 186. Jeremy Nafalski out of Oneana, New York. That's oh Yoshi, Yoshi, uh, Joe, Yoshi. Joe Armstrong. Yoshi. Tahoe, I'm nicknaming him, re naming him Tahoe Joe. Tahoe, Tahoe Joe. Joe Armstrong out of Worcester, New York, 19A. Justin Scott, Cobble School, New York, 420S. X. Justin Schaefer out of Morris, New York, 14. Cameron Marshall, South Austillic, Shenango, New York, um, 23K. Rick Diamond, Esperance, New York, M4. Ryan Robbins, Newton, New Jersey, 119. Sean Amon out of Lodi, New York, 158. Travis, Palmerton, PA, 07. And Tyler Dubach out of Lowellville, New York, the four. Now this is all everybody that's registered. Oh, okay. Um, we've been having some heats where I run down the whole list and people are like, oh, duh, all them cars didn't come out. Well, I'm just running down the list. And uh, this is the list we got. And I'm pretty sure by looking out there, we probably have a majority of those trucks on that list can i can i ask you something too though well so i was told that uh the people that weren't registered pre-registered they have a heat seven and eight are they not doing that tonight in the compacts so we actually should have two more they just weren't pre-registered i don't so i wonder you know if we, what? I don't there know. should be a seven and eight heat because i put guess, signs up guess what yes sir I do not have the list for that. So so if you look here, so what are we on? Farm trucks, right? Oh, kind of V8, so then there's two so more. We just don't have the list. I don't have the list. Okay, so, so we have, have four more. So we have four Yeah, they more. did. They did. So these are the ones that didn't pre-register. So what they do here is they punish you by throwing you in the last heats. Okay. Okay. Bobby, man, I'm good just, catch. I'm, yeah. A good catch. I don't want you to yell at oh, me, though. I'm not, I hey, I'm not, I'm not yelling. I won't yell That's at it, man. I'm going to have to eat a this. cheeseburger for you, Bobby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love you. I almost said the F word again. <laughs> Gosh, I said the F word earlier. I know. I was here. So I got to I gotta go oh, out on a list. I can't remember. I have. I yeah, have, because I, I, have, I, swore, uh, I swore, too, and you, and you're uh, like, yeah. why, why can't, why, does yeah, he, yeah, why yeah. is he able to swear? So I got yeah. a memory like an elephant, too. I can't remember what I did five minutes ago. Elephan has very good memory. Oh, oh, see, oh, I, I didn't even elf. remember that Elephant had a good. I didn't even remember Elephan had a good memory. <laughs> Golly, there's something wrong with so me. So this farm truck class here, I, you'd think this was in New York or something. All yeah, I like that. Woods. Huh? You said in my neck of the woods. I didn't know you lived in the woods. I live in the country. You live in the country? And there's woods around your house. Yes. Tixie bought them. I just went and got them for okay, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So Uncle Bill was getting hangry. Hang this looks like a lot of vehicles in this. That's going to be a rough this, Oh, my goodness. Look how many. I, uh, ain't that awesome about the uh, military truck, huh? <laughs> oh, Isn't yeah, that incredible? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know something? And I said this online earlier when I saw that picture of that. I says, you know, we're lucky. We're lucky to be in USA. No, Tixie does a really good job. Oh, that. yeah. He's yeah, he phenomenal. Um, but you know something? Freedom isn't really free, guys. Oh, no. It's Those not. guys paid <laughs> to help us. Right. Yeah, they do. You know, they ultimate price, but we love you guys. Thank you, everybody in the military. You're doing an awesome job. I have family members that were ex-military and stuff like that. Sour sister's still in. We were just talking about wow. that today. Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was going Two in it when we were in Vegas. Yep. A year and a half left she yep. has. Yep. Cyber security or something like that. Yeah, she's big into computers. Yeah. And he's such a good brother. He is building her a new house for her and her boyfriend to come back to so they have something to come back to to get started on their uh, civilian life. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Chevy Envoy pulling out there right there. 
I want to see how the front does. The back didn't look so impressive, but the front. Yeah, and this, you got this Fruit Loop in a minivan that's going to go out there. This Why? <laughs> I don't know. Well, die, die, com I die cop. I would not. Wow. I, I, I There's another one right here. Dude, I wouldn't do it. Oh, I another minivan right here. Then look, look at the full-size van. Yeah, but look at, look at, you got. <laughs> Why are you scared? That, huh? Why are you scared? I ain't scared. No, I know you're not scared. He's scared. You, I'm just you, saying, you, I, you, I, you I, saying I would not take a minivan, minivan out there in a full-size truck. I wouldn't be out there in a full-size truck. <laughs> huh? You wouldn't see me out there in a full-size truck? I'd be in a full-size truck. No, no, yeah. not me. I'd run a truck before a compact car. Are you kidding me? Are you going to take your own truck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I'll tack my own truck. That ain't right. Oh, man. Wow! Look at the people on the stage just yeah. eating the mud. Oh, there's gonna be wow. there's gonna be stuff flying. I'm thinking if anybody gets lined up with a full size van, I think it, I think that'd be tipping over. Look at this trucks on the on the uh, oh, yeah. hood. Oh man! Don't count those vans out though. Really, those minivans. All right, maybe that one. That's the problem. The trucks get oh, up on the bumper. on another one. Yep. They'll get unhooked in a minute. Oh, right. Oh, oh, oh right the door. driving door. Now, are these stock tires? Well, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there was a good shot by Austin. Look oh. what Austin did to that truck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Yossi? Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Nah, that boy's holding up pretty good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. oh, man. Ow, ow, ow. That's old Sean in the van. Sean Amon. He loves running them one ton vans. That might be a three quarter ton, though. Holy cow. Uh oh, here he goes. He's oh, lining up. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to oh. Good luck with us. Look at all the 4 8 Ford motors, too. Oh, my yeah. God. This is, there's some guys out of the way. Here we them, go. Man. They got them figured out. There's a military truck. He's doing good. Uh oh. Oh. He just got laid over. Oh, oh here we Joe, go. Get him, Joe. Yeah. Tahoe Joe. I like that nickname. Wow. Look at that radiator hose on that Woo. over there to your left. Ripping and tearing. Uh-oh, it took Joe's wheel off. Joe's in trouble. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, bummer. Look at this guy's getting out. He just opened the door to get out of his van. The one Heyman brother's running a 7.3 diesel on it. Well, he's kind of like me and Bobby. Woof. Uh, industrial athlete? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, there ain't a pie-eating contest around here. I, got a, I could have a flesh-eating disease and live forever. Yoshi's done. <sighs> Man, it's hard. It's a far, it's uh, based, it's a farming family from up uh, up Interlake and up that way. And, uh, so they say a diesel. They've been, they've been running, they've been running a, a long time. They say a diesel will run hot, and keep running hot. Keep running hot. So you got two of them. We'll see if his brother gets them unhooked. See the old big van there, the bump is holding right down. Yeah, the Suburban, he's stuffed up in them tires. There you go, Joe, keep working her. I'm pretty impressed with that Dodge truck, though, the military truck. Oh, here he comes. Whoa! Oh! Over. <laughs> Man. Oh, 
he made it. <laughs> hold on, hold oh, on. Oh boy. Tim back over, Goalie. Yeah, it's gonna take over. a couple people to push that. Little you better get about six more. Bobby, hey, well, we gotta get down there. I'm not getting down there. You can go down there. Yeah. Just put a put a chain to your back and let you pull it right over, eh? <laughs> I just I'll hold the cheeseburger about five foot from you. Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I guess there's the bonus of not having stacks. God bless USA. We don't give up. See that? Knock us down. We get back up, USA. <laughs> These colors don't run, right? These colors do not run. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh. What's that tire from? Uh, Dude, they got three oh, people. Already on this black Ford over here. The front tire is gone. Yep. Gotcha. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh that axle just whipped him. Kind of like. Like uh, we were getting hit last night. <laughs> That's just a lot of crazy. Look, oh, here comes the sun. Now. Here comes the sun for a quick second. It's a little bit of gas. We're going to just water it down back there for safety. Still running, any? He? Yeah, they're going to give them an opportunity to keep going. Uh, they're washing down the gas, eh? Yeah. <laughs> the best day ever. Hope he does. Fire her up, buddy. Got like sour back. You, uh, you guys want to get back in the air? We'll see. Hey, it's hey, hey. Here. Sour's back. Sour's back. What do you think of this heat so far, buddy? It's intense. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That one-ton van down there making so much noise. Making a lot of noise, but he's hung up on the tires. Huh? He got out. Oh, he got out. Sean got on. Yeah, yeah, he's hung up on the tires. Oh, he's going to get another shot. Uh, these one, oh, no. oh, he's hung up on his tires. Oh, these super duties are sweet, aren't they? Yeah, he just hung himself up. Certainly did. Went in for the kill shot and killed himself. Tahoe, oh, Joe, oh. Tahoe Joe's still going on three wheels. Three wheeling. Three wheels is still going. Oh, the Suburban got loose. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Finally. Here we go. Oh, uh, helping his buddy out. Digging between the seats is never good. Trying to find that ground wire, I assume. Oh, they're finally making some room through the center of the track here. 541, back in the game. Whoa, just oh. stuffing it in tire, there. Tire on a... What's that, a Chevy one ton? Tire. Oh. I dig it. Hey, look, the caravan's still going. Remember we said... Oh, I know, that's nuts, dude, it's nuts. I enjoy uh, number 420 that just got out without any nine wire or nothing. Just opened the door and got out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fun. <laughs> yes. It's pretty awesome. This is a great heat. This is awesome. That Suburban's got to make, he's got to make a shot. Definitely, because he's been hung up down there, not still got yeah, fresh. He's pretty clean. Yeah. Well, he's been hung up in the tires. Stalled again. There you go. Help oh, him look. out, Chevy. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's, oh, yeah, get him out of there. That's the help we needed. Come on, hit him one more time. Come yeah, on. that's a – oh, and he hung himself up. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, everybody's going to get – everyone's yeah, going to participate go. here. There we go. Nice. Awesome. That was like kindergarten. They're rolling oh. them. They're rolling them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's on his wounded wing. Wow. <laughs> Tahoe Joe. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's incredible. Get Joe, get Joe out of there. He says, no, Joe's going to stay. You ain't going to get him out of there. <laughs> That's great. Joe's like, I'm full forward. Get him off me. <laughs> he's got his arm up like this, like he's resting. He's totally sideways. He's just resting. And then <laughs> he's amazing, get out of that thing. Yeah. No way. Come on, Joe's not getting out. Don't do that. He's not getting out. Oh. That's incredible. That's awesome. They got to check oh. his fuel cell, which he had, he's got a real good fuel cell in it. So. That's awesome. <laughs> this A23 Super Duty still the job there. Oh, yeah. That is it. That blue and white checker. That's a Chevy, right? Yeah. One ton, or is that a Super Duty as well? Regular cab. 
You're going to see the taillights on it. I could tell you a little better. I think, George, oh, no, I think okay, I'm sorry, just changing batteries on the there might have been a little trickery on the Suburban. Oh, yeah, fake stuck. No, the, no. Fake stack. <laughs> <laughs> fake stack. I think we're just down to some nasty trucks. Wasn't fake stuck. I think he was stuck, and then all of a sudden he got a little <laughs> extra tire <laughs> spin. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> 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 oh. He's bending, he's bending that. Oh, of course, A23, that's, that, I think that's had at least three birthdays. That's been around for a little while. There you go, that minivan's got to be done now. Yeah, but he's, but he's back on the bowling bad. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. That is incredible. Whoa. Wow. That bed is completely folded over to the cab. <laughs> Rear end just laying on the ground. I'm just thinking, digging. I'm thinking he might want to nose out now. I think just don't hit anybody and you might win. 823, just hold on. Oh, well, he got 50, he got Joe and 59 down there. 59's making hits. Oh, on he's got to help him out right here. Watch this. Oh, just stuff him in there oh. and just shut her down. Set her up. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. This is here how you comes. win. Yes. Crowd loves it. Oh, yeah. That's it. Dude, that's an incredible look at a piece of art. <laughs> that is so awesome. break right in half. Look at that truck. Oh, my God. If oh, you ever want to do yourself like, oh, wait a minute. He's gonna. How will my super duty last in a car accident? <laughs> well, pretty well. You can still drive it home back to dinner. There's a, there's a picture you could paint. Sour, we can knock the windows out of yours. Why not? <laughs> it's like stuffing them in there. He's just stacking them up. This is something my. Oh, 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 oh Suburban. Oh, oh. That's Brad Eamon. Oh, Brad boy. Eamon and Brian Eamon. Oh, my God. Look at that frame completely <laughs> broken in half. But the rear end is still thing holding of, on. The thing about it is, is these guys, these guys will junk each other like there's no tomorrow. That's what it's all about, though. You look, know? At, look at this. Wow. He's been, now he's calling oh. it this way. Oh. Like, <laughs> right this is incredible. <laughs> Yeah. He, wants, want. he wants to knock the drive shaft out of it. Probably lock in the hubs at this point. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Wow. No, it's still moving. Oh, my it's God. It's still moving. Dude, that is the winner of the most junk vehicle I've ever seen in my life award. Wow. Have you ever seen anything more junk? Uh, I never, I've seen them junk, but not still drive like that. That is still incredible. Oh. He's there got he a comes. good... He's got a good set of universals in it, I can tell you that. Oh, now man. it's really, this thing's bent six plays a Sunday. Wow. That's the cover of Derby Life magazine right there. Yeah. <sighs> there he comes. Going to do the finishing touches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was that was really cool. Nice. Horn still in it. Well, I'm going to step out of here. Let these guys get <laughs> Dixie, you want to get in here, buddy? <laughs> Boy, what a heat, what a, Thanks, guys. Wow, that, what a heat. that was some entertainment so, right I there. I tell you what. To see you guys in September. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sawa, thank you very much for that paint job, bro. Uh, my thank pleasure. You. I'm thank happy to be a part of the tribute, you know. Yeah, that's Thank you for awesome. including me. Thank you. So, here's Tixie. <laughs> I tell you what, that, uh. Maybe the pace, the pace might not have been like that, the whole, like the Heat 3, but the carnage is definitely there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that car, this truck, this extended cab Super Duty is just trashed. It's so great. The bedside's just flapping in the wind. <laughs> they got their money's worth out of that one, I can tell you that. That was so cool. That was a 7.3 diesel, and you could hear the turbo just screaming in that uh -huh. thing. That was so cool. Yep. Wow. Uh, Who did they get the... You get the mad dog too? We gotta see who got the mad dog. I would think 420 in a minivan for not tying himself in. <laughs> 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 That's a mad dog. I ran down after I got done announcing for Decker. I ran over and I grabbed a cheeseburger and I was racing back up here and then all of a sudden I heard him drop the flag for it. It's like, Dah! I ran right back down to the fence to watch him. It yep. was absolutely awesome. Love the farm trucks out here. Yeah. They just tear stuff up, no doubt about it. Oh, oh yeah. And once these. Let's see what's left. Well, how much is left there? Is there stuff left in there? 
Nice carnage cam there. Uh, Alex Vasco, all for him racing. Good looking stuff right there. I hope he makes his way over here to the Super Duty so you, everybody at home can see it. Yeah, absolutely. Boy, it was fun down there. I got to throw away, throw uh, throw all some T-shirts to everybody. Grab some of the uh, some of the character apparel shirts and had fun with the crowd and stuff like that. It is so fun to go down there and interact with oh, everybody. Yeah. Oh, you had the blast. crowd just screaming. Good job, oh, man. That was yeah. We were trying to get them. I was trying to have fun with it, and that's absolutely what it was. So, um, yeah. Hey, totally apologize about the spam too. I got some messages about that, and let's. Uh, we're trying to correct that, clean that up. So we do apologize about that. But that's completely off of our control. The spam on the, what's the spam on the comment board? Yeah, well, you, you, you the people at home could help us. What is you? You uh, just report it. So you click, you report, and you click spam, and then it stays off for like 15 minutes. Then you gotta, as soon as you see it, if you're on the comment section, don't click on the link. But you can click at the far right, and like you could help us out at home, and. Uh, block and report it yeah exactly. it's the new junk mail and like they figured out how to oh, yeah. feed you junk mail and it's it's terrible yep. well the, the problem of it is they found somebody that has a ton of following they seen that we're doing a good thing and they're they're attacking all of our followers so we apologize about that it's nothing we can do but sour just told you how to help us out and make it better and and uh every little bit would help out we that's greatly that's normally what it. micah and i do while you guys are Mike and I run that, and uh, we jump right on it. As soon as you see the first one pop up, you can kind of click on it and report it as spam. But, you know, those companies pay a lot of money to spam you, so you got to. Oh, yeah, there's, there's hundreds trillion of dollar, trillion dollar companies that are putting that stuff out there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they got, you know, they got, a whole, they got a whole floor of a high-rise building committed to probably 50, 60 people just Load 50 spam or 60, up. 500 or 600, and it's over in a beak waste somewhere. Yeah, you yeah, know? you got that. And we can't compete with that. No. So yeah, it's not. It, no. Yeah, it's not cool. It's everywhere. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah. So coming up after this, now, I, yeah, Bobby corrected me. I got everybody excited, saying this was this next heat, the economy V8 was going to be it, but no. The, after that, there's heat seven and eight of the compact cars. Yes, that's what we got. So in. that's all the that's all the people that didn't pre-register. So they put them in the last two heats, which would be pretty wild. Um, but next coming up is Economy V8. In uh, boy, there's but there are some that I see. There's some listed that. I don't, I don't, I didn't remember going through the tech. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll run down through like it did. Where's our friend at? Where's, when's she running? Uh, heat seven or eight, I think. Oh, she's uh, at the end. Yeah, her and Jared are seven and eight. All right, I have that. Uh, oh, you got the list? But uh, over here's going to be one section right here in front of us. Way over here. I'm going to point to you. Alex Downer. Yeah, Cindy, Cindy is in heat seven. Jared in the seven, too. Look at that truck. Alex is on that thing. Look at yeah, that thing. Is. Just tore apart. Yep. That thing will get him a ton of views right there. <laughs> uh -huh. I can barely hear that. How about down here on this side? Kids over there. Yeah, both Jared and Cindy are in heat uh, seven. eight. Eight? Seven. Heat seven. Seven. Seven is going to be crazy. Yeah, there are 17 cars. And I'm, I like repeat myself with that phrase because I think I've said it every heat. <laughs> and the next, this next heat's going to be crazy. Yeah. The next heat's going to be crazy. People at home are saying, shut the heck up. You said it, every heat's crazy. But it's, they, they have been amazing. I mean, every one of the heats have been good. You know, there may have been a stalled spot in them where they weren't quite as good, but holy crap, did they finish off. Oh Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, this is only day one. Yeah, you know, right. tomorrow is going to be just as intense. What do you say? There's three heats left. Yes. Economy V8 and then Compact Seven and Eight. Which this is going to obviously these they're hauling a lot of iron off the track here. This is like trying to clear like. 30 compact cars with these size trucks. <laughs> wow, especially when they got no steering and they got wheels on the ground. I mean, it's that's yeah. tough stuff, you know. 
Yeah. I mean, everything yeah. that could drive off did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's holy crap! How do we get this off? Right. You know, but hats off to these skid loader operators. They're doing a great job getting them off the end of the track so that uh, uh, you know Groff can pick them and take them away, man. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun. So we gave that raffle uh, Camry away, and uh, Neil, Neil, the kids never derbied before, younger guy, and I mean you couldn't even get a smile out of him. You couldn't get a word out of him. He couldn't get nothing. He looked you know? nervous. Yeah, oh, he most definitely. <laughs> Because he's so. been watching these heats all day long. He's like, what? No, I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, I told him. I said, well, if you're scared, I'll jump in and I'll show you how it's done. He goes, oh, no, I'm getting in <laughs> No, there. I can like, get in it, yeah. Yeah, it was great, so. Awesome. He's better off just picking it up in the middle and seeing if he can bend it back a little bit. <laughs> Give it a little bounce. Might, might flex back a little bit. Oh, that thing is just... Everything's in the dirt. We're talking about that 823 extended cab Super Duty with the diesel in it. That thing was like Ready? just used up here. and abused. Three, you know? two, one. <laughs> Got it. Uh -huh. All right. Bill's telling us to get back again. Yep. Assume your positions. Yep. That's what it's all about. I was taking selfies for the uh, group chat. There you go. <clears throat> <laughs> that way, that way the boss knows I'm working. <laughs> oh, standing next. Proof, <laughs> proof. <laughs> we sent Bobby down to Decker. You know, he's to go let those two have fun with each other down there. Yeah, uh, that's like yeah, sending two. You know, uh, uh, yeah, it's like two alpha males together. <laughs> you hear that? They. No, oh, I, I was gonna say that that diesel fired up. I heard it for a second, and it shut back down. So, is that uh, blue one a diesel too? 541. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's a gasser. Like I said, their favorite thing is the is the five fours. I've seen them run V tens before, it. But he's got them. He's got them. Them Triton motors figured out. You know, not not just running them stock. And, really. Uh, they get. They, I mean, they've been running them for a long time, and they got them figured out, and they love them. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that was good to see. And that's pretty intense, going out there to the minivan versus a Super Duty. You know, that's. Uh, yeah, I told them I wouldn't. There, there's no way I'd be out there. That's some Not in the Florida minivan. stuff. No, I'd be in a truck, <laughs> but I wouldn't be in a minivan. I don't know. I got I got tuned up last year by a minivan. So. Uh, oh yeah. Nice. So, so they're playing. They're playing some trivia here for uh, Crash Burn Love Demolition Derby uh, from Bill up down there. He's got uh, his book down there, and they asked. He said, "How many states in the U.S. have Demolition Derby?" How many states? Yep. How many states? I would say at least thirty. All fifty. All 50, have, all 50 have a demolition Even derby. Hawaii? Yep, they said all 50 states. So that was a trivia question. Mm. So, well, yep. we need to get to Hawaii. Yeah, no kidding. Or Alaska. So, so if you guys are listening out there in Hawaii and you guys put on a demolition derby, I think you should have track shot live at your I'll demolition get on a, I'll derby. I'll get on a plane for that one. Yep. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. He won't get on a plane to come to Minnesota for me, but uh, I guess I he, drive does drive. Out there. he does drive there for me. I so. can't drive to Hawaii. <laughs> you can try. Yeah. You're not going to make it much further than Santa Monica the Pier. The only, re the only reason why I say that is because I hate boats worse than airplanes. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Alaska Derby would be cool, too. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. I want to do a Derby in Mexico. That's my goal for Track Shot Live. Right. What's our city? Monterey. We want to do it in Monterey. Find that pen pal. That, bo that, border, that border crossing thing would be, I don't know if that would be. Well, they do it in Canada all the time. They do it in us, Canada, so, you know, what yeah. What the heck? Yeah. I mean, it's coming back from Mexico. Yeah, I that's think what they say. Getting there is fine. Getting there, yeah. yeah. Letting us back in is another thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're sitting down there. They're talking about this documentary that uh, Bill is doing with Crash Burn Love Demolition Derby. And it is Bill. Uh, 
Lowenberg. Lowenberg. So Sauer is huge into this. He's got a lot of stuff going on. He's devoted a lot of time and everything into it. And uh, talking with Bill and, and getting kind of the rundown on some of that stuff is really awesome, Sauer, to, for you to be part of that. It's, so Bill and I started uh, as artists with this project. We were going to, before COVID, we were going to go on tour, giving a lecture tour about Demotion Derby. I, like, you know, kind of like meeting of forces. So we had organized for the America's Car Museum in Tacoma, Washington. That was going to be our first stop on our tour where I was going to donate a car and Bill was going to bring his book. And uh, that was my goal in life is to donate a derby car to a museum to have in perpetuity, you know. So uh, COVID hit didn't work out he finally called me he hooked up with nfl films and he's like you know in between nfl stuff let's film some demotion derby stuff so uh i gotta give a shout out to my man mike martini because bill's wife was mike's librarian so from that high school stuff uh He's like, Mike's like, yo, you need to check out Sour, uh, what's happening on the other side of the state. And so Bill's like, oh, I already know the guy. So they reached out, and so Bill's like, oh, we got some cameras. And uh, so the first thing I did is I was like, well, let me show you some of my other friends who do a derby, and uh, you know, let's see who all Bill wants to get involved. So his project is... It's, it's not so much what's happening on the track, it's what's happening in the pits. And that's what makes Demotion Derby beautiful. I've been saying this for years. That's the difference between this motorsport from other motorsports. Is in circle track, once your car's broken, you're done for the night, pretty much. You know what I mean? Yeah. But not this. This is specifically designed for you to go back out to the pits and work on your car and bring it back out. That's what makes Demotion Derby. So even if the, your fierce competitor needs a tire and you have a tire, you're going to hook them up because you want to blast them. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Is camaraderie? Camaraderie? Yeah, com camaraderie. Is that, is that yeah, the right absolutely. word? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of, help, like you said, helping out. In, uh, exactly. And so Bill is, like, documenting that stuff. Bill is documenting some of the other stuff I have going on where I'm trying to bring uh, – the young dudes from my neighborhood into Demolition Derby through grant programs. Uh, he's hanging out with Lexi from uh, Demolition Derby Life magazine. He's going next weekend to follow the Sayopas there in Pittsburgh to watch them battle one another. And uh, I'm not sure where it's going to go. I do know he's going to follow me down to Miami to where I show the Demolition Derby car each and every year. Nice. And uh, so um, I'm blessed that they validated my efforts in life. Right. Like, so Bill really has validated my thoughts and desires of having Demolition Derby being a fine art and uh, he's really helping make that happen so yeah, it's you know it's it's different you know what I mean it's, it's much like the most wanted class where it's like what's the entry point into Demolition Derby and I feel like he's documenting kind of that but I, I you know I'm not the editor I'm not sure how it's going to play out yeah, it's a totally different perspective on the way people can look at it you know it's yeah I think I think they're just interested in the lifestyle of demolition derby not like as if it's a reality tv show lifestyle but like the heart and soul of you know what starts these text messages at 5 a.m every single <laughs> yeah, yeah, day yeah, 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 you yeah. know what I mean yeah I know, and I like. I keep telling everybody at home. I'm thankful that Ben waits till five and doesn't start hitting us with the text at four. All right, so I'm appreciative of that. But the other guys are hours away. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Bill, Skinny, Six, all these guys. Yeah. So your six a.m. is still their three. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why their phones are on silent. <laughs> no, I'm not that smart. I'm not. I sleep through it. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> When I do, when I do wake up, it's all right there. I do some catching up. But you know what we're talking about? You know, if crash, burn, love. Gotta show it again here. Oh, changed it. 
I was going to show you a picture of it, but Bill changed it on us. <laughs> Good job, Bill. Way to be part. Way to be part of this uh, this uh, communication level. <laughs> but anyways, like we say, it's Crash Burn Love Demolition Derby. Take a look at it on, and uh, it's 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 a really cool project that he's got going on. And Jason is is amazingly bringing a lot of us into it, and and uh, he's having fun. It's fun. It's like you know, I want to. You know, that's. I just want to showcase everybody. I want, I want everybody to get their little piece of it, and I want them to, you know, because it's all of us that make this sport happen, and it's it's beautiful. And there's only so many of us in this sport, so uh, you know, it's, it's fun that these big cameras even consider what we're doing important or special. So uh, hats off to them. That's that's super cool. Hats off to Bill again on these. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, now you want to put it up there? Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at it. You Bill, busted. Bill wasn't ready. He yeah. wasn't ready. Right there. Take a look at that, you guys. You can find that on uh, all over the place. At Amazon, wherever you know. Yeah, it's on Amazon. Crash, burn, love. Sorry, it's in the packaging here. Uh, I don't want to tear it out, but it's on Amazon. You can find Bill on Instagram, Crash, burn, love. You can find him also. They're on Facebook, but he's been really hammering down on the Instagram, so if you can follow him there, uh, he'd appreciate it. Plus, he wants to hear your story, so you can just send him stories unsolicited, you know what I mean, about your unique derby experience, you know, and I, he's kind of documenting or collecting all those stories. So that's kind of what Demolition Derby was and is it's a word of mouth type of sport we don't really have a record of our history uh in a super organized way um so when we hear about who won dent uh that is you know it's probably still online on what we crash but it's you know i mean it's it's not documented like nascar or anything like yeah. that it's like we're going back to to our favorite memories and it takes a driver or a spectator to remember who you know when fatty won dent when you know toby highly you know it's it's that's the whole thing so yeah, it's it's like uh, jc molly's good friend in long island i mean it, he's in the smithsonian for it yeah you know so it's it's definitely recognized in different areas that you wouldn't even think you yeah who would think that it's it's it would be in the smithsonian you know it's 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 well, great it's, it's great and it's like you said it's a different it's a different way to put it out there different different perception and i think it's i think i it's mean pretty cool actually the demolition derby is a uniquely american tradition just like the rodeo and just like jazz these things were invented in america by americans because we're crazy <laughs> all right we're a wild risk-taking bunch and uh, this is evidence of it, you know what I mean? And I love being a part of this effort. I think it's super cool that, uh, you know, we're out here just smashing cars. Yeah. Yeah, there, probably, yeah, there is, I'd say. We're going to go into a video here uh, from last night from the cornhole tournament that Bill put on. Uh, we're going to take a look at that and see that. This is one of those unique things that Spinning Wheels did here just to bring something new and unique to the Demolition it was. Derby oh, yeah. gathering for family so and fun. People. Yeah, it was a blast. It's like 36 teams. Yeah. yeah. It's like 70 people. I took some photos of and, it. Just It was so amazing. And uh, I had Blaine from California that didn't even know what cornhole was. So um, I came, I came with a handicap. So but does, he, like, does, does he throw horseshoes, though? Yeah, who knows what the hell he throws. I couldn't. <laughs> catch we couldn't catch a break with blaine to save a soul there that's uh i was carrying him the whole way it's like hey blaine great to see you from california but please don't ever be my partner again sir you know you might be good but, at darts you yeah, know what I mean? well, who knows who right. knows uh it's uh what he is good at is promoting i'll give him credit on that so he's he's good at what's important but uh made us look like fools in cornhole last night so <laughs> you're throwing the bags up on the roof yeah i think i think we got like 30 points total from all the games that we played i think he got a negative three so it's like we were going backwards but no it was tons of fun to sit there and party with Blaine and and I uh, see everybody last night in the cornhole and stuff like that and uh, I can't tell you how excited the last group that we played they're so happy that they beat me and it's like seriously it's like you didn't set your standards too high for who to beat here so but Blaine and I had a blast we were um, 
<laughs> laughing and joking and having a good time and stuff like that. And, yeah, when he said that he had never played the game, I'm like, are you serious? Right. So, So yeah. it was double elimination, so you guys played twice. Yeah, we played twice. So, uh, <laughs> and, and, uh, so it was a double elimination twice. <laughs> <laughs> The first game was close. We almost had it, and, and God dang it, next thing you know, they came right up. I mean, we had them. We were, like, at 19, and all of a sudden they come back. Bam, from bam, like, bam. You're over. Like, <laughs> okay, I hate you guys. Yeah. So, All right, Bill, we got that thing ready. Good to play it. Hey, take a look at this cornhole game last night. It was a ton of fun here at Spinning Wheels. Mini Meltdown 2022. What's going on, America? Your boy Decker here. Now we're the night before the Derby, right? And, you know, usually everyone's all stressed out, flipping out and stuff, but not here. We chill out. We like to drink, have fun, socialize. That's one of our big things. And so right here, take a look at this. We have, I think we had almost 50 teams play cornhole tonight. So I thought this was pretty cool. We got some big name drivers in here, right? I know I'm just going to get a little competitive right now. We got trophies and a bunch of money we're giving away. So right now it's chill, but I'm going to assume as it gets a little later, uh, it'll get a little stressed out. Now let's get over here. Tixie, as we know, he's not an athlete. He's not an athlete at all. And we're going to watch him not be an athlete because it looks like they're losing right now. Let's just watch this throw. Get in the hole! Bill. <laughs> Are you too good for the hole? <laughs> okay, see, this is why we this is why we don't let him talk. Here it is. That is typical ticks. Tick. I got, I, got, I got one in the hole. Real quick, Ticks. As we're watching here, America watching, and we know that you're not an athletic man. How are you thinking you're going to win this? What are you talking about not athletic? Look at this body, man. I am full around. You look a lot like Mario from Mario Brothers. <laughs> He's got some hey. short little legs. Hey, we're at 13-15. We're on a comeback right here. We're going to do this stuff. Blaine from California. He's got a Blaine. Blaine, come on. <laughs> Pull that stuff. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Geez. Okay, so as you guys are seeing, like we're just starting off. This is the first round, and I think, again, we have 50 teams, so we're going to have a bunch of rounds tonight. But free beer for everybody. That's what I'm coming out next. We're going to give everybody a little free beer. Ooh, these guys are getting close. Then we're going to go back and do some tech. We're going to tech tonight till about 11 o'clock. Everyone will get a little tired, and we're going to be back tomorrow for 6 o'clock in the morning tech. Cool raffle car over here we're giving away. Apparel tent. This place is going to be absolutely jamming tomorrow. We'd love for you to come. If you ever want to come to a big derby in New York, Mini Meltdown in San Felipe, right here at Morris, New York, come hang out with us. This is how we hang out. Size as it fit everyone. And is this not a beautiful place? Oh, it absolutely is. I mean, you look all the way around, you got nothing but green mountains, beautiful trees. We got a beautiful covered grandstand, so if a little bit of drizzle hits, everybody's comfortable in that. And you know, the one thing of it is, is you know, that one size fits all, but we also have real men sizes, the men for loving. We do, because we're uh, fed very well where we're from, and we're proud of it. So we have sizes to fit everybody, everybody out there, from smalls to 5X. Come if you're at the show, hit us. <coughs> Sorry, hit us up. Sorry, I was choking a little bit because, uh, you know, I love this. So hit us up. Come here. If you're not, get online, order a shirt. Free 99 for tonight. What is it? One o'clock Eastern time. We go live for Mini Meltdown 2022. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, the funnest thing about this whole thing here, you guys, you can buy this stuff online. You can get it at trackshotlive.com, go on the swag, get on the shop button. But you know what? The one thing that you will miss is the personal interaction. You come to these shows where Trackshot Live is, you get to meet the guys from Trackshot. I mean, they're not, not the coolest guys in the world, but, hey, I'd send a Christmas card to them. Speak for yourself. I think Sauer and I are cool, cool. You know, we're not as cool as you and Skinny. Definitely not up there with Decker. But Sauer and I are pretty freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you guys. But, hey, don't forget, you do get to see the live action right there in your home for free 99 all the time. But please do not forget, come to these shows, see it in person, meet the guys, be part of the interaction, and just enjoy the show live. You know what, Bill? Give them a pan. Let them see what Sauer's got shaking. That is the part of the live action right there that you miss out not being here in person. All right, you guys, Track Shot Live 2022, we're having a blast. I appreciate you guys for supporting us, and we, we got to act good because our boss is here. He just showed up. He can fire us. So, <laughs> so please come with us. Please follow us today. Please watch 1 o'clock Eastern, Spinning Wheels, Mini Meltdown 2022. Bam. And there we go. 
You guys, right. you want apparel like that, go to trackshotshop.com. Trackshotshop.com. And here we go. We have the Academy V8s coming out now, Ben. Yeah, we got tough. Uh, this is going to be a good one, guys. The guy, Anthony Williams out of Walton, New York. I know, 114A. The Austin Williams, 115. Benjamin Good, West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, or Maine. 96. Brian Tompkins out of Waterloo, New York, 68. Brian, Brian, Brian's been running a long time. Uh, Brian Fairchild, Walton, New York, 824. Candace Westmoreland, Alden, New York, 24. Chris Carey, Canton, Maine, 628. Chris Musto, uh, out of Maine, 14. Cody Bradbury, New York, 23. Jamie Dustin out of Malone with the double zero. He's got the orange. He's got the orange suey. Uh, Jamie St. Mary Malone, uh, number 45, which I don't know if Jamie made it. Jared Skilling, 75. Uh, Taylor Brockton, uh, and the number three. Tim McCauley out of Rockland, T7. And Travis Seward, the number 12 out of Long Alley, Eddie. There's a... Uh, a wide mixture of cars. We have old three and newers. We have uh, Metric old Caddy, iron, Metric old Caddy, iron. Sueys, Atzel. So it, it's it's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. That 508 a hammer time is a beautiful, beautiful. I think it's a 72. Oh, you would do. Yes. Yes. God, that thing is it's gorgeous. Nice. It's nice. And it's. It didn't look rusty underneath. <laughs> it's, 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 it's pretty. It's pretty. It's from the inside out. It's it's good. It's nice. When you didn't even see a pinhole in the quarter panel, it's like that thing looks so weak. This the Sui, is, the Sui is pretty clean too. What's this thing right here pulling in? This orange car number That's eight. Suicide. Suicide Lincoln. Wow, Josh just heard me. And that was a fresh. He just had a small block Mopar. He just had freshly built. First run on it. Wow. <laughs> Look yeah. out for that old three that's backing in along that, that suey right there is my jam. That thing is nice up front. Uh, Ryan Osterhand. Yeah, I car you ran last year here. Fetchel, I mean, it, it's a good car too. Um, that's a pretty run. And you got beers over there and a beautiful paint job. And then Travis Sewer pulling in and his. I love it. That's a, that's a, that's a, what I'd say, a hybrid. That's a? No. Oh. No. That's a nice paint job. Yeah. Yeah, there's, they got some really, really nice airbrushing artists down this way. With Hippie, yes, oh, hippie yeah. and Beers and uh, Hanson. Yes, they are. Yeah. A lot of great artists. This. This has potential to get real wild. You're gonna get a feel out stage here in a minute for a minute. Wings is they wanna get Nice shot by the Exo right away. Them fours are low enough to get right in that steering. Yeah, they are. Hammer time, the 628 hammer time. Lost the drive shaft. Got the slider laying on the ground already. There's the Stewie oh. coming in. <laughs> nice. The Williams boys put her down. Oh, red flag, red flag. <laughs> There's some loud motors yeah, out there. Is. There's oh, yeah. some barkers. LS is on methanol. You gotta love it. I told you, it's gonna be nasty. These engines are naughty, naughty, naughty digits. Up 
<laughs> Decker's out there bagging on Gully about blowing up ends. And yeah, yeah. I think he's blew up about everyone this guy has ever had. Exactly. Yeah, he, he, he buys them to use them, so. <laughs> Going down the back. Yes, it is. Nice. That Etzel front frame broke loose. Got that yeah. bumper dangling. Yeah. It certainly is. That looks worse than just the bumper hanging. Tranny. Oh, 92, just took a hard shot, got the hood completely bent sideways. Stewart just blasted him. That, that 71 Buick's in an awkward position right there. Yeah, he's getting used up in that parallel spot. that front door coming right off of number five. All right, that's 71, number 508, broken stick. I think 92's got a steering problem. Hasn't been able to really get out of that corner. Oh, there we go. As soon as I say it. That's all you need me to do is say it. Six, the 68 at Tanning or Thomas is looking really good. Nice work. Get him. That whole front frame of that Etzel broke off. The whole yeah. front frame in front of the bucket broke off on that thing. Oh, look at it, it's gone completely. Yeah, the bumper's just sitting sideways underneath there. The number 23 of Bradbury over there is looking really good in that 73 Impala. The suicide number eight still, still running. Got a left front tire that's pushed back. Something's wrong now. There you go, Brian. Push him right to the other end. Look at the rear tire just spinning on that car. I love it. Oh, 23 coming in hot. Bradbury. Number eight, now Orange Suey coming in tight. Paralleling up, putting him in the wedge. There you go, there you go, there you go. Little private battle going on down here between Tank and Stewart. I think they're tired of battling with each other. Nope, guess not. 
Oh! Woo! Number 92 of Feichel just working this corner, back and forth. Staying in the game, beating up on this Etzel. Uh-oh, your suicide looks hot in that fresh motor. Yeah. What do you think? Refired. Looks like stalled again. Alright, looks like we're down to five. Good shot. That bent that all three. Yeah, it did that all three left in a bit. There's a shot. There you go. There, there you go. go. Great shot. Heck yeah. I think 92 has lost the transmission. Got a corner. Him. Just missed that bumper and he got into the wheel a little bit, but he didn't get it enough. All right, then we're down to four, gentlemen. The suicide number eight, Seward, and that. Bubble top forward. Gotta get them all threes from the side. There you go, Brian. Good shot. Good shot. Travis lose a tranny. Yeah. Travis, you lost a tranny. Tough break. Yeah. The car was looking amazing. Come on, lay into it. Yeah. Heck yeah. I love it. Could, could be anybody, these four cars. I don't know, stick. Come on, Dustin, hit them, hit them. There you go. Number Stalled out. Suicide. Not oh, back in. Got Travis on the, clock, on the there. clock there. Oh, we, got, sure. we got like stalling out. We got go. like two and a half cars running now. Tompkins got himself stuck on Taylor. There you go. Now he's free. That pointy bumper on that car is making it above the other car bumpers and into the radiator. Ryan stalled. They're fired up. Mopar's high. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to count to 20 and then try her again. Yep. Let the flames settle. Oh, he's, he's bending that pointy up. Good. Settle down, count to about 10 and try it again. There you go. Uh oh. Okay. 
Oh, here we go. Oh. Staring's going south now. Yeah, things are locking up a little bit on the suey. Yeah. We're down to two. Officially. Ah, that's a good run, Brian. Had a good run. Methanol setup he's got. What's that? Ostrihander's on methanol. He keeps stalling out every time, so I don't know if he's got the float drawn or what. Well, whatever he did, he made the last hit at least right now. There you go. You don't want to get over there. Guess what I'd do right now. <laughs> exactly that. This is this is driver here. What's gonna happen? Both of them stall. Both are stalled. Both are stalled. Look at this thing. He's got him tight. There ain't no way to. Oh man. Can that orange one fire one one more time for Jesse That's a tough call. What are they gonna call on it? What are they gonna call? Oh he's smoking that in there now. He's burning wires up. Really he was fighting that hot girl and she kept fighting the back. Stuck. You know the thing of it is, he's making movement on that car. On uh, what? Uh, uh, Ostrander is making a hit, and he's making the tires on the eight car move. You know? That's the definition. Where if you do that, or if you have to separate for contact. You gotta say. I mean, that's you know he made. You know that's, that's yeah. a tough one. That's a position you don't want to be in. At all. That's the crappiest, most ending you could have yep. in a derby right there. That's it. Who's the winner here? I'm going to let the officials talk. And <laughs> I just don't want to say oh, that wow. because I might. Because, because, yes, Ryan was running at the end there. That was but a tough break for Brian. I'm telling you, we, he'd been, eight, we used to run five, together five, years and years and years ago. Five, we were damaging. We ran together all the time, and uh, that was a good run for him right there. What a battle, though. Let's get that Tell me that class wasn't nasty. That motors weren't just nasty out there. Mm -hmm. Woo. Nice. Williams, man, they had. There's some cars that I thought were going to be there at the end, boy. They had some tough brakes. Yeah, certainly. Williams yeah. boys, they had tough brakes. One was a tranny. I know that. That one was was having tranny problems. Mm -hmm. The show number 92, Fico. Was probably one of my favorite paint jobs of the weekend so far. Got Space Ghost on there. Space Goat. Space Goat. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Plus the track shot live on the roof. We still we still don't know how this thing is we going. We don't know yet. how it's going to end. Win. But man, I was pumped up. I thought that was the last heat. Well, we got two more heats of compacts. Yeah. Which are going to be just exciting. Mm hmm. Got to be. <laughs> Let's see here. They got first and second. Buell's got the trophies in his hand. Decker needs you to pump up the crowd for the last two. They gave it to eight. The Suey got number one. Did Paul Strander got second. Hey, that's a tough call that's to make. There it is. Boy. That was a good heat. Good oh run. Oh, my gosh. That was good awesome. Run. 
Yes, that was very good. Those cars are uh, pretty good. All right, too. Decker's hollering at me to come back down, like, you know, hey, I need a break. I need a break. Well, I go from here to there to give him a break. I don't You're understand that. You're not stop talking. You ain't getting a break. <laughs> yeah, all right. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be ghosted. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go down and take care of LD and make sure that he's okay there. So, yeah. all right, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, Enjoy. 60. LD lost, right. lost Decker. <laughs> Oh, that was an excellent heat. Oh, I enjoyed myself. Mike. Mad Dog Cody Bradbury is our Mad Dog. Bradbury gets the Mad Dog in that heat. That's pretty cool. Born and raised. I love it. Some good demolition derby down there. I enjoyed it. Alex Vasco with the Carnage Cam. Yeah, there's uh, there's definitely some carnage down there. Stuff got bent. Mm-hmm. For sure. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful day. There's a little bit of rain. Hey, this is Morris. You you're gonna learn. You, you, the weather forecast could be like 90s and no rain for weeks, and you're gonna come down here and you get a rainstorm. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they, this place is not, like, in sync with any type of weather forecast at all. No? It's, yeah, it's it's so unpredictable. It certainly is. Oh, that one-ton van driving around the track. That's interesting. <laughs> Only in reverse, though. Oh, yeah. No tires. <laughs> they, probably brought, they probably brought the semi to bring them. I mean, there's that big red semi out there. No, nah, that's, um, I think that's, so, uh, there's the yes, gold semi. They're out the grass, I think. When was the last time you drove a demolition derby car, Ben? What's that, Jason? When was the last time you drove a car? I remember you built that car, car, actually a car, car. It's been a couple years. Yeah, I mean, you built that really tough car. Whatever happened to it? It's at Josh's house. Is it? Yeah. Yep. So I sold it to him, and then uh, with the with the option to buy it back when he got done with it. So. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Where at is it at in his place? Is that in a tarp somewhere? No. How did I miss it? Is it, oh, it's, is it a, a yard? It's, it's the other green New Yorker, Y frame New Yorker. It oh. should be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it's not there, then it's already gone. So I don't I don't know what the deal is. But. Huh. Yeah, I remember you were building that for a while there. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a tight ride. What, uh, It'll what, be a fun ride, that's for sure, whoever runs it. What did you build it for? Like what? I built it for the hometown show that I actually took it to, and then some cars didn't run that were supposed to run, so I didn't end up running it. Hmm. So it was an apples-to-apples apples type build, and I wasn't going to take a bazooka to a glass factory more, you know, mm -hmm. to put it in perspective. Oh, nice. That was kind of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's uh, you can't really hold your head high about that <laughs> when you go out there and, and you know and do stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. 15, 20 years ago, if you were to ask me that, it'd probably been a different answer. But that was a different time, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know. But. Was this your first teching of the season, or have you teched other shows yet this uh, season? Uh, yeah, I think this would be the first one. Yeah. You have. Yeah, it would have been the first one. You have any other? Uh, list of tech that you got coming up? Uh, just, well, the, you know, spinning wheel shows, you know, San Felipe will be the other one. Um, and then you got, um, uh, Tixie show in Minnesota. Ro I'm sorry, I'm jumping in here. I'm, uh, thank you. I can't, thank you guys for doing all the work, man. <laughs> I know yeah, Ben has yeah. been up since five, just killing it for I, us. I had to give, uh, I was telling, I was up here, I'm giving Brian kudos that was a great run for him yeah you know he did a very good job ben on the screen here you guys are looking at the the old edsel of mm -hmm. beersy and yep. on the first hit ben the rails broke yep have you ever 
Was it in a weld spot, or did it actually I, break apart? Is there I, a weld in there? I'd have to look. I'd have to go down there and look, actually. But I seen him lose his bumper, and I was like, But okay. it wasn't the bumper. No, and yeah. then I got looking again because he, when he's going by, and I'm like, wait a minute, there's a lot of frame room. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I've never seen that, Ben. You know, you know how you bought – you know how Anthony – bought that one old truck and built yeah in the theory behind that yep the year yep now I, I i'm not saying anything you know anything or anything else but yeah you are let's hear it those type <laughs> that type of yeah, it's really funny i'm sitting down here listening the reason why he bought that type of truck because things. of the, the material yeah, correct that possibly could have been beer. the issue with that good call man because yeah, it was made into that yeah, I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Yeah. That, go, that goes back to the what, what is it? It's the yeah. That's that would be my guess. But that, that car was it could, very but clean. It could, but it could also been. It could have also been. I mean, it was a hard built, very hard, well built car, and it could have just been. Um, with the way the shot was taken, and it could have fractured the walls. I sure. Mean, it's, I mean, these they're nasty cars out there. Mm-hmm. Ben, there's some really hard. That that division's getting harder and harder, right? Yeah. I mean, there's there in that class. There's there's a couple things, a couple gray areas that he's going to clean up. Obviously, he can't. He's not going to clean it up this year. You know, he's not going to do that to the drivers. Um, well, as you know, next, sometimes people get through sometimes people think out of a box farther than you ever thought well right and you got to clean it up well yeah i mean it, there was something that got it, i seen it's it. just yeah <laughs> yeah and it's, it's I, you got us yeah you got us and and kudos to him yes you know kudos to him we congratulated him on that and uh don't bring it back well it's it's, it's we understand that, and that's where you found it and yep. exploited it. So next year, <laughs> there, it, you know, it won't be an issue. Maybe it won't be economy. Well, no. Right. We'll just, come up with just, a different word. Just that, just that, <laughs> that particular section won't be an issue. Right, um, right. It'll be resolved. But, no, we've got a lot of great, great heats today. They've been I, great. I've been telling everybody, next heat's going to be awesome. Next heat's going to be great. Next heat, mm-hmm. it's like everybody at home is probably saying you Dumbass, he was telling us that every heat. You, you know, know, it was oh. crazy, though, Ben. Heat number one was, like, a little slower than usual for us. And heat number two, two just out. sent it oh. to the park. I mean. But, but was, everybody's saying the next one right. is going to be yep. off, That's off, intense. off the chain. But the farm trucks. Jeez. Wow. Dude, rolling on the side, up in the air. I mean, these guys have no fear. No fear. And you're gonna you're gonna watch this back, and you are going to laugh because I came up with a new nickname for Joe. Okay, I love it. Tahoe Joe. Tahoe. Okay, Tahoe that's Joe. Good, that's perfect. Tahoe for him. Joe. That's his new nickname. <laughs> and I told him that just I told him that this morning, and he started laughing. But he was sunning it. Oh, oh it was if he didn't lose it, if he didn't lose that wheel. No, oh, I think he could have won it. Well, he would have been Mad Dog. Did he win Mad Dog? Uh, no, I don't think no, so. I don't think so. No, he didn't. Then you got Eamon's, Eamon's brother with his. Ben, that <laughs> Ford, right? Have you ever seen one Ben like that? No. And that dry shaft, I was watching it dig dirt. Yeah. It was in it digging like a yeah. roll, like a like a path. Dude, like, it God, was, it was awesome. It yeah. was super cool to I, watch. I was hoping dirt. when it come down to the two that that white one actually ripped it right off. Would have been a great ascending. Oh, ever. I think I think if you would have if flaggers at the if Jeremy would have said yeah one more time. Oh, he could have pulled gonna, it out. Oh, I think he was going to blister him. You know, they, they don't, they don't so get, they don't get many chances. You know, to, to get down to one another like that, and that's and that's I was telling everybody that that's it's a whole family, and in that group, just they love their trucks, they love their super duties, and they got them figured out. That's a good truck to smash. <laughs> if you're watching, I'd love you guys to share it out for us. I, I love the fact that you guys at home right now are watching New York, where Ben and I are from. We're you know, when we were younger, Ben, no one cared about what New York was doing. But come on, right? Oh, no. Come on. No. Well, my These friend, guys are killing it. it was more my like friends in w- Pittsburgh are watching. They're commenting. They awesome. said that Ford needs to go on a Super Duty commercial. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was just saying. I feel safe sending my family home in that truck. Yep. Yeah, the totally million, right. <laughs> the Million Mile commercial. Yeah. yeah. A million miles on it. That's what I did do it. Uh-huh. A million blasts. Two that more heats to go. It's our final two, and and we get to get we get to get out of here at a good time. Come back in the oh, morning, and, and I think our friends our friends in this heat, right, Cindy? Yeah, it's her and Jared. Nice. Uh, Jared, tough break for Jared. He was supposed to be he was building the economy V8 to run two, 
and uh, he had that fire at Dead Man. Well, right. Really so and basically, um, nice something what was up with the harness because they went, they put the motor in and hooked everything up, and nothing. Ugh. So uh, it's, you, ain't don't, you don't feel like chasing them one. Oh, no, no, that's no, tough. No, no, yeah, right, no, no, right. No, no, no. So it, it's he did. They just brought two compacts and they love they love their compacts. So earlier today, when that big fire happened, uh, wow. Jack Bucknam was on, you know, and he was in the car. I seen him find a steering wheel. I went running, right? Jumped jumped over the barrier. I landed so bad on my ankle, like a, like a like I'm a 60 year old man, dude. I'm right now. I can't even walk. I'm being serious. My ankle is the size of my head, so it's huge, and I'm I'm hurting unit right now. And I can't. I realize I can't run and jump. Yeah, oh yeah. I definitely can't hurdle. Oh. <laughs> and I won't do that again. But I that hate, hate seeing people on fire. You yeah, know, that was chewy. I think they got in. That was an him. incredible fire. It was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, that uh, the Shuey car was like right on top. Yeah, he, to just sheared something off. Or oh, know, is that what happened? Yeah, and those well, those guys run them st the stock motors in them. So he was so deep into them, he had to fracture something, and then just that high pressure, like Tixie was saying, high pressure fuel. Dude, the ball of fire was so hot. Tough break for the Williams boys too. They had some bad mechanical problems. Tranny on the 115 Oops, lost reverse. It lost reverse. Yeah, I could hear it down yeah. there. He had everything but reverse. His rear rail got bent ba real bad. Mm. Went the other way. I mean, they had, they were, the LSs for some reason are just. Oh, they uh, sound juicy. Oh. Which, in Ford's defense, they got Gokenauer that plays around with the, with the four Ford, sixes, yeah. with the four sixes yeah. and, the, and the Coyote motors that they yep. run. So it's like, them things are nasty too, so. Well, yeah, this, this is going to be. Uh, they got everything just about cleaned off, I think. Ben can, or uh, Bill, can we flip out to the track, please? Yeah, we got Beers' car is the only one left. Can we flip out to the track, sir? Go to the track. Yeah, we got Beers' car left. Actually, so two more to go. Two compacts. Again, now, so th just America, so you know. We like to have people pre-register, and most of our classes fill instantly. This class we had over 80, I think we were at 90 pre-registered, but you're allowed to show up. You don't have to come. Now, if you pre-register, we give you a free mini meltdown shirt, and it's 100 bucks. If you show up today, you don't get a shirt, and it's 150 So we And we put you in the final heat. So we really penalize for just showing up today. We got two full heats, 40 of them shows up. Yeah, 40, see that. You, you know? 17 in this heat and 12 in the last Jeez. heat. Okay, okay, so it did get, we did lose some. Okay, that's good. Because originally they were telling me 20 and 20, and I'm like, guys, well, I'm why are 40 by dudes what showing you, up this you day? You texted me the yeah. photo, so yeah, 17 that's correct. and 12. Yeah, that's correct. All right, I'm going to go jump down. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah. Hi. I'm, hurt. Missed, I'm kind of hurt you right up here. Now, so. <laughs> you got to go sit on a golf cart I'm and gonna. put your foot up. I, I'm going to. Um. No more oh. merch for the rest of the weekend. What do you mean? Did you say she's shutting down? The just for tonight. Oh, for no, tonight. No, she just lo lo locks it. Tomorrow we'll, tomorrow we'll have another line just like that. We're almost completely sold out of mini melt on 500 shirts out the door. Dude, that's it's amazing. I'm always impressed, Josh Decker, by how much merch Thank you. you guys get through. That's yeah. very respectable. It's my uh, wife. It's my wife and her friends because they kill it. They do they an excellent job. Yeah, they run that thing like a Swiss watch. They really her. do. It's, my old lady don't take no crap. If you know her, she, <laughs> she doesn't care what you're saying. No, Trust me, she don't no. care what you, you can tell her anything. She ain't listening to you. She, she cares about me. She does love you. It's very nice. I mean, you're a millionaire. And when you are, you know, because you're balling out of control. Right. And when you become a millionaire, I'd still like to be your friend. <laughs> can we do stuff together? Uh, I'm not going to change anything. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know you won't. <laughs> Is Tix making fun of Bobby? Yes. What's, what's the story going to be? He's, he's telling a maxed out credit card story? Oh, my gosh. Bobby's credit card was maxed after buying a whole round, a whole bar of drinks. Uh -huh. <laughs> what a great story. <laughs> oh, what a great story. That's right. It happened the next morning with breakfast, too. <laughs> nice. Oh, he got you, Bob. Oh, he bu busted him. 
it's funny. I um, when Tick said he was coming out, like I love having Ticks because <laughs> yes, people love him. My crowd loves Ticks. You know, when oh, people are coming up saying like he's so good. Oh yeah, you should hear how they respond to him. Oh, they love him. Mm -hmm. They love him. It's it's beautiful. They've yeah, been he's... working five minutes trying to break that rest of that front end off. <laughs> yeah, it's piling on Bob time now. That's a. Uh, oh, that's impressive. What a. Yeah, the weather has just turned to something beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. We're all going to get to chill here in a little bit, just yeah. hang out together. And that's great. Yeah. It's, uh, I'll paint some more. It'll I, be lovely. I dare you. I think I you should have put you. the front of that on a diet. Yeah. That had probably had a big part of it. Too yeah. much tire? Yeah. No. Too much bumper? The, that's, that's a lot of bumper. That's a lot of that's, bumper. That's heavy. Oh, now I see pointy things on compacts. Uh, it doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> no. It doesn't mean it's right. No. Uh, it's beautiful watching it being drug off there. Who who paid? Hip and dub. Hip, hip, hippies, nope. Other. His, hibs and dibs is hippie and his wife, girlfriend wife. Oh, okay. I thought that was him and his. No, his bro brother does the whole thing okay, on his own. Bro, okay, okay, nope, okay. Nope, All nope. right. It just happened to be that hippie was so far behind. I was just yeah. Uh, he, you know, he got it. And it's beautiful, you know. Oh. <laughs> that ticks. Ticks is just me. He's nailing it. I love him. I might not come tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. If I didn't show up tomorrow, I don't even know if people would be like, eh, you know, Tix was really good, Josh. And, you know, Buell would be like, I think we're going to hire Tix from now. Mm -hmm. I think be like, <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking about Where the, were you, Josh? Yeah. We are talking about the compact. Like the here. kid that won the compact car, he's a little nervous. Oh, yeah. He's never derby. Dude, he's watched all these heats all day long. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you can see the, he's like. A, he's, yeah. he's, at the, he's at the pucker status right now. Oh, he's puckered up. He's, all like, back. he's like, oh, no. <laughs> is he on right now, or is he the very last heat? I believe last. Yeah, I think, yeah. That's, that was going explains why the car hasn't moved. Yeah, he's out there with uh, Dallas. Junkie. Yeah. Junkie. <laughs> yeah. It's, he's in a bad one. To be honest, there ain't a good heat to be in here, right? No, right? It's, it's like, you want less cars? I like less cars because you could get movement. The yeah. problem is you're getting smoked more. Oh, the, you're taking that one shots. Heat, that one heat, it was, they were like figure eight racing. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Adrian's heat. Yeah. Adrian. They were just trying to set up for the yes. longest track yes. shot, awesome. and everybody was setting up for the longest track shot only to whiff. I love that, right? <laughs> yeah. How many pot spots in the country do guys line up for the biggest shots they can take? You know? The one car that said the one that had baby on board. Yeah. He wasn't in the list. The okay was, car was Hobart. I'm not Whit sure. Whitman. But that's like the straightest car and compacts that come out of the heat oh. that I've seen. That thing is like cherry fresh. But I'm sure from up here. I'm sure you go out to pits. He's probably there's probably some ripples in some places where he didn't expect. There were some real bent stuff. There's stuff that ain't gonna make it back. No, and it, it, I was very shocked at the percentage of people that didn't use all their plates. What all is? I think tomorrow? people are on learning curve this weekend, right? There's a big learning curve because we allow. Just so I'm sure you guys talked about it, but we're allowing fixed yep. plates for the first time, and yep. it, it, a lot of drama started in it. You know, some guys are old school. I'm, I'm. I'll be honest. I'm personally the one that was like, nah. I was outvoted because I like the old school, but um, it's been great action today, right, Ben? Yeah. And what's your thoughts on it? I, Tell me, please. I'd like. Well, to. I like it because they used. They, you didn't get 100 percent of people slapping plates on. You had the old school guys, like you were saying. I know where this car is going right. to bend with right. no plates on it. Right. And on compacts, are right up so, front. So yeah. run it through, and then if it after it bends, now I'm going to put my plates on. Yep. You know, and then you got the guys that are like, eh, yeah, I want to, that's a good idea. I don't want to get smoked by a car with four plates on it already. So I'll put two plates on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were seeing that too? Two plates. Okay. Take it out. Okay. Whatever happens, now I still got two, two plates to monkey with. Um, because it, it's a very strict plate rule. I mean, it has oh, to yeah. be a four by four plate. It has to be separated. It can only go on the frame or only on the body. 
it can't connect the bow. Right. Great you call on that. You cannot manipulate the pit plate at all. If you cut it, what you cut off leaves. It's gone. Right. It's gone. So there was a couple guys that bent their plates, and they lost the whole plate. Oh. If you have, if you manipulate or or basically work the plate roll. You don't get to cut the one edge or whatever. It's you gone. Lose the whole Great. I, good job, guys. So good job, man. So good um, job. So yeah, it, it was. I think it's. I, I think it'll catch on. Can I think you? people that are like, eh, I think the people will be like, eh. Okay. Well, they're not all getting smoked, right? This only, weekend, it's it's only it's only two plates per. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. two plates per side, or or you know four plates total, and you're only four by four, in. Uh, so let me ask you, right? These compacts that get bent up, they're bent right at that sub mount in the front. Right. Would you try pulling them down and sticking a plate on it, or would you put the plate on the bend? I would. I mean, really? I'm well, they're so tinny. I mean, so I'm tinny. not a compact guy, so it's like I might be thinking way off base, but I, I would don't be know like, if I've ever watched a compact I'd guy be, pulling them down. I, I might, you know, not like yank it right back down straight, but my thought would be just pull it down some. Yeah, get the plate on it. Plate, let it release. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm. I might be 100 percent wrong. Guys are probably saying right now, "Ben, you're stupid." You know, you don't run, you don't know how to build compact cars. So <laughs> Which you're saying fine. I'm right. fine with it. Which I'm saying that already. So uh. there's Jared, Cindy. Yep. Cooter got Cooter with the cow on the roof. Nice. Dells. I'm gonna jump down and send somebody up. Okay, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you, guys. Yeah. Um, you guys have the you have the picture for these heats for the names. So. Certainly do. Thank yeah, sour cover. I got it. Oh wait, actually, I might have a. Read. Oh, that'd be even better. No, I gave it to Tex. Yeah. There was green sheets. I gave it to Tex. <laughs> all right, love you guys. Thank go you for all your help. Foot, go put your foot up. Bobo. Bobo. Bobby Brockway back up here from going down there and Tixie razzing you. Oh, I love it. I love Tix. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the us getting into small T-shirts that are frozen? Did you hear that challenge? No, I didn't. So it was for San Filippo, Mike Gilbert, myself, and Tix are going to have a contest and who can get into a small shirt faster. Frozen. Huh. Small frozen. shirt. Ha. That's, that's, that, that, that's harder than what it looks. I got in a medium, and that was rough. <laughs> and uh, the loser has to put a hundred dollars. I love it. They're going. Oh, there goes. Oh, 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 oh they put oh, the bells up on the barrels. Thanks for playing. Oh, he's, he's oh, coming, coming down. down. It's front wheel drive. Man, there's a lot of space now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Red flag. Red flag. Exhaust pipe. Huh. All right. It's first. I was bet that was a little hot. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't touch it. Yeah, I'll just picture one of them uh, egg treads catching that thing. We, we got, got two. We're down. We're down two already. The, the 288 down. 48, 288. 607 and the 288. Down here to 55 in the front. He's another Ontario guy. Oh, don't be sitting sideways, Cindy. Come on. I think that Sheldon, Sheldon Whitman, I think, is in number four. Yeah, Whitman. Tucker Ryan, 44. Yeah. It was, it was 57. Oh, oh, Kamikaze with a shot. Good shot there, Graham. Oh. Wow, she just got laced and her stick is broke. Wow. Man, I don't want to see her break her arm again. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. She's getting jacked all around. Yeah, right. Jared got his bell rung too. Yeah, yeah. Jared's holding his head. Woo, there's some pillar parking then. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow, these cars are working each other over. Uh, nobody's paying no attention to sticks. I red know flag, that. red the flag. Bumper out there. Bumper Too around. Nobody, nobody's paying any attention to sticks. I know that. All right. Oh, she's holding her arm again. Is that the same arm that she hurt last time she that's, was here? Yeah, she broke. That's the uh, arm. In, no, she broke her right. Oh, she's holding her left this time. Yeah. Oh, come on. Jared got. Blistered. She got. She got waylaid, and she had her stick broke. Yeah, she is. She's making her way, like gone, gone. Yeah. Jared's shoulder. Jared's on the ground. Oh no. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> I'd be pissed too. She was out for a little while, and they came down and smoked oh, her like half track. They laced her. Yeah, she is walking back to the pits, not happy. She doesn't know that Jared's down. No. My heart's in my chest for both these two right now. Yeah, now he's like, where's she at? Hey. Demolition no, Derby can be dangerous. Well, that's it. I'm telling you, these things. Don't try this at home, kids. These cars are stout, boy. <laughs> yeah, right here underneath supervised individuals. Dr. Brockway. Bobby, they're really letting you have it down there with your credit card. It's the truth, though. You were at the gas station this morning and seen it happen. I did. Oh, out. There it goes. Out. out the end of the gate. There you go. Dallas is done playing around. He's, wow. sending, it, he's sending him out of the track. That's just flying everywhere. That's not Dallas in the car, though. That's Flynn. Dallas is in the next. He's in the next seat. Who is? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. They're uh, setting. Oh, and we're gone. They said oh, this is going to be a crazy heat. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, I said that <laughs> on everyone. <laughs> it is. It is crazy. Oh, my God. Get them forks out of there. The wagon of Chris still looking pretty good, number 30. Forty-four Ryan making a lot of noise out there. Love it. Women struggling. Might be done. I think we're down to five. Just like that. Will we take the top two, right? Even in these other classes? I think so. I didn't know if they punish them even more and only take one, you know? Chris, head of steam in that wagon. Full throttle. Oh, oh right into nice the wheel. wheel shot. There goes the radiator hose. Oh, that's Mike Green. 
in the number 22, the one-way car. Making a case for Mad Dog for certain. Oh, oh right, oh, in the door. right in the door. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, wow. I, Nobody's I, seen it. Yeah, I kind of drove into it, but I don't want to say that. Like, it was like, probably could have pulled back a little. You know? I don't want to say anymore. That happened really fast. That was a tough shot. Oh, the back of the wagon. Yeah, it's full. He's going to put it right in the dirt. Oh, Definitely. Still a lot of front end left. That's 22 of green out there just going back and forth. 44 is Tucker Ryan. Tucker Ryan with a good shot on green. All four cars still sound healthy. Oh yeah. I don't I don't hear anything really lagging down there. All their all their fronts are pretty clean. Uh, That's Jason Chris in the wagon. Oh, man. Oh, that <laughs> just humped just it up. They're just tearing that thing apart. Wow, that wagon. Wagging. Wagging <laughs> is, I would like to think it's toast, but uh, that's just the back of the car. <laughs> toast. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to get a run. Green. Green's coming around, searching for a shot. But the crowd comes down to him. They're like, what you doing down here, friend? Oh, he's batting he's pretty good, though. Yeah. Front rolled up. Going to have to make a competition hit here in a minute. The old wagon's running out of steam. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Dragging that back in around it. It's that X. The car from Ontario, Joshua. Oh. Just on the receiving end, but still strong. Tucker Ryan with a good shot. Oh, oh, that's tough. I'd like to say they're picking on the wagon, but yeah. <laughs> They got something against wagons, most of it. And then they're trying to see who can bury themselves deep in, deepest in it. I think the next person might make it to the front seat. <laughs> there we go. All right, that's here we go. And more. Oh, that's a good shot. Ouch. Uh, oh. Yeah, that hurt 22. Uh. Yeah, Mike Green. Delivered up when people are coming in. Yeah, even with dragging that rear wheel around. Oh, I'm making them chase them. Yeah, saying, go ahead and chase me. Then coming back. There you go. That is fun. That a little old, fun. That old nope. V6 has got some power. Yeah. The wagging. Oh, look at that, doing donuts. Rock down to three. Miles. Yeah, I think the wagon, Chris, wagon right? Wagon broke stick. Jason Chris. This Fourth be, place, this, not this, bad with the wagon. This might we're, be interesting. We're here. down in the top three. Joshua Artibald from Ontario, Canada. What's going on? Just chilling. Well, he's got it. He's this making everyone drive to him. Looking to the see 44 is stalled. 
Tucker Ryan. It's these two right here. Yeah, it is. That was a wasted hit there. Yeah, we don't have any of those. No, I was wondering what time tomorrow, so. All right, there it is. That's the two going to the feature. Joshua Artibald out of Canada, number 55. And uh, pretty cool. Another, what a heat. Another good heat in the books right there. Oh, I'm worried about our friends, though. I want to know what's up. I want to. I'm right here. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> or what are you talking about? Sour. Oh, we're, uh, we're right here. We're okay. I was trying to make a serious moment about oh. our friend Cindy and S Jared. Serious? You serious? <laughs> You're going to paint a brand new <laughs> Super, three duty. Quarter, Super Duty three-quarter ton truck. You're going to paint it. And that, you may take you serious? I mean, I'm serious about my spray paint look, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, He's so, I get it. I I'm get so it. Serious. But He's going to make a brand new art piece. Yeah, so serious. And you're going to look good riding it and falling ah. out of it. Uh, that's ticks that fell out of it. Thank you. I have long. He did, he did roll down. I, I, am, I am taller than four down. foot two. Okay, that's banner ticks. Okay. Dude, them short little legs <laughs> were like they're Scooby Doo and in the uh, air looking for the ground, and then he finally found it. He found it, and he almost ended up in the ditch, the little creek out out at uh, where Dakers. Were we? Where were we? Dakers. Dakers. Uh, I, out of Deca. uh it was it was nearing dark or something. As like whatever but, but excuses we could give. Here, them. here's the thing though. So the truck was like this. So it was lower on Tix's side than his side and my side. <laughs> and Tix still almost I just spit almost rolled out into the creek. <laughs> he certainly and did. And Jason and I got out just fine, <laughs> but we didn't see our little buddy. And then he pops up. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's exactly what happened to him. And so I'm like, oh, my God, maybe there must be, like, a swell or something. And I walk over there, and I'm like, he literally was – the truck was only, like, a foot <laughs> off the ground, uh -huh. and he still fell. Uh, it's like the Goonies where they're looking for that hole. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was looking for a hole, all right? He was done. <laughs> he, he was done. He needs a step stool to get in your truck. Uh, yeah, if he does, then my mom's going to need one. But the raffle car is coming up next. Yeah, I can't I'm wait. I'm excited to see how Neil does. Uh, he's already in the car. Is no he helmet on. In? In. So he wasn't, he didn't seem real excited at first, but it seems like oh, his friend, his on, he's getting more it's excited. Building, it's building on him. Yeah. yeah. I think his friends have just pumped the road. Him. Yeah, he's yeah. pumped. Yeah. That was wonderful, wonderful heat. What a good time. I can't believe we're already to our last heat on day one of Mini Meltdown 2022. I know. I'm really worried about our friends in that heat. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. They were hurt. You I'm, see this one I, came I out. He came and laid right down on the ground, Jared did. Yeah. Well, that's because he's hungry. <laughs> I don't know he's fed. He's hungry. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. Did you see our boy Brian Tompkins? I, I was trying to get him water because I, of the heat. I yeah. said, I said, boy, you were laboring bigger than that, or more than that big block in that car. And he said, I know. I don't know how you guys do it for two hours. Uh, <laughs> I, I was up there, you know, and that's that's the thing. I gave a little backstory up here, and uh, I give him kudos, man. He drove a good drove a good derby. He did a good job. Yep, he did a really good job. Yep. And uh, the old Mopar, she just didn't want to. Didn't want to crack off. Does he run time. a big block or something? No, small block. That's a small block? Yeah. Mm. Well, she I, was hot. I shouldn't say. It, it, last time I knew he ran a Magnum. Whoa. Look at that wagon just completely smashed into the ground. Yeah, they, they didn't. They they were pretty. They, they, they didn't like him. Yeah, that, that wagon received a lot of shots. They went <laughs> after him with. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Extreme. What's the what's the term? Prejudice. Right it, yes, yes. That was extreme I, prejudice. If I've learned anything yeah. from uh, Law and Order. <laughs> law and Order. <laughs> I think that's where I got it from. <laughs> uh, there's uh, there's only there one, should only be twelve cars one, two, in this final three, heat. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I'm seeing eight. <laughs> Uh, it says 12. Is there? Well, they might come out of the woodwork. They might. We got Reed Scott, Adam Butau, Austin Kubot, Jeffrey, Paul Hamas, Freddie White, 
David Erder Jr., Vinnie Witten, Justin Lovejoy, Brock Johnson, Michael Beers one, Patrick Dellis, Jim Cummings, and Neil. <laughs> wow. Tomorrow's gonna be an even better day of demolition derby. Ben, are you feeding us tonight or you're like, just cause we're chubby, are you making us go all Who? day and all night you? Because Tix and I are the, the chubby rest, and you're the not going to... The restaurant's open, I think, no. It's not going to be like 10 o'clock when we get out of here. Which <laughs> which restaurant are you talking about, then? The only one in town, actually, No, I think. They're the one. The bar has the wings and stuff, and, but the Italian restaurant has good uh, service. Nina's. Nina's, Nina's. Yeah, Nina's got good food. Oh, good. Uh-huh. I still have the Apollo that it, now my son almost can grow into because my wife's name is Nina. Oh, awesome. Remember oh. I bought the polo off the server? No, you okay. didn't. Our very first year here? Come on. You were here? Yeah. Yeah, I took it home. It was cool. I think that's really cool. Add it yeah. to the bill. Uh, Give me a polo. Hey, I got Ben's credit card. But they didn't have an extra large. That thing's stinging right now, though, because they keep declining mine, so i got to keep using his uh -huh. <laughs> or fixes. One yeah. of the two. The airport was all Ben's. Yeah. Like. Well, that's good, nice you know. of Ben. Yeah, oh, he was, really cares about you. It said, "Go ahead and use it. Like, go ahead and buy the two hundred dollars glasses. Go ahead and buy the whole bar around because there was people that served our country. So I thought it was the best thing to do. Oh, oh so and they said you don't look like a Ben. And I said, if you look, that's my middle name, <laughs> Bobby Ben. <laughs> Bobby Ben. That, it's Ben's middle name. And so when they carded me at the place, I knew my address. Nice. <laughs> it was real. It worked real nice. Uh, <laughs> that's exciting. It it really is. So if you want to fly back with me, and let somebody drive your truck, I'll I'll pay for it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> can I just fly to Pittsburgh then? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> you can fly wherever you want. Thanks, buddy. Have you had a good day today, Sour? I had a wonderful day. We started early. You got up really early this oh, morning. Oh, you, yeah, weren't any, you, you weren't any trouble this morning getting up. Oh, this guy calls to tell me to get up and be there in 30 minutes, and I sit outside <laughs> for freaking like an hour and a half, and then he comes out there finally, and he's like, where's Tix? Well, he thought Tix was with me. He didn't know we were sitting in the room. So then... I totally forgot the sleeping uh, arrangements. <laughs> so I never called Tix to wake him up. Oh. I only called Bobby because I thought he was responsible enough to answer the phone, whereas Tix does not answer the phone. You just got to just gotta block your the ID so he doesn't know who it is. If he doesn't know who it is, he answers. That's amazing. It is. We figured it out quick, though. <laughs> we know how to get a hold of him now. But, you know, you were right down there waiting on me. I figured, oh, okay, if I give you a half hour, that gives me an hour. <laughs> I was telling them earlier, I was right down there listening to everybody tell about how they were scared of Ben because he was inspecting here, and he loaded like nine cars at, at another show because they were clipping them with the with a different frame. So this guy's like, I called Gully like every 20 minutes because I didn't want Ben loading me here. Huh. Nice reputation, nice buddy. reputation you got. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they're in our room. They're in I our got, hotel, uh, my, so we got to watch our backs. My my, yeah, my pictures on a lot of people's dartboards. But he got second. He got second. And was that the economy or? No, he got first. Oh, <laughs> he did give him first because he made the last hit. So yeah. maybe he'll forgive you. That was in the orange suicide. That was yeah. all. That was yeah. all. That was all water under the bridge to fall here. That's not how this morning went. <coughs> okay. Ben. All right. Not how this I morning think, went. I think you're antagonizing. You do amp up the. You amp it up. Yeah, he's trying to step avoid, it up. Yes. Have you ever seen Ben get red? You, know, you want to see? Yeah, I can amp him up real quick. <laughs> I have seen you get him bright red. I don't get him nearly as bright red as I do Decker. <laughs> I don't know. I had, De I had Decker peeling out with a trailer last night. Like, well, that on. was me because I was like, can we drive fast? Uh, I uh, did not drive fast. Ben drives fast. He won't let you drive. <laughs> and you're not allowed to have anything to drink in his truck. Who said that? Well, because if you have to pee, what are you going to do? You drive so fast now, like you can pee in a jug. <laughs> I mean, you'll be at your location soon enough. Wow. Like, yeah, oh. soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, to gonna, today, you know, when. We're um, going to go back in time where you don't have to pee. Yeah. Yeah. When <laughs> There's going to be a time where I'm going to have to pee even if I don't have something to drink. I'm getting close to that age. I mean, Ben's there, but. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, he, well, he is. Ben is there. How about when you win? 
Uh oh. Aunt Katie, uh, Aunt Katie made the, the cupcakes. Uh, cupcakes, uh, yes. I'm gonna chug some cupcakes. Ch cupcake she's, chugging contest, she's gonna, Bobby. She's, she's gonna sugar up the kids. You, for the night. Maybe you can get those so when the old lady with the handicap sticker passes you on the way home, you can get throw that to her. Ooh, man, Katie. Thank you. Once again, happy Father's Day tomorrow to everybody. Thanks. All you fathers. Solid. Solid. Oh, here comes Neil. Neil's first. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there's good. my boy. No, I'm good. That I mean, right. One's enough sugar. All right, so we are at the final. You're in training. You're going to have another one. I just can't lose any weight. Oh, that's because yeah, you just can't lose. I might lose some weight later. Then you have to get you have to pay a hundred bucks for every pound you lose. As much as I ate, well, you didn't eat nothing. You ate <laughs> fries, and Tix stole them from you. <laughs> you got excited. You were watching the derby, and Tix was eating them. Oh. Well, I was trying to get him pumped up for the kill. Adam he got, he got, is he, in the junkie car. He guys got he got you guys flavored water from the stands. Yeah. Didn't think about the rest of the crew. There's the flavored New York. water. Well, Sal was the one that put us up to it. What's that? Just say yes. 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 <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. Whatever the team needs, I'm there. Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, I only have a list of 12. You got everybody named off? Yeah, no, they, they sent me a photograph of oh. it, so it's not as easy as we're going to make it. Oh, okay. We're going to just try to read roof signs and do the best we can. 72C, that is Jim Cummings from Plymouth, New York. So this is the kid's first time ever in a raffle car. Uh, I think it's the first time ever derbying, isn't it? I think it's his first time ever driving. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is okay. your. That's why he looks a little nervous at first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think it, they, he looked he looked a little bit more relaxed right when he was sitting in the car down there a couple minutes, few minutes ago. But yeah. Uh, no, he looks shook. He when he first when he first. Oh, oh. You know, he's doing well. He would have stopped on the brakes and everything. The guy's coming. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh. oh. Oh, man. Wow, he drove right into that one. Oh, that's a good shot. That uh, I think he yeah. just broke, probably just broke the tranny out of it because they both oh, came man. at an angle. Oh, he's getting peppered with dust, dirt. Yeah. Oh. He's done. You did good, Neil. Oh, I love watching good Dillis. Dillagath there. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Dallas. Wow. Oh, Dallas, yeah. Dallas, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, That's I think. Jeffrey Palhamas in the thing, too. I think the raffle car's done. out of transmission. Yeah, well, they moved that bumper right straight back to the transmission. Yeah, and <coughs> at 57, Jay come in at Mach, Hot. Mach 1. Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> yeah. And he's he hurt, too. He, yeah. just shifted to a, he just shifted to a side at the old seat belt. Yeah, that was a pretty awkward hit between the two of them. Yeah. I think uh, Neil should have let him pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let him pass. Don't don't pick up that live grenade. Well, sometimes you can't help that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think uh, 57. He was ready to be picked up. I thought he thought he was gonna get a little further down the track. 57 J. That's Brock Johnson, New Berlin, New York. They're having to take a look at him. He took a really good shot. Those guys are really moving. Uh, yeah, nose angle. The kid's got a head. The guy's nose bleed. In the raffle car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> he Dude, that was a good nose-to-nose -nose shot, those two. And it wasn't square. No. No. <laughs> oh.
Ellis, Ellis is just hammering. Oh, that's a good shot by Reed Scott, the number 68. That's David Erda Jr. Oh, good with a good out. shot. 68's getting lined up. The uh, slot yeah. it says. Yeah. That's Reed Scott, number 68, coming in with a head of steam. Oh boy. Oh, all the way in the corner. David Erda Jr. really took it hard on that shot in the Top Gun car. Oh, oh, it laid it tire. Oh, man. He just shortened the back of that one. Certainly did. Five. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, oh my God. Wow. The whole cow lifted right off the ground there. The 55K coming in sideways. That's Austin Kubot. Tried the corner and missed. He's packing that thing, that wheel, right under the seat. Yeah, there's not. That yeah. is a very, very small car. Carburetor sticking out of Ellison's there. Yeah. Wow. That's different. It's amazing how everybody has their own little strategy. Oh, yeah. Thirty-seven's looking real good. Oh yeah, thirty-seven. That's Freddie uh -oh. White. Dallas is hung up against the wall. Oh man, tough break. I think seven twenty-seven jet just landed. I think his tie is broke. And that's Michael Beers. This tiny little car that's folded in half sideways is so. Look at this thing. Oh, the yeah. rear tire is almost touching the front tire. He's <laughs> going out of circle. Oh, no, he's picking on the wrong car, though. Look at Ella. He said, yeah, give me another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here comes Junkie. Here comes Junkie. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. 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 That one's going to leave him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he's not going to move after that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, that's the final touches there. Yeah. I think the tires are touching now. Oh, oh it started. Oh, no wow. way. No way. Two boats car. Hey, keep it started. <laughs> Driving sideways. There he comes. There he comes. Oh, yeah. That is so great. Oh. Look at their high fiving <laughs> each other. Their rock and roll fingers out the window. Oh, this is some good derby. Get your arm in the car, man. I know you're pumped. <laughs> you're not going to make that left. <laughs> no, no, he's not going <laughs> to. You're not going to make any lefts in that car. Oh. oh. Shorten her up, Junkie, just sending it. Oh, no. Yeah, our, our, our Solora there give up here all of a sudden. Can't see the number, Sala, can you? Junkie's making some junk now. Yeah, that's Adam Butow. Yeah. I think we're down to three. No oh, way, oh. little car's gonna fire, come on. Oh, he already broke a stick. Yeah, no, I think he's done. That's Kenny Witten. In the 74 X3, still. I think, I, I think we're down to two. Well, Witten doesn't look like Witten can find the gear. He's shifting back, shifting forward. Gentle shifting, hard shifting. That car's not moving. We are. Fun. All right, Dillagaff, who's that? It's still. And he's done. He's done. All right, we're down. New York style and junkie. They make their way to the feature. Way to go. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, what a first day. Now that was awesome. That's awesome. incredible. Another one wow. in the books. Oh, comes the fire yeah. department. Oh, they got, oh. got a little bit of a spark here. Yeah, and the 74X3 of, who was that? White, what, Whitaker or Whiter? Whitaker. Yeah, Vinnie Witten. Witten, yeah. Or Wilton. 74 Owls Cavern, New York. Uh, 74X3. Okay. It's. I got this handwritten note that I'm just trying to right. read. I can't see best. it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can you know. hold it over there about four or five feet? I can read it. Right. <laughs> it's... <laughs> And done suffering with that. <laughs> <laughs> so that oh. was this was off. Awesome. You know, I I gotta say though that third uh, what is it third heat of compact so yeah. that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. It was intense. Uh, I I I mean the truck class with that with all the super duties that was pretty cool. Yeah. The yeah. economy class. I don't know why it's called economy with all the meth and alcohol out there. It was just loud. <laughs> That was so loud and just made your junk tingle, just, you know, just like make you want to drive derby cars. Now, you drove a derby car today, two of them. Yeah. Yep. And you went airborne at least one time. Yeah, I, think I, twice. I see you painted on the wall. It said Mike's wall. Mike's flown in. Right. <laughs> you were coming in hot on that driver. And coming that, in hot. And that, they pulled away just the last moment when you had a head of steam. <laughs> and that wall <laughs> received all that impact and i thought for sure you were going to land in and on top of the raffle car that we had on the track i it was pretty be, impressive being in the car i didn't you know I, I you don't see nothing you know it's like well you probably saw the ground because the back end of the car was so high <laughs> up in the air that you were like oh there's the ground i'm yeah. looking out the windshield at the ground <laughs> didn't, really didn't notice i all i knew was i'm I couldn't really lift because the throttle was like stuck, you know, and it's like, here we go. So whatever's behind me is gonna gonna hurt. So no, oh, it was fun. It was great. Mm -hmm. Decker, and, uh, you lasted a really long time. Normally, when Decker builds cars for friends, they last 30, 40 seconds. So. See, I think he tried to sabotage me. Yeah. Yeah, because the top radiator hose mm -hmm. got a cut in it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So me and uh, me and my buddy uh, Gator there. Gator says, hold, hold up. He says, you got the antifreeze coming out. So we saw it. We cut that off, put it back down on. Yeah. So we caught that quick. I and saw you down with the transmission shifter. Is that, what, what did I see you messing around with in the car? The shifter, yeah, yeah. On the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's, love you all, everybody. Remember, Scott Week in Maine, September 10th and 11th, Demolition Derby. Get her done, racetrack. Come on up. See us, guys. Thank you. Mike Gilbert Jr. Memorial Demolition Derby. All right, Sour Ben. We're wrapping this up. We're going to let's gonna stand back a little bit. Yeah, Bill's getting yelled at. Uh-oh, I'm in the soft spot. Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa. Be careful. <laughs> Spread out like polar bears. So today was <laughs> amazing, all the action, hard-hitting. Like you guys said, the third heat, they had the steering wheels that tasted like uh, bubble gum, obviously, because about 10 people ate them. Yep. It was delicious. Hard hitting. Fire department was right there every time today helping yep. out. Amazing fire department. They're on top of it. Pulling three cars out at a time. We went through yep. over 100 cars today. Yeah. And here we are done. Crazy. It's still daylight. We get to go eat. Yep. I mean, not that, I, not that I miss a meal or anything, but we appreciate our sponsors. We appreciate yeah. Uncle Bill. We will be back tomorrow mm -hmm. at 1 Eastern. To do this all again, and we'll say it a million times tomorrow, Happy Father's Day, I promise. I will. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And to everybody out there, we Happy Father's Day. apologize that it was missed. We will have the Canadian National Anthem tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We love our Canadian friends. We appreciate that they're here. We appreciate everybody, right? Yep. Just everybody. Yeah. In uh, Sunday, it's not as many heats as today, but we got economy vans in trunk Trucks Conti, uh, Economy Compact Conti, Economy Compact Conti 2, Extreme V8, which is two-man extreme, Bone Stock V8, Economy V8 again, Economy Vans and Trucks feature, and Economy Compact feature. So Love it. We'll have a good day tomorrow. Yep. So yeah. every time I hear the word economy, I think methanol. <laughs> methanol. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, that's what I think it's, of. It's, um, 
just uh, yeah we definitely <laughs> want to thank everybody for watching we yep. hope you're there tomorrow to watch us if you can't be here if you're here and want your car uh, spruced up, we got sours. I'll be here early in the morning spray painting cars, and uh, I got a $5 merch table of coloring books and stickers. And All cozies. worth it. Totally awesome. Uh, come get the autographs today. We had a nice autograph session, so yes. we'll probably do that again. Um, it, I got a lot of pictures of you signing autographs. Uh, Bobby you're so Brockway. sweet. I want evidence of it. Uh, prove, prove it. So from us from Track Shot Live, and from Spinning Wheels, we want to thank everybody, and we will see you tomorrow, 1 Eastern. Thanks for everything. Thanks. We love you guys. We love everybody.